Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 2GLL. Chapter 51 Captain Battle. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The entire sea is discussing the Noel pirates, and they are discussing the five emperors. At this time, the nations, the kingdom of Toto land, fell into silence. Everyone in the BIGMOM pirate group looked at the towering palace in horror. Mom is angry. A pirate looked at the direction of the palace in awe and fear. The others glanced at each other, and they all swallowed together. The ant became angry and the consequences were serious. If she is not careful, she will lose her life. Touch, touch, touch. The smashing sound spread throughout the room, and the glass was broken all over the floor. In the room, Kata Curry and others did not speak. Everyone lowered their heads, especially when they saw the blood on the ground. Everyone felt fear. As the children of Charlotte Linlin, no one knows the character of their mother better than them. Just now, two people died in her hands. Trash, a bunch of trash. Charlotte Linlin raised her head, her face was terrifying, her eyes flushed. Today, the entire BIGMOM pirate group has become the laughing stock of the sea. Noel, the old lady must kill him, must kill her. And the damn Kaido, dare to sarcastic old mother. Charlotte Linlin's fat body was trembling constantly, killing intent swept out of her body, and the air in the entire room seemed to be evacuated in an instant. Advertisement. Kakuzu and others mouths Kakuzu is a twitch. That's right, Kaido Guy just came to laugh at Charlotte Linlin, the whole sea, Kaido Guy dared to do this. This time, the strength of the BIGMOM pirate group was greatly damaged. Because of this battle, many cadres were lost, and Snug also died in the hands of Maldo Gill. This time, it really became a three star. On the other hand, compared to Charlotte Linlin's anger, Noel and others are in a very good mood. The major forces are discussing it. Although they know it, they don't care. The rewards have increased again. Noel's rewards have been directly increased to 1.6 billion, Enel 970 million, Geno's 870 million, Mardo Gill 930 million, Acedes 950 million, Luo was also offered a reward of 300 million. That crazy woman, it's really terrible. Enel thought of the ant, his face was jealous. Compared with Whitebeard, the ant left him even more impressed. At least, Whitebeard didn't do much in the Fishman Island. If it wasn't for being at sea, maybe they would really not be able to leave that day. One to one, no one is the opponent of that crazy woman, even Noel is no exception. Luo, who was surrounded by bandages, also nodded. In that battle, he was also seriously injured. Not only him, but Noel received no injuries due to reasons beyond regeneration, and everyone else was injured in various ways. This time, it's mainly luck. Noel smiled and looked at Enel and the others. Strictly speaking, they didn't win at all, they just got the upper hand. Indeed, the BIGMOM pirates lost many people, but they did not lose. Advertisement. Both sides finally stopped because the island was sunk. At this time, the ant just rushed over. When Cracker saw the situation, he felt bad, and contacted the ant. Pity. Thinking of the scene that day, Acedes shook her head regretfully. She wanted to fight against the ant. Seeing Acedes' expression, Enel's mouth couldn't help but twitch. This woman is simply a lunatic, and she is so powerful. That day, the main reason why the island was sunk was because of this woman. If it weren't for the huge hockey puck that the sky smashed down, the entire island would not be sunk so quickly. Regardless of the result, we have become the five emperors. Taking a look at Acedes, Maldo Gill also showed a smile on his face. As soon as the voice fell, everyone was taken aback, glanced at each other, and then all smiled. Yes, the process is not important, and the final result is that they have reached the top of the five emperors. Captain, now, let's expand our power and start the captain's battle. Enel looked at Noel excitedly. As soon as the voice fell, the eyes of Maldo Gill and others flashed with a gleam. At the beginning, Noel said that after they reached the top of the five emperors, they would start the captain's battle. Now that they have reached the top of the five emperors, it is time to start the captain's battle. Advertisement. In an instant, 
the atmosphere on the entire deck became heavy. The battle of the captain. Maldo Gill left Enel a few people, a sneer evoked at the corner of his mouth. Even if everyone is the same boat, they are all partners. However, he didn't want to give the title of captain of this first team to anyone else. To be the captain's most powerful assistant, the strongest person under Noel must be him. Mardo Gill thinks so, and Enel and others have the same idea. Luo Z looked at everyone helplessly, he thought too, but his strength did not allow it. On the boat, Bebo was weaker than him, and it was unrealistic to want to compete with Enel and others. To become stronger, you must become stronger. He was already able to think that they had become the five emperors' power, and there would definitely be people joining them one after another. There will definitely not be fewer big pirates, and the competition will be more intense at that time. If it is not strong, then it will really become a foil. Looking at the expressions of Enel and others, Noel couldn't help but smile. Yes, after a month, the battle for the captain will start. A month. Enel clenched his fist when he heard Noel's words. The others glanced at each other, all nodding, and there was still a month left. They all understand Noel's meaning. This month, there will be many pirates joining. When the time comes, the competition will become more intense. Asterisk. Chapter 52 Change, Great Increase in Strength. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The rise of the Noel Pirate Group broke the pattern of the entire sea. Of course, it did not have much impact on the four sea areas. It was New World that really fell into chaos, because the Noel Pirates began to expand. For more than half a month, countless large and small pirate groups have all come to join. The most nervous and irritable is Marine two Admiral, Akainu, and Aokiji guarding New World. Among an island, Noel smiled and looked at the tit-for-tat scene in front of him. The battle for the captain begins today. Bah, I have waited for a long time. The battle for the captain has finally begun. A middle-aged man with a scar on his face and a sword stuck in his waist smiled. G. Tyson, a great pirate of New World, is also a great swordsman. The big knife at the waist is one of the 21st big knives, just joined two weeks ago. Hearing what G. Tyson said, the other man in a suit next to him also nodded. This person is also a great pirate from New World, Paramesha the person who reflects the fruit, offering a reward of 530 million. No one knows how many powerhouses New World has. There are also many old monsters hidden in the dark. Boss. Boss, come on, you must be the captain of the first team. Behind G. Tyson stood a group of pirates. Many people yelled with excitement, these are the crew members before G. I. Tyson. It's not that simple. G. Tyson shook his head, looking solemnly at Enel and others. Advertisement. Although he himself is a great swordsman, his strength is very strong. However, for Enel and others, there is not much confidence. If you want to become the captain of the first team, there is not much hope. On the boat, there are many who can compare with him, or are better than him. Enel, Mardo Gill, Genos, Acedes. None of these people who got on the boat very early are weak. During this time, as they expanded their territory, he had seen everyone take action. Especially Acedes. Thinking of Ace Desi's terrifying strength, the corners of G. Tyson's mouth twitched. The person who reflects the fruit ability, Rail Yao also nodded. Only by joining the Noel Pirates did you know how strong Enel and others were. For the captain of the first division, he has no hope, and he simply can't compete with the first few monsters. Especially as seeds, he doesn't want to shoot with this woman, fighting madness. A few days ago, Enel was given a lesson. Thinking of Enel's misery, Rail's scalp felt numb, and he couldn't provoke this woman. On the boat, it is not Noel that can not be offended, but Maldo Gill and Acedes. These two talents are monsters. Unfortunately, it's too early, if another two years pass. The man wearing a strange hat and a blindfold on his right shook his head regretfully. Advertisement. Van Oka, a crew member of the Blackbeard Pirates in the original book, is also one of the captains. Because of Noel's appearance, he also joined. Unexpectedly, not long after joining, the battle for the captain began. The opportunity is good, but the strength is not allowed there are too many people on the boat better than him. In this battle for the captain, the first few captains, he has no hope, it would be nice to be the captain. 
Let's get started. Noel smiled and looked at Enel and the others, then said in a deep voice. As soon as the voice fell, the atmosphere on the court became lively. Master Enel, come on. Acedes will definitely become the captain of the first team. Fart. Mardo Gill is the strongest. The most exciting is not Enel and others, but the pirates around. Everyone cheered for their supporters. Became the five emperors, the Noel pirate group went to war everywhere, and there were many pirate groups under the command of Enel and others. Step on. Acedes stood up slowly, and the terrifying killing intent on his body burst out. The terrifying killing intent made the atmosphere on the court silent, and everyone felt the temperature drop. Everyone was shocked, looking at Acedes in horror, many of them swallowed. Damn, this woman. Enel clenched his fists, thinking of the painful experience the other day. Advertisement. Time and space are frozen, and elementalization is useless at the time. For this reason, even if Acedes can't armament hockey, he is the one who loses in the end. Jill. Genos, come out. Acid scanned the audience, leaving Enel aside, and finally his gaze fell on the other two. On the field, the only people who can be her opponents are these two people. Hearing Acid's words, Janos couldn't help but pause, and the corners of Jill's mouth curled up. Damn, Acid's, are you despising me? Enel roared angrily, staring at Acid's firmly. Shoo. As soon as Enel's voice fell, Jill's figure flashed and appeared in the field instantly. Come on, Acedes, I'm the only one who becomes the captain of the first team. Jill smiled, his eyes flashed a little, and he was also very afraid of Kobotomo. It is indeed tricky to be able to freeze the space, but it is not insoluble. The reason why Enel couldn't stop it was that he was not strong enough, and he didn't know Acedes's trick. He was really careless at the time. Self-righteous, thinking that Acedes can't hockey, and Logia is invincible. Boom. Boom. Numerous cracks appeared on the ground. Just after Jill finished speaking, Acedes kicked on one foot, and the whole person turned into an afterimage and shot out directly. Seeing Acedes who burst out, Jill's eyes narrowed slightly, but his body was shocked. In the shocking eyes of everyone, Jill's appearance changed drastically, the wings on his back were inciting, and he exuded an evil aura. Just start. Do you do your best? Fear mo ke bo te mo, a wise approach. Noel smiled and looked at Jill. Asterisk. Chapter 53 Fierce Confrontation, Victory or Defeat. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Boom, boom, boom. With the sound of vibrations, the entire island was shaking, and everyone was afraid to approach after the aftermath of the battle. These. Two monsters. Everyone stared at the two people who were facing each other in the field. Countless thorns are flying all over the sky constantly burrowing from the ground, and bright red flowers explode from time to time. Giant vines rose from the ground, with terrifying power, constantly waving at a seeds. Boom, boom. The entire space was swayed, and the sky suddenly became dim. On the island, everyone raised their heads tacitly, and their bodies trembled when they saw the behemoth in the sky. Hey, this is a joke. G. Tyson's expression also froze. Ice hockey. Van Oka twitched his mouth, watching the ice hockey puck that fell from the sky incredible. That's right, a huge hockey puck fell from the sky, and the entire sky was blocked. Escape. Hurry up. Everyone also reacted to the huge hockey puck that was sinking continuously. Shut up. Enel frowned, then shouted loudly as he listened to the horrified shouts around him. It's really troublesome, but just trying to solve me like this is not so easy. Looking at the hockey puck above his head, Maldo Jill skimmed a seeds, then sneered. Fingers stretched out, and white light blades were swirling around them. Advertisement. Under everyone's gaze, Maldo Gill's finger suddenly waved. Several light blades around the fingers blasted directly towards the hockey puck in the sky. Looking at the white light blade, a seed's eyes couldn't help but condensed. Others don't know, but a seed's knows how terrifying this white light blade is. The destructive power is very terrifying, and steel is not much different from tofu in front of this white light blade. With a roar, the white light blade collided with the hockey puck. The ice shattered everywhere, and the huge hockey puck was instantly decomposed under everyone's gaze. Countless ice cubes continued to fall, smoke rose, and countless large pits appeared on the ground. 
Each white light blade is equivalent to my slash, and it seems to be able to track it. G. Tyson frowned. This white light blade was too tricky, fast, and terrifying in destructive power. Sure enough, Mardo Gill is the trickiest one. Very strong. Jill, but this is more interesting. A seed stepped out and looked at Jill excitedly. Jill also smiled, his wings shook behind his back, and the next moment, his body leaned forward as if he flew out like a ghost. Shoo! A seed's made a one-handed move, and ice arrows hovered above his head, and then shot out. Countless ice arrows shot out like rain, and there was no room at all. Everyone looked at everything in front of them intently. The battle between the two makes people look enthusiastic, and this is the real powerhouse. Advertisement. Genos, who do you think can win? After taking a look at the two people in the field, Luo looked at Genos suspiciously. Genos stared at the two people in the field closely, hesitated for a moment, and finally shook his head. Captain, what do you think? Looking at Genos and shaking his head, Luo looked at Noel who was sitting on the ground. Hearing Luo's words, the others also looked at Noel, and they all wanted to know who the two were the strongest. Everyone knows that the captain of the first division is likely to be born between these two people. A seeds. Noel smiled and looked at the two people in the court before speaking softly. As soon as the voice fell, everyone's bodies were shocked. As the demon of the Book of Jeff, Jill's strength needless to say, but a seeds's strength is even more terrifying. Over time, the battle in the field became more intense. The two of them are full of strength, and the speed is getting faster and faster most of them can only see a wave of tremors. There were thorns everywhere on the field, as well as broken ice all over the ground, and the ground was covered with a thin layer of ice. Both of them were also injured. Jill's wings were formed with ice, and several terrifying wounds appeared on his arms and abdomen. Aseeds had a wound on his shoulder and back, and the blood had dyed his clothes red. It's time to tell the winner. Looking at the two separated, Noel narrowed his eyes, then smiled. Noel had just finished speaking, everyone's spirits were shocked, and then they heard the two yelling. Moko Bottom. Advertisement. White snake. White ball. Time seemed to be stopped, and then, the next moment, an ear-splitting explosion sounded directly on the court. A terrifying air wave swept out, and everyone stared at the smoke place closely. Who was the winner? Seeing the smoke rising in the field, everyone was very excited. Boom. Boom. The smoke slowly dissipated, and a shocking scene caught everyone's attention. Both lose and hurt. Is the captain wrong? Van Oka looked at the two people in the field in surprise. The others were also very puzzled, because what they saw was that both of them were low in blood, back to back. Puff, puff. In the shocked eyes of everyone, Jill suddenly sprayed a mist of blood, and then he knelt on one knee. A seed's body also shook, his face turned pale, and the long sword in his hand came out. You won. A seeds. Jill supported the ground with one hand, then slowly stood up, a cold voice slowly came out. A seeds slowly turned his head and looked at Jill, with a smile on his face. Yes, I won. Uproar. Hearing what the two said, there was an uproar on the court. Except for a few people, everyone was at a loss, and they didn't know what happened just now. It's a pity. Noel smiled and looked at the two, narrowly winning. For a moment, he thought Jill would win, but it was a pity. Asterisk. Chapter 54 Competition, Pressure. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Although Aseeds won the battle between the two, it was confusing and confused. Pity. Seeing Jill coming, G. Tyson gently shook his head, but he was a bit inferior to lose. The winner is king, and when you lose, you lose. Rail Yan looked at Jill as he walked indifferently. He knew what was going on. Moko Bottom was terrifying, and Jill still underestimated him, and couldn't completely block it at all. Shoo! Mechanical monster, come on! Enel's figure flashed and appeared in the field in an instant, staring at Genos. Aseeds and Jill are very strong and both are currently injured. He wants to fight with these two people to compete for the position of captain of the first division, but he doesn't show it at all at present. We can only wait for the injuries of the two to heal, but now, they can fight Genos. Genos looked at Enel faintly, kicked his feet, and the propeller under his feet ejected two fire lights, and then swept toward the field. Enel, Genos, this battle is interesting. 
Rail said with a smile and looked at the two in the court. A Logia, thunder fruit capable person, has both attack speed. The other is to transform people, and Geno's strength is terrifying. The destructive power of that high energy weapon is simply amazing. The two of them didn't hesitate at all, looked at each other and started the fight directly. Advertisement. The scene was more intense than Gil and the two, with thunder and lightning, artillery shells, and lasers constantly exploding in the field. The mushroom cloud that rose from time to time, and the splashing gravel, everyone had already retreated far away. Boom. Boom. The island was shaking, and everyone watched intently. Both of them are using their own advantages. Enel's advantage is the ability of fruit, which can be elementalized. Most of Geno's attacks simply don't work on him, and he can only rely on hockey. And Genos also has his own advantages, that is, in the use of hockey, as well as in response. After all, the high energy equipment is not a joke. If the opponent changes to someone else, if they are not capable of Logia, the outcome is estimated to be early. Incinerator. Super Spiral Incinerator. Maximum Output Incinerator. Every move of Genos's terrifying attack was amazing. However, the Logia-capable person restrained his ability. Seeing the two walking down, a seeds cast aside Enel, and his eyes fell on Janos. Genos's strength was stronger than she thought. I thought Enel would win, but she didn't expect the result to be a little bit beyond her imagination, but it was more interesting in this way. Enel is still too tender. Noel smiled and looked at the two. Huh. Looking at Genos's back, Enel's face turned gloomy, he gave a cold snort, and then walked directly towards the forest. Unexpectedly, it was Janos who won. Van Oka also looked at Janos in surprise. Most people think that Enel will win the battle between the two. Advertisement. Hockey. Van Oka's eyes narrowed. He also saw the importance of hockey. Now the most important thing is master hockey. Without hockey, he will never become a strong one. G. Tyson vs. Rail, the battle between the two is much simpler. The winner is G. I. Tyson. Next, people continued to participate in the battle for the captain. During this time, because of the five emperors, there are not a few large pirates who have joined the Noel pirates. It's not just G. I. Tyson and Rail Pang who offer a reward of over 100 million, and even hundreds of millions of big pirates. And Luo also fought with Van Oka, and the winner was Luo. Van Oka, starting tomorrow, you and Janos will practice hockey, Noel turned his head slowly, and then spoke softly. Yes, Captain, Van Oka let out a deep breath, then nodded respectfully. Noel nodded, and then stopped talking. Van Oka's marksmanship was so strong that it was Shinso's hand. Moreover, the speed is amazing, but unfortunately not hockey. Dot 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 dot. For seven days, the battle for the captain was also over. Captain of the first division, Acedes. Captain of the second division, Mardo Gill. Captain of the third division, Genos. Captain of the fourth division, Enel. Captain of fifth division, G.I. Tyson. Advertisement. The captain of the sixth division team, Tyron, is a strong athlete with amazing strength. G.I. Tyson almost lost in a battle with him that day. Captain of the 7th Division Rail Ping. Genos's strength is completely comparable to Jill and Acedes, but unfortunately, this guy is not too interested in the title of team captain. Seven teams. Hearing Noel's words, many powerful people frowned, and their faces showed unwillingness. I thought that there would be at least 10 divisions, but I didn't expect that in the end, only seven divisions were formed. The remaining squad captains will be carried out three years later. Three years later, the captain competition will begin. Seeing everyone's puzzled expressions, Noel smiled faintly. Also, other people feel that they are strong enough, and they can challenge the other captains, the winner, and replace them. When the voice fell, everyone's body was shocked. In an instant, everyone's eyes were fixed on a seeds. Competitiveness, wise decision, captain. Looking at Noel's back, Van Oka clenched the spear in his hand, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Surviving the fittest, he can think of how fierce the competition will be. Everyone wants to be the captain. Only when there is competition, there is pressure. If you don't make progress, you won't be strong, so others can take its place. Not only Van Oka, others also thought of this. Seeing everyone's fiery, 
Malicious gazes, Ji Tyson sneered, but he also felt pressure in his heart. Although there are currently no people who can threaten his position, it doesn't mean that there will be no one in the future, and he will become stronger. If he is challenged successfully, he will be ashamed. Enel also looked at Jill and the others with a sneer. Next time, he would definitely win. Asterisk. Chapter 55 Redhead is coming. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Time passed by like a white horse. Time passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, more than two years passed. In the past two years, a lot of things have happened, big and small. The most eye-catching is the Noel Pirates, the battle with Beast's Pirates. The battle lasted for seven days and seven nights, sinking two islands, and finally ended in a draw. When the news came out, the whole sea fell into silence. I thought that the Noel Pirates had just reached the top and became the five emperors, and their background and strength would be slightly weaker than the other emperors. Unexpectedly, he could be tied with Kaido. At this time, no one dared to question the name of the five emperors of the Noel Pirates. Compared with the previous battle with the BIGMOM Pirates, this battle is more convincing. Crazy expansion, an extra emperor was added, and the pattern of New World was broken. Five kings entrench the New World and carve up all the territory. The Noel Pirate group is also expanding wildly. There was a lot of noise in New World, and in the first half of the Grand Line, there was also a lot of noise in the four sea areas. There are constantly new people appearing, among them, Luffy has also gone to sea, and there has been a lot of noise recently. At this time, some kind of island in New World, in the forest. Boom, boom, with a roar, countless deep pits appeared on the ground, and the surrounding trees collapsed one after another. Advertisement. Enel and the others all stared at the two figures in the field, their faces full of shock. This old guy's body is really terrifying, and the defense is amazing. Lei Arian looked at the thunderous figure in the court, and then said in a deep voice. G. Tyson nodded in agreement, and then smiled, however, the captain's strength is even more terrifying. The two figures separated, Noel wiped the sweat from his face, and smiled at the burly figure opposite. The person opposite is the one he got through the lottery over the past two years. For more than two years, Noel has drawn lotteries many times, but only one summoning card is obtained, which is the summoning card of third rakage. The captain's strength has become stronger again. Eight inner gates is really terrifying. Third rakage looked at the shadow of the fist on his shoulder, then smiled and shook his head. Pulling off the tattered clothes, Noel smiled when he heard third rakage's words. He has been practicing continuously for more than two years, and he hasn't stopped every day. Especially in the cultivation of eight inner gates, there is no slack. Now, the seventh gate can be opened, and the proficiency in abilities has reached 75%. In half a year, the battle is about to begin again. This time, I am afraid that the position of the old man will be moved back. G. Tyson looked at third rakage with a wry smile. He didn't know, where did the captain find such a monster, and his attack and defense were simply pervert. Shoo, captain. The red hair is here, saying I want to see you. At this moment, Van Oka walked over anxiously, looking at Noel solemnly. Advertisement. Four emperors red hair. As soon as the words fell, everyone present was taken aback, and everyone looked at Van Oka in surprise. Red hair is coming to see the captain. Enel raised his brow, then said in a deep voice. The others are also at a loss. They have no contact with red hair. Let's go. I'll know why the redhead came to the door later. Seeing everyone's puzzled expressions, Noel waved his hand, then smiled. He was also very curious, what the red-haired guy was looking for, there was no contact between the two at all. The direction of the beach. The members of the Noel Pirates group stared at the group of people on the beach, their faces were very heavy. red hair Pirates, the five emperors, did not expect an emperor to come to her door. No one knows the reason for the arrival of the red hair, but they are ready to go to war. Hey, this atmosphere. Usopp looked at the Noel pirates with a wry smile. Shanks, you are really messing around. Ben Beckman let out a puff of smoke, curled the red hair next to him, and then spoke softly. Yes, the boss just likes to mess around, Lucky Lou and the others also laughed. Hearing the ridicule of Lucky Lou and others, the red hair also smiled. Here. 
Ben Beckman's eyes condensed, staring at several figures coming in the distance. Hearing Ben Beckman's words, Lackey Lu and the others also suppressed their smiles and looked at the people who came with solemn expressions. Advertisement. Looking at Noel's young face, Ben Beckman couldn't help but shook his head. Who could have imagined that this young man was actually one of the five emperors? Shanks. The next moment, Ben Beckman's body suddenly stopped, his eyes shrank, and he stared at the people behind Noel. Hum. The red hair nodded, eyes narrowed, looking at Enel and others. When I noticed third rakage, the red-haired brows couldn't help but frown, an intuition that this person is very strong. However, he had never heard of this person before, and he had never heard of the Noel pirate group as having such a number one person. Redhead was looking at Noel and the others. Same. Enel and others are also looking at red hair pirates, Kaido, Ant, Whitebeard, they have all met, only red hair is the first time they meet. Compared to several other four emperors, red hair pirates is a special group. Because they don't care about the sight at all, it may be said that red hair pirates has the fewest sights in New World. However, they dare not care about red hair, because Noel once told them that among the emperors, the most unfathomable is red hair. The atmosphere on the court seemed to freeze, and both sides stared at each other closely. Ha ha ha, Noel, the deputy captain asked me to greet you. Feeling the dignity of the atmosphere, the red hair scratched his head, then smiled. Hearing the words of the red hair, Noel's mouth grinned, his eyes darkened and interesting. Asterisk. Chapter 56 Dread, Solemn. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Deputy Captain. Many people present were taken aback, looking at the red hair in surprise, the deputy captain of the four emperors, what's going on? G. Tyson looked at the red hair thoughtfully. He had heard some rumors. Redhead seemed to have been a member of Roger's crew. The deputy captain, if correct, it should be Pluton, Rayleigh. Rayleigh, it's really been a long time since I saw you. Noel smiled when he heard the red hair, and Rayleigh's figure appeared in his mind. Since Sabayati Archipelago met once, he hasn't seen Rayleigh for almost three years. Hearing the name Rayleigh, G. Tyson couldn't help but narrow his eyes, and cast a deep glance at the red hair. It seems that the rumors are true. The four emperors have red hair and were once a crew member of One Piece Roger. However, he didn't expect that Noel would still know Rayleigh. Redhead, compared to when you came to see me this time, it's not just Rayleigh who asked you to greet me, right? Looking at Ben Beckman and others, Noel shook the sake in the glass, then spoke softly. As soon as the voice fell, Enel and others all looked at the red hair. Yes, I wonder if you have seen the latest news. The red hair nodded, his face became serious, and as he spoke, he took a newspaper out of his arms. Looking at the newspaper in front of him, Noel was taken aback when he saw the report in the newspaper. A year ago, I went to Sabayati Archipelago and the deputy captain told me about you. Advertisement. The redhead took a sip of wine and looked at Noel deeply. A year ago, he went to Sabayati Archipelago to see Rayleigh. However, when talking about Noel, Rayleigh also told him about Noel. The redhead didn't expect that Noel would have such a life experience, and he was the adopted son of the captain's wife. What you want to tell me about Ace? Skimming the newspaper on the ground. Noel smiled suddenly and looked at the redhead playfully. Unexpectedly, the things in the original book still happened. For Dark Fruit, Blackbeard eventually killed Sachi and escaped from the Whitebeard pirates. During this period of time, he has been cultivating, and he didn't pay much attention to the things on the ocean. Noel really didn't know about this. You want me to stop Ace? Or I still want to say that Teach is very strong, and it is dangerous for Ace to hunt him this time. Noel put down the wine glass in his hand and looked at the redhead with a smile. Just after speaking, the red-haired body was shocked. He raised his head and met Noel's deep eyes. Seeing Noel's playful look, the red-haired eyes couldn't help but shrink, and he was shocked. Ben Beckman behind the red hair also stared at Noel closely. He knew the purpose of the redhead this time. It was because he knew that he was surprised at this time, Noel, as if he knew what the redhead was thinking. Advertisement. Before you came to see me, you should have been to Whitebeard. Should I also want Whitebeard to prevent Ace from hunting down Teach? Then Whitebeard refused. The flat voice was like thunder. 
The red hair looked at Noel intently. For the first time, he carefully looked at the young man who became the emperor of New World at the fastest speed. I don't want to interfere with Ace. With his temperament, I don't seem to be able to stop it. Noel stood up slowly, patted his clothes, then smiled and looked at the red hair. Moreover, sometimes, it may not be a good thing to suffer a loss. The movement of holding the wine glass was stagnant, and looking at Noel's expression, the red-haired brows were frowning tightly. The man in front of him was too mysterious, and he seemed to know a lot of things. However, maybe Noel is right. Sometimes, it is a blessing to suffer a loss. The red hair came and went quickly, just staying on the island for a long time, and then leaving. Looking at the back of the redhead and the others, Noel couldn't help but smile. Ace went to hunt down Blackbeard. In this case, it seems that after a while, a big event will break out. On the coast, looking at the islands farther and farther away, the red hair suddenly spoke. Ben, what do you think? Unfathomable, the strength of the Noel pirate group is stronger than everyone thinks. Ben Beckman let out a puff of smoke, then spoke in a deep voice. Well, and what caught my attention the most, Noel, knows a lot. Advertisement. Looking at his broken arm, the red hair's expression became serious. Noel knew everything about Teach and Luffy. Just now he also secretly looked at the Noel pirates, and finally found that the strength of Noel and others is far from being as simple as it appears on the surface. Hidden so deep, if Noel had no purpose, he wouldn't believe it. Dot 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 dot. And Noel, what the redhead didn't know was that Sengoku was very nervous at this time. Naval headquarters. Damn it, what the hell is this redhead going to do? In the office, Sengoku roared angrily. I contacted Whitebeard some time ago, but now I'm looking for Noel. It's rare that the situation in New World has stabilized recently. Unexpectedly, this guy with red hair will come and do something again. Moreover, they still contacted the two emperors Whitebeard and Noel. Some time ago, red hair pirates contacted Whitebeard, which made Sengoku nervous for a long time. Now, I heard red hair contacting Noel. Check, I want to know the purpose of red hair, and the purpose of meeting Noel. Sengoku frowned, then let out a loud shout. There is nothing redhead has contact with Whitebeard, because Sengoku understands Whitebeard's character. But Noel is different. In Sengoku's eyes, Noel is a much stronger threat than Whitebeard. After all, Whitebeard is old now, and Noel is young, and it's just a shit stick. Looking at Sengoku with an anxious and angry face, everyone in the office looked at each other and shook their heads with wry smiles. That's so easy. Asterisk. Chapter 57 Encounter. Shocked Straw Hat Crew. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Alabasta. At this moment, Nami and others stared wide-eyed, looking at Luffy and Ace in an incredible way. Luffy, is he really your brother? Usopp swallowed, then asked aloud. Luffy raised his head, grinned, and nodded with a smile. Yeah, Ace is my brother. With Luffy's confirmation, everyone looked at each other, feeling shocked in their hearts. Whitebeard Pirates, 2nd Division Captain. Zoro stared at Ace closely. This is a real big shot. Sanji nodded in agreement, too. Compared to Luffy's ignorance, they are very clear about the situation of the sea. Five emperors, Whitebeard is one of the five emperors, and he is also known as the strongest man in the world. Looking at her innocent and ignorant face, the corners of Nami's mouth couldn't help but twitch. Presumably, Luffy didn't know what Whitebeard was, or the five emperors. As the Whitebeard pirates, the captain of the second division, how can a big man like you appear here? Leaving aside Luffy, who was immersed in the food, Sanji looked at Ace. Yeah, shouldn't it be in the second half of the Grand Line? Nami also looked at him suspiciously. Hearing what the two said, Ace couldn't help but pause, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. Advertisement. Seeing Ace's appearance, Chopper's body couldn't help but tremble. It was terrible, and Luffy's brother was terrible. Can't you say it? Zoro couldn't help but raise his brow when he saw Ace's strangeness. Holding the orange in his hand, Ace slowly raised his head. Actually, there is nothing to say, this time I am here to hunt down a traitor who killed his companions and betrayed his father. As soon as the voice fell, the atmosphere on the court was silent. Kill your companion. 
betray Whitebeard. At this moment, Luffy was also stunned, staring at Ace with a murderous face with wide-eyed eyes. For such a big thing, the news should be published. Nami recovered, and then took out the newspaper from behind. The next moment, everyone's eyes fell on the newspaper. Sure enough, there are reports in the news, and the location is very obvious. Teach guy, unforgivable. Ace clenched his fists. No one thought that for a devil fruit, Blackbeard actually killed Sachi and then fled. Because of this incident, Whitebeard was furious, and the Whitebeard pirates also wanted to strip Blackbeard alive. As a friend of Sachi, there is also the captain of Blackbeard. Ace ignored everyone's obstacles, and then left New World directly, trying to catch Blackbeard. When Ace left, Marco and others were blocked. Everyone is not a fool. As the captain of the 4th Division, Sachi's strength is not weak. Even if it was a sneak attack, it shouldn't be killed by Teach. Advertisement. Various reasons can only show that Teach Guy hides too deeply, and his strength is not as simple as it seems on the surface. Kill your companion, Ace, you must catch that bastard, Luffy also raised his head angrily. Seeing Luffy's appearance, Ace was taken aback, then smiled and nodded. By the way, Ace, do you want to be my crew member? Luffy grabbed the meat in front of him again, then smiled. Luffy, were you listening just now? Usopp's eyes widened, and then shouted. Nami covered her face with one hand and looked at Luffy helplessly. She was really speechless when she stood on the captain like this. Sure enough, Luffy wasn't listening just now, very good, this is Luffy. Luffy, Ace is now the Whitebeard Pirates, the captain of the second division. Whitebeard, but one of the five emperors of New World, is a real big man. Looking at Luffy with a naive or dull face, Nami shook his head with a wry smile. Five emperors. Luffy looked at Nami suspiciously. He didn't know what the five emperors were, but he also heard that Ace already had his own partner. That's right, the five emperors dominate the second half of the Grand Line, the real Kun big people facing the sea, Sanji nodded. Looking at Luffy who was still dumbfounded, everyone felt speechless. Whitebeard pirates, Beasts pirates, B-I-G-M-O-M pirates, Red Hair pirates, and Noel pirates. This is the five emperors. Sanji slowly said what he knew. Noel. Advertisement. Hearing the names of Whitebeard and others, Luffy didn't react, but when he heard the name Noel, his eyes widened. In an instant, Luffy had Noel's appearance in his mind. Ace. Noel that Sanji said, isn't it? Luffy turned his head slowly, looking at Ace suspiciously. Yes, it's Noel. He is one of the five emperors just like the old man now. Ace smiled and nodded. Luffy, do you know Noel? Seeing Luffy's reaction, Sanji and others were taken aback. Impossible, that's the five emperors, how could Luffy know each other? Usopp smiled and shook his head. Noel, it's Ace's brother and my brother. Luffy showed a sincere smile. What? How can it be? Before Luffy's words were finished, Nami and others screamed, even Zoro with a calm face was not calm. Everyone looked at Luffy incredible, and Usopp's expression froze. Yeah, Noel is my brother and Ace. I haven't seen him in a long time. Luffy's eyes showed nostalgia. Ace. Thinking of Luffy's unreliability, everyone looked at Ace. Compared to Luffy, they believe in Ace more. After all, the latter is one of the captains of the Whitebeard Pirates, and they definitely know Noel better than them. Yeah, that fellow Noel is my brother and Luffy. Seeing the shocked expressions of Nami and others, Ace smiled and nodded. He hadn't seen Noel for a long time. Asterisk. Chapter 58 Come to the Fishman Island Again. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Seeing Ace nodded, Nami and others stared wide-eyed, everyone was stunned. Five Emperors, they didn't expect it to be true. Wait, this relationship is a bit messy, one brother is one of the five emperors, and the other is also the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates. Ace, it turns out that Noel is your brother, so why did you join the Whitebeard Pirates? Usopp also recovered and looked at Ace suspiciously. His brother is one of the five emperors, but Ace joins the Whitebeard Pirates. Hearing Usopp's words, the corners of Ace's mouth couldn't help but shook his head with a wry smile. At the beginning, he went to sea with the idea of becoming the One Piece King. Looking at Ace's appearance, Usopp didn't ask much. The Noel Pirates is simply a legend, Sanji looked at the crowd lightly. 
Hearing what Sanji said, everyone else nodded in agreement. Yes, the Noel pirate group is simply a legend. From a newcomer to one of the overlords of the new world, this speed is simply heaven defying. Ace, have you seen Noel? Luffy said vaguely. Dot 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 dot. Noel did not know that Luffy met Ace, nor did he know that Straw Hat Crew was discussing his affairs. Advertisement. At this time he has left New World and appeared in the Fishman Island. Master Noel, welcome you to the Fishman Island. Neptune smiled and looked at Noel and others. Just after Neptune had finished speaking, several princes and ministers around him also spoke up. The Fishman Island now has the flag of the Noel pirates. Looking at the extremely enthusiastic Neptune and others, Noel waved his hand, then smiled at Jinbei. Jinbei, how is it? Did you join us and become one of the captains? As soon as the voice fell, the atmosphere in the hall was silent, and the bodies of Neptune and others were all a meal. Everyone looked at Jinbei together, and Enel and others were no exception. Hearing Noel's solicitation, Jinbei's body also froze, his face showing helplessness. Noel, you should know, I'm Shichibukai. Jinbei took a deep breath and looked at Noel with a wry smile. Joining the Noel pirates is not a trivial matter. Once he joins the Noel pirates, then Shichibukai's identity will definitely be taken away. Being stripped of Shichibukai's identity is equivalent to letting the Fishman Island stand completely opposite to Marine, the world government. Noel and others are not afraid of Marine, but the Fishman Island does not have this strength. Master Noel, look at this matter. Neptune also looked at Noel nervously. Although Jinbei did not expressly refuse, but he meant that everyone moved. He was really afraid that because of this incident, Noel would anger the Fishman Island. Don't worry, it's up to you to join or not. I won't anger the Fishman Island because of this little thing. Advertisement. I still have this amount of breath. Looking at Neptune who was nervous, Noel smiled and waved his hand. Seeing Noel's appearance, Neptune let out a long breath, then nodded with a smile. Sorry, Noel, Jinbei said apologetically. Noel's proposal just now made him a little excited, but when he thought of the Fishman Island, he finally rejected it. Noel shrugged, then picked up the wine glass on the tabletop, shaking it gently. Jinbei's refusal was in his expectation. He really wants to recruit Jinbei. After all, among Shichibukai, Jinbei's strength is also top. However, Noel did not force it, because he knew that Jinbei would definitely become one of the team captains in the end. Because the big event will break out soon. On the top of the war, when the marine recruits Shichibukai, Jinbei's temperament will be rejected compared to that, then. Shichibukai's identity. Where's Shirahoshi? Noel looked up at Neptune with a smile. At the palace, Shirahoshi knows that you are here. I am very happy. Neptune narrowed his eyes. Noel likes Shirahoshi, which is very beneficial to the Fishman Island. Thinking of Shirahoshi's appearance, Noel also smiled. Nipton, this time I came to the Fishman Island, there is actually another purpose. Master Noel, please say. Neptune was taken aback for a moment, then looked at Noel suspiciously. Shirahoshi, I want to take Shirahoshi to see the outside world. Noel stood up slowly and looked at Neptune with a smile. As soon as the voice fell, Neptune's body trembled. Master Noel, Shirahoshi, advertisement. Shirahoshi's thoughts are very clear compared to you. As for the worry in your heart, it is not a problem at all. Before Neptune had finished speaking, Noel interrupted him. Looking at Noel with no deep meaning, the corners of Neptune's mouth twitched, his heart panicked, and then he said in embarrassment. Master Noel, what do you mean? Nipton, you can know some things by yourself. If you say it and spread it out, it will only bring disaster to the Fishman Island. What do you think? Looking at the people in the hall, Noel slowly raised his head and looked at Neptune with a smile. Looking at Noel's expression, Neptune's body was tight, and the cold sweat on his forehead kept coming out. He is not a fool, others don't know, but he knows exactly what Noel is talking about. Neptune was panicking now, he didn't know how Noel knew about this. Also, will Noel be ill-intentioned, after all, in the face of ancient weapon, no one should be able to remain calm. Of course, if Shirahoshi doesn't want to, I won't force it. Seeing Neptune's expression, Noel shook his head, then continued. 
Meeting Noel's deep eyes, Neptune hesitated, then nodded. He had no choice at all. It was Shirahoshi herself now. I just didn't think about it clearly, so I was nervous. Now Neptune thought clearly, as Noel, if there is any evil intention, there is no need to discuss with him at all, and he can use force. Asterisk. Chapter 59 Identity Exposure. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the room, watching Shirahoshi happily, and the tears that kept falling, the corners of Luo and others' mouths kept twitching. Master Noel, you finally came to see Shirahoshi. Shirahoshi looked at Noel with excitement, his big smart eyes widened, teardrops still hanging in the corners of his eyes. Seeing Shirahoshi's excitement, Neptune's body could not help but a sigh in his heart. Since Otohime's death, Shirahoshi has been trapped in the room. I was worried about Van der Daken's attack before, but that guy has been resolved by Janos. Even so, Neptune didn't dare to let Shirahoshi go out and walk around at will, for fear of accidents. Because of this, Shirahoshi has always been unhappy, longing for the outside world. Shirahoshi, Lord Noel wants to take you out, what do you think? Neptune took a deep breath and looked at Shirahoshi with a smile. He really liked this daughter, and he was really guilty. Hearing Neptune's words, the princes of the Fishman Island and Jinbei all looked at Shirahoshi. Really? Is it land? Master Noel, are you finally taking me out to sea? After Neptune had finished speaking, Shirahoshi was taken aback for a moment, and the next moment, his eyes widened and he looked at Noel excitedly. Before, when Noel left the Fishman Island, he told her that next time he came, he would definitely take her away. Seeing Shirahoshi's excitement, Neptune nodded with a wry smile. Advertisement. Father, I want to stay with Lord Noel. I want to see the outside world too, Shirahoshi looked at Neptune excitedly. Neptune turned his head slowly, his face was cautious, and looked at Noel imploringly. Master Noel, I hope you will protect Shirahoshi. Along the way, he was actually thinking about this, he knew Shirahoshi's desire for the outside world. I am here, Shirahoshi is here, no one can hurt anyone around me. Noel chuckled softly as he looked at Neptune's expression. A flat voice, but Neptune and others heard Noel's confidence and understood what he meant. Hearing Noel's words, Neptune breathed a sigh of relief. Is it simple? That's why I won the captain's love. Aseeds narrowed his eyes lightly and kept looking at Shirahoshi. Captain, there is still another question. Luo looked at Shirahoshi, then frowned. What's the problem? Noel turned his head slowly, looking at Luo suspiciously. It's the figure of Princess Shirahoshi, with our boat. Looking at Shirahoshi's huge figure, Luo couldn't help but smile. Although their boat is not small, it does not have a room that can accommodate Shirahoshi. Hearing Luo's words, Noel couldn't help but smile, and with a move with his right hand, a flashlight appeared in his palm. Looking at the flashlight in Noel's hand, everyone was taken aback, not understanding what he meant. The flashlight turned on, and the bright light shone on Shirahoshi. Advertisement. In everyone's shocked eyes, Shirahoshi's huge body was shrinking with naked eyes. It's getting smaller. Bebo looked at Shirahoshi who was getting smaller, his eyes widened, and then he lost his voice. The others also stared wide-eyed, looking at Shirahoshi who had become the size of an ordinary person, and then at the flashlight in Noel's hand, feeling incredible. Captain, what treasure is this? Van Oka looked at the humble flashlight in surprise. Master Noel, Shirahoshi has become as old as you. Shirahoshi was also shocked, looking at herself excitedly. My old man, I have never seen anything like this. Jinbei looked at Noel's flashlight suspiciously. It can make people smaller. Devil fruit ability. However, it does not seem to be devil fruit's ability. It's just a kind of high technology, which can become bigger and smaller, but there is a time limit. Noel couldn't help smiling as he looked at everyone's suspicious eyes. This enlarged and reduced flashlight was obtained through a lottery six months ago. It is possible to enlarge and shrink the things that shine, but there is a time limit. After seven days, the people who are enlarged or shrunk by the light will be restored to their original state. Hearing Noel's words, everyone was taken aback, high tech, what is this? Dot 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 dot. On the other side, naval headquarters. Garp. Bastard, you wake me up and don't pretend to be asleep, 
Sengoku looked at Garp angrily at Garp, who was collapsing to sleep on the sofa. Advertisement. Ha ha ha. He deserves to be the grandson of the old man, who actually defeated Shichibukai. Garp opened his eyes slowly and looked at Sengoku with a smile. Looking at Garp who was still triumphant, Sengoku's fists were clenched together. If it weren't for the defeat, now, he would like to violently beat up this old guy. It's your grandson again. How many things are you hiding from me? Sengoku hit the table with a punch, then slowly stood up. Hearing Sengoku's words, the crane on the side looked at Garp helplessly. This old guy is really messed up. Sengoku, don't be angry. Blame the red hair. That guy tricked Luffy into being a pirate. It has nothing to do with the old man. Garp buttoned his nose, then smiled. Seeing Garp's appearance, Sengoku's eyes fired. What about Noel? What about Firefist Ace? How do you explain? Sengoku clenched his fists together and stared at Garp. It was not difficult to check the information of Noel and others. Marine found it, but in the end, it made Sengoku dumbfounded. Noel actually played in the windmill village of East Blue. For the first time, Sengoku thought of Garp. Because he knew that Garp's hometown was Windmill Village. So, if Garp didn't know Noel, he didn't believe it when he was killed. In the end, Garp admitted that Noel was his grandson. There is another person, the second division captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Fire Fist Ace, who is also the grandson of this old guy, and his identity. Asterisk. Chapter 60 Proposal, Sengoku's Worries. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Roars kept coming from the office, and the two marines outside the door looked at each other, and both shook their heads together. Here again, Marshal Sengoku has a bad temper recently, just the table, I don't know how many changed. Sengoku won't be angry this time. He didn't expect that Noel had something to do with the old guy Garp. And the identity of Ace, if it weren't for Marine to find out, it is estimated that this guy will keep hiding it. As a Marine hero, he raised the son of One Piece Roger. This is just nonsense, and if Five Elders knows about it, the consequences are unimaginable. A Five Emperor, a Roger's son, both of whom are Marine's arch enemies. Looking at Garp who looked indifferent, Suru also shook his head helplessly. She knew about Noel, but she didn't know about Ace. Garp, do you have any grandchildren? Sengoku gasped, staring at Garp. Now there is another straw hat boy who is not as perverted as Noel. However, it is not a fuel-efficient lamp, because the guy Shichibukai Sir Crocodile was defeated by the kid. Shichibukai, that is Marine, a pirate recognized by the world government. Defeating Sir Crocodile, this is simply hitting Marine in the face. Huh, Luffy is doing the right thing, Crocodile is not a good thing. Garp curled his lips, then took out a pack of senbei and gnawed wildly. Advertisement. Sengoku, you can go to Alabasta now and listen to what the people there think of Marine. Looking at Garp who looked like an old rascal, Sengoku grinned. Crocodile, this damn bastard. Thinking of what Crocodile did in Alabasta, Sengoku wanted to kill that guy. Dancing fans, posing as the king's army, and then using the image of a hero to gain the trust of the people. Kidnap kings, use fake kings to destroy towns, and provide weapons to rebel forces. Because of Crocodile, the entire Alabasta fell into chaos and disaster. You know, Crocodile bears the name Shichibukai. What would the people of Alabasta think about this guy doing such a thing? After Crocodile was defeated, all the people of Alabasta cheered, and Straw Hat Crew was welcomed by the royal family. Come on. The more he thought about it, the more angry he glared at Garp, and Sengoku suddenly yelled. Step on. Captain Marine, who had been guarding the door, walked in. Publish the news and deprive Crocodile Shichibukai of his identity. Also, imprison that guy to impel down. Sengoku said coldly. Yes, Marshal Sengoku. The captain's body shook, then nodded. Advertisement. I was also very shocked. I didn't expect Crocodile to be deprived of Shichibukai's identity. This was the first time that the first Shichibukai was deprived of his name. Also, increase Monkey D. Luffy's reward. Sengoku skimmed Garp, and then continued. As soon as the voice fell, the captain's eyes narrowed. Monkey D, the surname. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but look at Garp. Same as Garp Vice Admiral's last name, coincidence. 
A reward of 100 million baileys. Sengoku snorted, then sat in a chair. 100 million baileys. Hearing Sengoku's words, the corners of Garp's mouth twitched. Crane, what do you think about teach? Ignoring Garp, Sengoku tapped his fingers lightly on the table, and the next moment, the conversation suddenly changed. Hearing Sengoku's words, Garp's body couldn't help but tremble, his fists were clenched together, and his eyes flashed with killing intent. Looking at Garp, he said in a deep voice, the old man feels that this teach has great ambitions. Of course it's big, and it's hidden deep. Sengoku snorted coldly, killing a partner, such a guy for a fruit. However, I don't know if he can do it. But, Sengoku, you have to think clearly about what we will face once he succeeds. Thinking of Teach's words, Crane's face also became serious. Sengoku nodded. Of course he knew that Teach Guy actually said that he would use Ace's identity in exchange for Shichibukai's position. Crocodile is defeated by Garp's grandson. Even if that guy is correct, Marine will deprive Crocodile Shichibukai of his identity. Advertisement. If Teach really beats Ace at that time, then things become complicated. At that time, it was the collision between Marine and the Whitebeard Pirates. Moreover, there is the fellow Noel, who is Ace's older brother, and he would not stand idly by. As for the five emperors, Marine can still contend, but if the Noel pirates are added, Marine cannot be an opponent. Contact the world government. Sengoku rubbed his head, then gently shook his head. Garp lowered his head and said nothing. Now, he only hopes that Ace can escape the disaster, otherwise, the world will really be in chaos by then. Dot 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 dot. Soon, the news spread all over the sea. As Shichibukai, Marines recognized Big Pirate, Crocodile was defeated by a newcomer. Shichibukai was the first one to be deprived of, which naturally aroused everyone's heated discussion, and Straw Hat Crew also caught the attention of many people. New World, the redhead read the news in the newspaper with a smile on his face. Boss, Luffy has made another noise, and the reward has been raised to 100 million baileys, Reiki Lu looked at the redhead with a smile. Hearing Reiki Lu's words, everyone else laughed. Putting down the newspaper in his hand, looking at Luffy on the reward order, the red hair couldn't help but think of Noel, the unfathomable man. P.S. Let's just say that the plot has changed. Don't tell me everyone. In the original book, Blackbeard didn't propose to use Ace for Shichibukai so quickly. You don't need to worry about this issue. Asterisk. Chapter 61 Poseidon. Poseidon. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The Fishmen Island, the forest of the sea, looked at the green fluorescence above his head. Seeing Shirahoshi riding around on Megalo out of excitement, Noel shook his head slightly. Captain, are there other secrets in Shirahoshi? Aside, looking at the sincere smile on Noel's face, the corners of a seed's mouth curled up. Under normal circumstances, the captain is very talkative and always has a smile on his face. However, she could tell that it was just Noel's character. Only now, Noel is happy from the heart. This can only be done with Shirahoshi. Because of Shirahoshi's simple, innocent, and optimistic temperament, the captain was also infected. However, thinking of Noel's conversation with Neptune today, a seed's heart moved. Really sharp, a seed's. Noel's body paused and looked at a seed's playfully. Actually, everyone can guess it, but I didn't ask too much. A seed smiled and shook his head. Today, the conversation between Noel and Neptune is really weird. When Noel mentioned Shirahoshi, it was obvious that there was still something left behind. However, a seed's found that there were shocks, worries, and other complex emotions flashing in Neptune's eyes. Enel and others are not fools, and of course they also know that Shirahoshi has a secret. Advertisement. Just fearing the captain and didn't ask more. Yes, a seed's. Um, do you know ancient weapon? Seeing Shirahoshi who was not far away, Noel spoke slowly. Ancient weapon, Captain, are you talking about the three weapons that the sea has always said? Hearing Noel's words, Aseeds couldn't help but stared at him in surprise. After such a long time, she basically knows this world, and of course she also knows ancient weapon. However, it has always been a legend. Destroying the heavens and destroying the earth is a bit exaggerated, but the power of ancient weapon is indeed terrifying. Noel smiled and shook his head, 
destroying the world, which is indeed too exaggerated. Ancient weapon has three, namely, Pluton Bruton, Poseidon Poseidon, Uranus Uranus. Captain, isn't it a legend, there really is an ancient weapon. Ace Desi's eyes narrowed slightly, and a flash of light flashed by. Yes, the rumors are true. Ancient weapon does exist. Noel nodded, and his eyes fell on Shirahoshi. Seeing Noel's gaze, Asides couldn't help but stunned. Captain, are you trying to say that Shirahoshi is related to ancient weapon? It's not related, but, Shirahoshi is Poseidon Poseidon. Noel's flat voice came out slowly, and Asides' body trembled, and he looked at Shirahoshi in the field incredibly. Shirahoshi is Poseidon Poseidon, and these words keep ringing in his mind. She guessed a lot of results, and guessed that Shirahoshi might be related to ancient weapon, or knew that ancient weapon. Advertisement. However, it was only unexpected that Shirahoshi himself was actually Poseidon Poseidon. She didn't think Noel was talking nonsense. But, the princess of the Fishmen Island, a murloc as Poseidon, this. Seeing a seed's shocked expression, Noel chuckled softly. Ancient weapon, whoever thinks of it for the first time, must be three weapons. Who would have thought that Poseidon was actually the princess of the Fishmen Island? Then, Captain, what exactly is Poseidon's ability? Taking a deep breath, Asides gradually recovered his senses, staring at Shirahoshi's figure stubbornly. What do you think? Noel chuckled softly. Poseidon, if I'm not mistaken, it should be about the power of the sea. That's right, Captain. Asides raised his brow, looked at Shirahoshi, then smiled at Noel. It's actually not hard to guess, Poseidon, Poseidon, why is it called Poseidon? It must be related to the sea, so it's called Poseidon. Yes, when Shirahoshi was six years old and six years old, witnessing Princess Otohime being attacked, she cried loudly in desperation and unexpectedly called sea kings to the scene. Call sea kings, can order sea kings. Asides looked at Noel in shock. It is not to command the sea kings, but to master the ability of the sea, the creatures of the sea. Hearing Noel's words, even Asides, who had been mentally prepared for a long time, took a deep breath. Master the ability of the sea, command sea kings, this ability is simply heaven defying. Advertisement. In this world, the surface base of the sea and not the land is much larger. No one knows how many sea kings there are in the sea and how many terrifying deep Poseidons are hidden in the deep sea. This is simply the power that can subvert everything, Asides swallowed and looked at Shirahoshi with swollen eyes. Seeing Ace Day excited expression, Noel shook his head helplessly. You should stop thinking about it. Asides, don't deliberately use Shirahoshi. Shirahoshi's identity is not important to me, and, do you think I need to use Shirahoshi's abilities? Noel smiled and looked at Asides, with a confident expression on his face. He just likes Shirahoshi purely, carrying the system with him. As long as there are enough lottery points, there is no need to worry about becoming stronger, and no need to worry about the ability to draw heaven defying. Understood, Captain. Asides was taken aback, then smiled and nodded. Indeed, she is very clear about Noel's strength, and she has been constantly getting stronger. The captain himself is a monster. Shu, Master Noel, Master Asides, what are you talking about? Shirahoshi came to the two of them and looked at them suspiciously. Nothing, I will take you out to see tomorrow, Shirahoshi. Noel smiled and looked at Shirahoshi, patted her head with his right hand. Wow, great, I can finally reach land, and the sun, and the moon. As soon as Noel's voice fell, Shirahoshi jumped up excitedly, his eyes shining brightly. Asterisk. Chapter 62 Supernovas Gather. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. As soon as Tenton passed, New World was dull, and there was no movement from the five emperors. However, the first half of the Grand Line was very lively, especially Straw Hat Crew, but very active. From time to time, there are big disturbances, because of the crew Nico Robin, there is a big disturbance in Eni's lobby. However, it is different from the original because CP9 was once beheaded to death by Noel and others, and not many people survived. Therefore, only Lu Chi and a few newly recruited members are not opponents of Luffy and others at all. The wheel of history is always repeated. Frankie is no exception, joining Straw Hat crew. After the City of Seven Waters, 
Luffy and others also came to the three sailing ships, and after a battle with Gecko Moria, they finally won. After Crocodile, another Shichibukai member was defeated by Luffy. At this time, Luffy was completely famous. Defeating two Shichibukai in a row, it is not difficult to not be famous. However, Sengoku is the only one who has a headache, and every time Luffy makes a noise. Sengoku yelled at Garp, and the whole family was a shit stick. The Sun was originally an elite of naval headquarters, but eventually became the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Now the number one enemy of the world government. One grandson is one of the current five emperors, the enemy of Marine, and the other is the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates. The Straw Hat Boy is not a peaceful person, and his potential is huge. Advertisement. At this time, Sabayati Archipelago is very lively. The newcomers who walked out of the four big oceans were all gathered at Sabayati Archipelago at this time. Because Luo joined the Noel Pirates, there are now ten supernovas left. Shaki ripped off the bar. At this time, Nami and others looked at Rayleigh in shock, even the very nervous Luffy was no exception. Mr. Rayleigh, you said Roger, is it one piece? Roger. Nami swallowed and looked at Rayleigh incredulously. The others also stared at Rayleigh closely, and Sanji's movement of holding a cigarette froze. They had to be shocked, because the name Roger was so loud. In this world, someone may not know who Marshal Marine is or who the five emperors are. But I definitely know Roger, because he created the era of the Great Pirate. It is also the only one who completed the voyage of the Grand Line and conquered the New World. It is recognized by everyone as, the existence of One Piece. Yes, Mr. Rayleigh, who was once the One Piece, a member of Roger's ship, and the deputy captain of Roger's pirates. Xiao Ba on the side spoke earnestly. Guru. Guru. Unanimously, except for Luffy, everyone present swallowed. One Piece's deputy captain. This is too amazing. Who would have thought that the gentle old man in front of him was actually the deputy captain of One Piece? Advertisement. You are in Sabayati Archipelago, it's better to pay attention. Seeing everyone's reaction, Shaki shook Rayleigh, then spoke in a deep voice. You say. Everyone looked at Shaki together, and now they did not dare to look down upon Shaki. Anyone who pops up as the deputy captain of One Piece, maybe Shaki was once a famous big man. Sabayati Archipelago, it can be said that it is a place where snakes and dragons are mixed. Here, traffickers, pirates, bounty hunters. Various, everyone has. However, there is one thing to note, that is, you must not provoke celestial dragons. Shaki breathed out a puff of smoke and smiled at Nami and the others. Celestial dragons. Nami and others looked at each other, frowning, and looked at Shaki suspiciously. Shaki is right, not to provoke celestial dragons. If you provoke celestial dragons, you are offending Marine. At that time, except for anything, Marine Admiral will come. Xiao Ba nodded solemnly, and said the identity of celestial dragons again. Snapped. Have you heard, wait and don't make trouble everywhere. Looking at Luffy, who lowered his head and nod wildly, Nami directly raised his fist and slammed it on his head. Got it. Luffy covered his head with one hand and looked at Nami aggrievedly. Looking at Luffy's appearance, the corners of Nami's mouth couldn't help but twitch. It can be clearly seen that the nervous captain was not listening at all just now. Marine Admiral, that is not something they can resist. Advertisement. At first, an Aokiji almost killed them all. They know how terrifying Marine Admiral's strength is. Especially Robin, for Marine Admiral, is full of fear. Actually, don't worry too much, because two years ago, Brother Noel and the others made a noise. The celestial dragons basically stay in the Holy Land and rarely show up in the Sabayati Archipelago. Seeing Nami and others, Shaki smiled and shook his head. Noel. Hearing the familiar name again, Nami and others stared again. Luffy also raised his head. Noel, Shaki, are you talking about Noel, one of the five emperors of the New World? Nami looked at Shaki suspiciously. Yes, Brother Noel is now one of the five emperors of New World, Shaki smiled and nodded. Luffy's brother, Usopp and the others looked at each other, and they all looked at Luffy. Brother. At this moment, Rayleigh and Shaki were taken aback and looked at Luffy in surprise. Yes, Noel is Luffy's brother. Nami looked at the two Rayleigh with a wry smile. 
We were shocked when we heard this news before, Usopp nodded. Robin was stunned, looking at Luffy incredulously. She didn't know about this, Noel, one of the five emperors, was actually Luffy's brother. Next, Nami talked about Ace and the relationship between Luffy and Noel, including his grandpa being the marine hero Garp. Chapter 63 The Tranquility Before the Storm Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Looking at Luffy with a smile on his face, Rayleigh couldn't help but shook his head with a smile. This character, I have to say, is exactly the same as the old guy Garp. The nerves are big, but they are thick and thin. Shaki wasn't too shocked, as an intelligence collector. Luffy's surname has long attracted her attention, and Garp was also thought of for the first time. As an intelligence dealer, I still need to remind you. Shaki smiled and looked at Nami and others, and flicked the ashes in his hand. In addition to celestial dragons, today's Sabayati archipelago. But gathered a lot, supernovas just like you. Supernova. As soon as the voice fell, Nami and others looked at each other, and then unanimously looked at Shaki with doubts. It's normal if you don't know. This is what the outside world calls you. After experiencing the first half of the Grand Line, step into Sabayati Archipelago, this transit station. After entering the second half of the Grand Line, this is a elimination system. Those who can come to Sabayati Archipelago are all famous pirates from the Four Seas. The pirate with the most potential is called a supernova. Shaki smiled and looked at Nami and others. Advertisement. Knowing the identity of Luffy, she didn't want to hide things about intelligence. How many people are there? Sanji frowned, then asked in a deep voice. Others are also very curious. Adding your captain, little monkey, there are ten people in total. Nine. Sanji. Zoro glanced at each other, his eyes narrowed involuntarily. Yes, there are nine more, and one of them has a higher reward than little monkey. Shaki let out a puff of smoke, then nodded. Is there anyone who offers higher rewards than Luffy? Usopp looked at Shaki in shock. You know, Luffy's current reward is very scary, a full 300 million. Stace Kid, Bounty, 315 million Baileys. I heard that he is a pirate who likes to kill ordinary people. In contrast, I like Little Monkey more, Shaki smiled and looked at Luffy. Basil Hawkins, Bounty, 249 million Baileys. Skulletchman Arp, Bounty, 198 million Barry. One by one, the names were uttered from Shaki's mouth, and they were also recognized by Sanji and others. This time, how many powerful newcomers Sabayati Archipelago has gathered? It's really crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Zoro narrowed his eyes, then spoke clearly. Yes, the current Sabayati Archipelago is very messy, Shaki nodded with a smile. Nami and others looked at each other, and then they nodded tacitly. Advertisement. They both decided to watch Luffy later and don't let him mess around. Dot 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 dot. On the other side, the direction of the Fishmen Island. Sabayati Archipelago, the top 10 supernovas, really miss it, Enel smiled and looked at the newspaper in his hand. Hearing what Enel said, Luo and Bebo both nodded. If you want to go, just go. Seeing Enel's expression, Noel smiled and shook his head. This guy just couldn't sit still. When this guy came to the Fishmen Island, he couldn't stand it for a long time. Hey, the captain understands me. Enel grinned, then stood up slowly. Under everyone's attention, Enel, Luo, Bebo and others left the Fishmen Island directly. With Enel's temperament, Sabayati Archipelago is going to be lively. Maldo Gil shook his head gently. Jinbei, it is estimated that Marine will recruit Yushichibukai soon. Noel smiled and looked at Jinbei on the side. Call Shichibukai. Jinbei looked at Noel suspiciously. Jinbei, you said, if Whitebeard and Marine go to war, who can win? Noel smiled and looked at Jinbei. As soon as the voice fell, like thunder, everyone looked at Noel in shock. How can Whitebeard go to war with Marine? Noel, do you know what? Jinbei stood up anxiously, looking at Noel solemnly. He didn't think Noel was joking. Advertisement. I contacted just now that Noel said that Marine would recruit Shichibukai. Now that Whitebeard is going to war with Marine, Jinbei felt that Noel might know something for the first time. You haven't answered my question yet, Jinbei. Also, 
If Marine recruits you Shichibukai to deal with the Whitebeard Pirates, what is your choice? Noel smiled and looked at Jinbei. At this time, Ace should have almost found Blackbeard. The reason why he didn't stop it was because he wanted to participate in the war on the top. Marine, if there were no accidents, he would definitely be able to find out his relationship with Ace. Under such circumstances, he wanted to know what choice Sengoku would make, or world government. Jinbei frowned and looked at Noel tightly. Although the flag of the Noel pirates is hung on the Fishmen Island, Whitebeard is kind to the Fishmen Island. If this is the case, then the old man is afraid that he will abandon his identity as Shichibukai. Jinbei took a deep breath, then said in a deep voice. Be prepared, Jinbei, war is about to break out. Noel stood up slowly, patted Jinbei on the shoulder, and left. The captains of Maldo Gil glanced at each other, then all smiled, and then quickly followed. Jinbei didn't know, but they knew it very well, because Noel said it. Looking at the backs of Noel and others, Jinbei frowned and his fists were clenched together. He wanted to know now, what happened? Asterisk. Chapter 64 It's messed up, it's totally messed up. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At Shaki's reminder, Nami and others stared at Luffy the whole time. As in the original book, celestial dragons did appear, but Luffy did not offend him. However, many things cannot be escaped because Kami was caught. Luffy and others also clashed with celestial dragons. Auction. Looking at celestial dragons lying on the ground, time seemed to freeze, everyone's eyes widened. Run away. Straw Hat crew hit celestial dragons. Marine Admiral is coming. The incident two years ago will repeat itself. In an instant, the people at the auction house glanced at each other, and then fled frantically. Everyone at Sabayati Archipelago knows what happened two years ago. The Noel pirates fought with Akainu and Kazaru Admiral. At that time, I didn't know how many people died in the aftermath. Thinking of the terrible scene, no one wanted to experience it a second time. Kid's mouth twitched, staring at Luffy closely. This guy is really bold and reckless, but this time, he is really involved. Let's go, otherwise Marine Admiral is coming. Kid, Kira shook Luffy, and then spoke in a cold voice. Advertisement. At this time, Nami and Chopper were also completely stupid and urged, but in the end they still couldn't escape the disaster. However, this can't blame Luffy. Hurry up, or wait until Marine Admiral arrives, it's too late, Shaoba anxiously looked at Luffy and the others. Hearing Shao Ba's words, everyone came back to their senses, looking at celestial dragons lying on the ground, their expressions became serious. Captain, there are marines outside, and we are surrounded by marines. A pirate from Kid's pirate group walked in in a panic. It's over. When Usopp heard this, his body trembled and his eyes showed horror. Chopper was trembling too, surrounded. Hurry up and get out. Hurry up and leave Sabayati Archipelago before Marine Admiral has arrived. Nami reacted quickly, and then yelled at everyone anxiously. Touch, touch, touch. When Luffy and others walked out of the auction, they were greeted by countless bullets. In front of them, there were dozens of Marines standing, all holding their guns, and seeing Luffy and others, they shot directly without hesitation. Humph. Seeing the bullet coming over, Kid sneered at the corner of his mouth and stretched out one hand. In the eyes of Zoro and others, the bullet suddenly stopped in midair. Reflection. Looking at Marine in front of him, Kid's expression became savage, and then he waved his hand. The bullets floating in the air suddenly blasted towards Marine. The sound of guns and screams resounded throughout the audience, and in an instant, a dozen Marines fell down. The stabbing man, he has one hand. Luffy smiled and looked at Kid. The straw hat boy, this account will be settled with you later. Looking at the marine surrounding him, Kid skimmed Luffy and shot out. Advertisement. 36 trouble phoenix with one sword flow. Saddle meat, loin, rubber pistol. Luffy and the others were not idle either, everyone took action one after another. Fighting and fleeing, the entire Sabayati archipelago fell into chaos. Damn. A marine rear admiral looked at the falling marine around, clenching his fists involuntarily. These supernovas are not something that ordinary soldiers can fight against. They are all demon fruit power. Stop them for me and arrest Straw Hat crew. Marine Rear Admiral let out a loud roar. Last time, 
Because of the lunatics of the Noel pirates, the celestial dragons were killed. The one stationed at Sabayati Archipelago was directly pushed down. Unexpectedly, not long after he had just taken office, he would have encountered this kind of thing. If the straw hat boy is not caught, then his trouble will come, and celestial dragons will not let him go. Have you contacted the headquarters? Contacted, Pelusolino will be here soon. Looking at the situation in the field, Marine Rear Admiral's brows were tightly closed, and then he looked at the adjutant on the side. Upon hearing the adjutant's words, Marine Rear Admiral couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. With Pelusolino Admiral's speed, I believe he will be able to arrive soon. At that time, no matter how strong these supernovae are, none of them will escape. But not everyone is like the monsters of the Noel Pirates. Luffy, hurry up. Sanji kicked a soldier away, then said in a deep voice. Advertisement. Hum. Luffy, who had just landed, turned away from Marine who was behind him, and couldn't help but speed up. The next moment, a golden beam of light suddenly shot from a distance. Luffy rolled on the ground, his eyes widened. This is, Shichibukai, violent coon bear, Usopp stared at the walking figure. It's over. Nami looked at the bear in front of him in shock. Shichibukai, I didn't expect that besides Marine Admiral, there is actually Shichibukai. Lock on target, Monkey D. Luffy, the pacifist stared at Luffy tightly. Three swords flow, 108 troubled phoenix. Fried neck meat. Boom, boom. In the shocking gaze of Nami and others, the face of the storm coon bear was distorted and then exploded directly. I cut it. Zoro landed on the ground, smiling at Sanji. I kicked it. Sanji's eyes widened too. Hurry up. Looking at the two people who were still staring at them, Nami punched each one directly. At this time, this scene is constantly repeating itself, with pacifists appearing on the scene. Shaki knocked on the bamboo pole bar. Robin looked at Shaki and Rayleigh with a wry smile. Unexpectedly, she just turned around and such a big thing happened. Really brother. Shaki smiled and shook his head. Rayleigh's eyes flashed brightly, and the look of Luffy flashed in his mind, and the straw hat, Shanks bet the future on Luffy, in this case. Asterisk. Chapter 65 Horrified Straw Hat Crew. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The entire Sabayati archipelago was in chaos, gunfire, screams, and roars. The arrival of Kazaru changed the situation, and Supernova is no opponent at all. However, Luffy's eyes widened at this time and looked at everything in the field incredibly. Damn it! What kind of monster is this? Usopp shot out bullets. Comma. The others looked at Kazaru inconceivably. No matter what they attacked, they couldn't attack this person. Moreover, Zoro was stunned in an instant, and Luffy was kicked into the air. Seeing Zoro collapsed on the ground, stepped on by Kazaru, and golden feet, straw hat crew's eyes widened. Nami covered her mouth tightly with her hands, tears kept falling. Boom, boom. In the horrified eyes of Luffy and others, Kazaru's foot suddenly stepped on it. The explosion resounded and the smoke rose. Kazaru looked at the figure on the opposite side faintly. Unexpectedly, you actually appeared on the scene, Pluton Rayleigh. Ha ha. Their era has just begun, but it can't be ended so easily, Rayleigh smiled and looked at Kazaru. Seeing Rayleigh appearing in the field, Luffy's body trembled. Saved. Frankie breathed a sigh of relief. The others also breathed a sigh of relief, tears couldn't help streaming down, and at that moment, they were all Zoro dead. Although I often hear that you appear here, but I did not expect that you would actually help these newcomers. Advertisement. Mr. Rayleigh. Pirates are pirates after all. But if we want to catch you, we have to be prepared. Kazaru looked at Rayleigh faintly, and a flat voice came out slowly. Let alone whether he is Rayleigh's opponent, for example, once he catches Rayleigh, it is tantamount to confronting Roger's remaining forces. Kazaru knew about the monsters on Roger's ship. Moving Rayleigh is equivalent to moving the members of the Roger pirates. It seems that you refuse to let them go, Kazaru. Rayleigh looked at Kazaru lightly. Don't be kidding. Don't catch these little ghosts, naval headquarters can't be explained in front of celestial dragons, Kazaru skimmed Luffy and others, then spoke softly. Just finished speaking, Rayleigh and Kazaru frowned and both raised their heads together. Lei Ying. Boom. Boom. 
In the shocking gaze of Luffy and others, a thick bucket of thunder and lightning crashed down. The whole ground was shaking. Smoke rose, and Nami lay on the ground, crying dumbfounded, who's here again? The smoke slowly dissipated, but what caught Luffy and others' eyes was a big pit, a scorched big pit. What happened? Chopper swallowed and looked at the big hole not far away in surprise. Slap! Slap! The rubble was splashing. Rayleigh walked out of the ruins and looked at the figures in the distance with a wry smile. With a flash of golden light, Kazaru also flashed out of the pit, staring at the people in front of him. Advertisement. Looking at the expressions of Rayleigh and Kazaru, Nami and others all turned their heads. When? Who are these people? Usopp looked at the strangers not far away in shock. Straw Hat crew looked suspiciously at the stranger who suddenly appeared, is it an enemy or a friend? It's really troublesome. I didn't expect you to be here. Kazaru narrowed his eyes and looked at Enel and the others faintly. The Noel Pirates, the captain of the 4th Division. Like the old man, they are all Logia, and they are also Thunder Fruit capable. Damn it, how could such a monster appear here? Zon Taumaru looked at Enel and the others with solemn expression, and directly revealed their identities. There is also Luo who is offering a reward of 530 million. Although the voice of Zan Momomaru was not loud, it was very quiet on the court and everyone could hear it. Noel Pirates. Hearing Zan Momomaru's words, Nami and the others all had a meal, and they looked at Enel in shock. Noel Pirates, one of the five emperors, and the captain, is Luffy's brother. In other words, these people are the subordinates of Luffy's brother. Is this a friendly army? Usopp swallowed, and looked at Enel who was landing towards the ground and Luoji in horror. You appear here, that is to say, Noel is also at Sabayati Archipelago. Kazaru looked at Enel indifferently. Noel. Luffy's eyes widened, then he said silently. Yellow monkey. Long time no see. A thunder arc exuded from Enel's body, and he looked at Kazaru with a sneer. Advertisement. Mr. Rayleigh. Luo Z nodded to Rayleigh. Why are you here? Noel is here too. Rayleigh nodded with a smile, and then expressed his doubts. As soon as the voice fell, everyone looked at Luo together. For Noel, Nami and others have only heard about it, but have never seen it. The five emperors, that is the overlord of New World, they are also very curious about Noel, what kind of person he is. No, the captain is still in the Fishman Island. Luo gently shook his head. Yellow monkey, come on. Enel stepped on one foot, thunder and lightning spread all over his body. Kazaru will leave it to you. Seeing Enel, Rayleigh couldn't help but smile, then nodded to Nami and others, grabbed Zoro and left. Watching Rayleigh leave directly, Nami and others looked at each other, then looked at Enel and others. In the next moment, I will run straight away. Mr. Rayleigh, are we going like this? Frankie looked at Rayleigh, who was running by his side, in confusion. Hearing Frankie's words, Nami and others all looked towards Rayleigh. With Enel, there is no need for the old man to take action. Rayleigh nodded with a smile. Boom, boom. As soon as Rayleigh finished speaking, Nami and others heard a terrifying roar behind them, as well as the air wave that swept over them. Looking at the flashing thunder and golden light behind him, Sanji swallowed, two monsters. Asterisk. Chapter 66 Frog at the bottom of the well open black lens bracket seeking subscription close black lens bracket. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the bar, Zoro, Luffy and others, who were not in trouble, breathed a sigh of relief. I don't know how they are. Nami looked at everyone with a wry smile. As soon as the voice fell, the bodies of Luffy and others were shocked. In my mind, Kazaru, Enel and others appeared, and the scene of thunder and golden light colliding. Yeah, that's Marine Admiral. Yusup still looked a little flustered, but he was scared just now. Don't worry about Enel and the others, just rely on Kazaru's words, but I can't help him. Looking at the expressions of Nami and others, Rayleigh smiled and shook his head. Today's Enel is no longer considered comparable. Moreover, both of them are Logia-capable people, and it is not so easy to tell the winner. Five, four, three, uncle, were those people Noel's crew just now? Luffy raised his head and looked at Rayleigh suspiciously. Flicking the soot in his hand, Shaki smiled. Little monkey, Enel is the captain of the 4th Division of the Noel Pirates. Also, Brother Luo is also one of the cadres. 
Their strength is very strong. Captain of the 4th Division, one captain can resist Admiral, how terrifying is the strength of these five emperors? Sanji was next to the wall, with a cigarette in his right hand, looking at the crowd with a serious expression on his face. Hearing what Sanji said, everyone fell silent. Today can be said to have truly experienced helplessness, feeling powerless because of weak strength. Advertisement. If Rayleigh hadn't appeared in time, maybe Zoro would have been killed. They all add up. None of them are Kazaru's opponents. I have only heard of the five emperors before, knowing that they are the overlords of New World. They are very powerful, but they don't have a concept. But today, they are clear. Enel is just the captain of the fourth division. Above him, there are three captains. In other words, the Noel pirate group has at least four such monsters, plus the captain's Noel. Mr. Rayleigh, what happened just now, why can't we attack Kazaru? Frankie looked at Rayleigh suspiciously. Hearing Frankie's words, Luffy nodded too. Yes, Crocodile did the same back then. Today, Usopp and Zoro all shot against Kazaru. But it didn't work, Zoro was even killed by a trick. At the beginning, he was fighting with the guy Crocodile in the same way, and he couldn't fight him at the beginning. In the end, it depends on water. Kazaru is a Logia capable person, capable of elementalization. Ordinary attacks are useless at all, the only way is hockey. Rayleigh smiled and looked at everyone, after all, he was still a young man. Hockey. Zoro frowned and looked at him in surprise. The others glanced at each other, all shaking their heads together. Hockey, they were all hearing it for the first time. Hockey is divided into three types, observation hockey, armament hockey, conqueror's hockey. Observation hockey makes people's five senses sharp and can perceive the breath of the surrounding creatures. Hockey, whose feelings have changed, can also be used to anticipate and avoid danger. Advertisement. Armament hockey can improve personal defense and attack power, acting like an invisible armor, it can also evolve into attack power. Then it can compete with demon fruit power, and even touch the entity of Logia fruit power. Following Rayleigh's explanation, everyone's eyes widened. Especially seeing Rayleigh's arms become pitch black, everyone was even more shocked. Hockey, the sea still has this ability. No one here is stupid. Hearing Rayleigh's explanation, everyone knows the importance of hockey. There are three types of hockey, each of which has its effect, and they are all very practical. Now, they all know how much they are waiting for others to sit and watch the sky. If Rayleigh didn't say anything, they were really frogs at the bottom of the well. Especially Conqueror's Hockey, the qualifications of the king, the five emperors actually awakened Conqueror's Hockey. Uncle, can you teach us? Luffy smiled, but looked at Rayleigh longingly. Recently, he has no longer wanted to experience this kind of powerlessness. The companion was almost killed in front of him, but he was helpless. Not every time, it was so lucky. The others also looked at Rayleigh eagerly. Knowing the importance of Hockey, they also want to learn. However, among the people I know, only Rayleigh can. Little monkey, wait first, someone will arrange for you soon. Shaki smiled and looked at Luffy and the others. As soon as the voice fell, Rayleigh's eyes flashed, looking at Shaki in amazement. For Luffy, he is very optimistic. Advertisement. On Luffy's body, he seemed to see Roger's shadow, his heart. With Rayleigh, Shaki's mouth curled up, and the person today appeared in his mind. More and more interesting, this sea. Really. Thank you Shaki Sauce. Usopp and others jumped up with excitement, and Sanji just wanted to get up, when Nami hit the ground with a punch. I don't know, whether they have a winner or loser. Robin took a deep breath and looked in the direction of the battle. I really want to see such a strong fight, Luffy yelled with excitement. Hearing Luffy's words, Sanji and Zoro looked at each other, and a gleam of light flashed in their eyes. They wanted to know the result and wanted to see it. Don't make trouble. Luffy, Nami and Usopp flew tightly on the road 0.1. Seeing the appearance of Nami and others, Rayleigh couldn't help but smile, then whispered softly, actually, seeing such a scene is of great use to you. Mr. Rayleigh, Nami raised his head and looked at Rayleigh in surprise. I just escaped from the tiger's mouth, and now I take the initiative to feed the wolf. Such scenes are not often seen. Also, Enel and the others appear in Sabayati Archipelago, it means you are not in danger. 
Rayleigh put down the wine glass in his hand, then smiled and stood up. Then go take a look. Sanji and Zoro looked at each other, and then they spoke in unison. Chapter 67 The Shock of Supernova Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement When everyone came, they were shocked by the scene in front of them, and the radius of two kilometers was directly flattened. There were deep pits everywhere, with black smoke. It's kid them. Nami suddenly pointed to the distance. Looking at the countless deep pits in the field and the black smoke emitted, Sanji's mouth twitched. Two people. Zoro stared at the two people in the field closely, the strong, this is the real strong. Looking along Nami's fingers, Luffy and others also saw Kid and others. Basically the rest of the supernovae are there, and everyone is staring at the two figures in the field closely. One thing is the same, that is, Kid and others are very solemn at this time, and their eyes are full of shock. Without him, they were all shocked by the strength of Kazaru and Enel. Monster. Apu looked bitterly at the two afterimages in the field. Kid also clenched his fists tightly, his eyes filled with unwillingness and bitterness. I thought he was good, but now, he knew what a real powerhouse was. 23 I can't see clearly the movements of the two monsters in the field. There is a day outside the sky, this is the top powerhouse, strange monk Arouge let out a suffocating breath, and then said in a deep voice. Five emperors, Capone Beja's mouth kept twitching. For a big man like Enel, he certainly knows that the highlights can be seen in the newspapers, Noel Pirates, the captain of the 4th Division. Boom, boom, rubble was splashed, the grass was lifted, and the smoke slowly dispersed. Advertisement. It's really amazing. In just two years, it has grown to this point. Kazaru skimmed the hole in his suit, and then set his eyes on the opposite Enel. He was also very surprised. Compared with two years ago, Enel now has the strength to fight him. Damn, it's so strong, even the old man can't help it. Zontamaru in the distance looked at Enel in shock. Enel wiped the marks on his face and looked at Kazaru on the opposite side with a sneer. Shoo, after holding back for so long, I can finally fight hard. Since the battle with Beast's pirates, he has never encountered a decent opponent. Forgive me. Kazaru's mouth twitched as he watched Enel flying by in the form of a thunder light. The two of them would have nothing to do with each other for a while, but this guy Enel is simply a lunatic, pestering him. Although that is the case, Kazaru's movements are not slow. Fists and feet collided, Enel glanced at the twinkling golden light of Kazaru's hands. Armed color instantly covered his left foot, flipped his body gently, and then smashed it down severely. Chang Chang, Chang Chang. Sparks flew in all directions, the ground behind Kazaru burst directly, and a terrifying air wave swept out. The bodies of the two shook, Kazaru stepped back two steps, and Enel followed the impact and retreated behind him. This speed, Sanji looked at the two separated in shock. This speed is too fast, and he can't see the speed of the two people at all. Advertisement. I just saw a light of thunder and a golden light. When it was discovered, the two did not know when they collided. Have you become so strong? Rayleigh also looked at Enel in surprise. In two years, I really stepped into the group of people at the top of the pyramid. Now, Rayleigh is a little curious about how strong Noel, as the captain, is. Let's go. After looking at the two people in the field, Kid took a deep breath, then turned and left. To become stronger, we must become stronger, we must become stronger. He already knows the identity of Enel one of the five emperors, and the captain of the fourth division of the Noel Pirates. I thought that after entering the new world, I would challenge the five emperors. Now it seems that the plan is about to change, not to mention the five emperors, just the next captain. They will be able to kill them. Although he is proud, Kid does not kill them. As far as his current strength is concerned, to challenge the five emperors is simply to give away the head. Like Kid, Apu and others had the same thoughts. After looking at the two of them, they also turned around and left. What kind of shit supernova, in front of the real strong, they are really good enough to make no difference. Looking at the backs of Kid and others, Zan Momomaru couldn't help clenching his fists. The potential of these supernovae is very large, and retention is also a threat to Marine. Damn it, if it wasn't for the Noel pirates, Zan Taumaru hit the ground with a punch. Blue Brew. Hearing the voice of the phone bug, 
Kazaru glanced at Enel, showing helplessness on his face. Advertisement. It's thankless, and the trouble is coming again. Kazaru, how about Sabayati Archipelago, Straw Hat Crew, and have those supernovae arrested? As soon as the phone worm was connected, 543 Sengoku's voice came out slowly. Marshal Sengoku, mission failed, Kazaru shrugged, then spoke softly. There was an accident, the Noro pirates, Enel appeared in Sabayati Archipelago. And so is Pluton Rayleigh. Naval headquarters, Sengoku opened his eyes wide at this time, and then yelled, how come the people from the Noel pirates appear in Sabayati Archipelago? In the office, Garp breathed a sigh of relief when he heard Sengoku's roar. When he heard that Luffy had beaten Celestial Dragons, Garp was always worried. When Kazaru was dispatched, he thought that Luffy was dead this time, but he didn't expect to turn around. Noel's subordinates actually appeared in Sabayati Archipelago. As for Rayleigh in Sabayati Archipelago, Garp knew about it a long time ago, and Marine executives knew about it. Damn, damn Noel pirates. The phone worm hung up, and Sengoku hit the desktop with a fist, his eyes flashing fire. Shit chucking stick, Noel sees every thieves are simply shit chucking sticks. Looking at Garp, who was grinning aside, Sengoku became even more angry. The mission failed again, and Celestial Dragon's anger was about to be sent to Marine again. Chapter 68 Shocking, Sweeping Across the Sea. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Seven days have passed since the Sabayati Archipelago incident, and no one expected it. Things will end like this, but most of the pirates are gloating. After all, Marine suffers a loss as their favorite to see. However, a piece of news swept the entire ocean and directly covered up the incident at Sabayati Archipelago. Hey, are you kidding? A reporter holding a pen and paper, looking at the newspaper in his hand, was completely stunned. Crazy, really crazy, beside a bounty hunter, his eyes widened. Whitebeard pirates, fire fist ace, publicly executed at naval headquarters a month later. Looking at the contents of the newspaper, everyone felt incredible. However, this newspaper was published by Marine. Crazy, Huaquan Ace, but the strongest man in the world. A woman covered her mouth, looking at the newspaper with shocked expression. They had to be shocked, the whole sea, unaware of Whitebeards, it could be said that there was none. It was because of knowing that I felt shocked. Because of Whitebeard's character, most people know it. It treats the crew as family members, and it is also the shortest guard. Marine wants to execute Fire Fist Ace publicly, which is completely equivalent to a battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. It's going to be chaotic, what will happen to this world? Can Marine stop the world's strongest anger? Ordinary people felt the crisis, and Marine fought with the Whitebeard Pirates. If Marine loses, no one knows what the world will be like. At this time, Sabayati Archipelago, in the bar. Advertisement. Because of the appearance of Enel and others, the plot has changed. Luffy and others were not shot by the bear at all, and they are still in Sabayati Archipelago. Luffy, Nami looked worriedly at Luffy, whose body was trembling and his eyes widened. How is it possible, how is it possible? Luffy's hands holding the newspaper kept shaking. The appearance of Ace kept coming to his mind. That's his brother, it's his brother. Public execution means that Ace will be killed in a month. Ace, Ace, I'm going to save Ace. Thinking that Ace would be killed in a month, Luffy stood up excitedly. Bang, bang, Luffy, calm down. Zoro and Sanji shot out instantly, and they held Luffy. Ace, I want to save Ace. Luffy was struggling, his eyes filled with horror. Luffy, don't be impulsive, do you know where Ace is being held now? That's Marine's headquarters. I guess we were arrested before we saw Ace. Sanji pressed Luffy tightly, and then spoke in a deep voice. Calm down, Luffy. Hearing what the two said, Luffy stopped struggling, but his body was still shaking. I want to save Ace. That's my brother. That's my brother. Tears fell from his eyes, and Luffy clung to Sanji's collar with both hands and looked at him helplessly and panicked. Looking at Luffy's expression, Sanji also smiled bitterly. He also wants to save Ace, but that is naval headquarters. Advertisement. At present, Marine has gathered all the elites, it is like a dragon's den. Unexpectedly, Marine actually played so big this time. 
Use Ace as a bait to target Whitebeard. Shaki's face was also very solemn. Unlike Luffy and the others, she saw Marine's purpose. Bait. Against Whitebeard. Robin frowned and looked at Shaki in surprise. Nami and others also all looked towards Shaki. Immediately, Shaki explained the purpose of this Marine. Hearing Shaki's explanation, everyone was shocked. Unexpectedly, there are so many things behind the public execution of Ace. But Rayleigh's brows are tightly together, it's not that simple. Marine must know the relationship between Ace and Noel. If you know it, then, if you dare to execute Ace publicly, it means that Marine is preparing to go to war with the two forces of the five emperors. With Marine alone, fighting with the Whitebeard pirates would be choking. With Noel and them, Marine can't be an opponent. However, Sengoku still dared to do this, that is, to have a certain degree of confidence, resist Noel and Whitebeard. World government Rayleigh's eyes flashed with light. That's right, Sengoku dared to do this, it seems that the world government is behind it. Then Whitebeard knows that this is Marine's conspiracy against him, will he save Ace? Frankie looked at Shaki suspiciously. Yes, you don't understand Whitebeard. Whitebeard is a person who values his subordinates very much. He has always regarded the crew as his family and his own son. Advertisement. Even if he knew it was Marine's conspiracy, he would. Shaki nodded firmly, then spoke in a deep voice. Yangmu, it seems that Marine is right Whitebeard, Robin took a deep breath, then whispered. The resourceful general, Sengoku, Shaki thought of the Marine Marshal. A proper plot, even if Whitebeard knew it, he had to enter the game. Not only for Whitebeard, but also for Noel. Rayleigh let out a sigh of relief and looked at Nami and others with a solemn expression. As soon as the voice fell, Nami and others were taken aback. At the next moment, everyone's bodies trembled, right? They were all shocked by Ace's affairs just now, and they all forgot that there is another key person, how is Lee, that is Noel. Noel is Ace's elder brother, knowing that his younger brother is going to be sentenced, he will definitely do it at that time. World government. Shaki's eyes condensed. This time, it was really a big deal, not only the Marine, the Whitebeard Pirates went to war. The Marine, World Government and the Whitebeard Pirates and the Noel Pirates are fighting to harass. Involving the two five emperors, no matter what the result is, when the time comes. Noel. Yes, Noel. Noel must have a way. Noel must have a way to save Ace. Luffy stood up suddenly and looked at Nami and others excitedly. Noel is the five emperors of New World. With his strength, he can definitely save Ace. Uncle, do you know where Noel is? As if finding a straw for life, Luffy walked up to Rayleigh anxiously. Percent. Chapter 69 The Background of the World Government. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Naval Headquarters, Marineford, can be said to have gathered all the elite of Marine at this time. In 10 days, a total of 100,000 marine elites gathered in the headquarters of the four large sea areas, including New World. In the meeting room, Marine 3 Admiral, all Vice Admiral are gathered together. In the Marshal's office, the atmosphere at this time was also very heavy. Unexpectedly, five elders, even you were sent. Sengoku looked at the burly man in shock. Marshal empty. The former Naval Headquarters Marshal and the current World Government Commander, Marshal Naval Headquarters 20 years ago, is known as Kong Kong. When he first told five elders about the relationship between Ace and Noel, five elders made the decision to use Ace as a bait to eradicate Whitebeard and Noel in one fell swoop. If the two forces of the five emperors rely solely on Marine, they are definitely not rivals. But I didn't expect that even the former Marine Marshal Sora was sent out by five elders. After all, the enemies are the two five emperors this time. Kong nodded, and then his gaze fell on Garp with 543 lowered his head. Sengoku also looked at Garp, and he also knew that his old friend was feeling uncomfortable now. However, he didn't say anything. For now, I hope Garp won't make any changes. The palms of the palms are also flesh, and the backs of the hands are also flesh. He doesn't ask Garp to stand on Marine's side. He just hopes that he won't cause trouble. Marshal Sora, what are the arrangements for Master Five Elders? Advertisement. Sengoku recovered, and then spoke slowly. Although Kong's strength is strong, letting him deal with the Five Emperors alone is a bit of a wild talk. 
Five Elders takes it very seriously this time. For Marine, you only need to deal with the Whitebeard Pirates. As for the Noel Pirates, it will be dealt with by the people of the world government. He slid Garp and said in a deep voice. Don't worry, the strength of the world government is not as simple as you think. Seeing Sengoku's appearance, Sora couldn't help but smile, then gently shook his head. He knows Sengoku's concerns, but Five Elders is really out of the CDAB background this time. Even when he first learned about it, he was very shocked. This is the best way. This time I can only win, not lose. Sengoku nodded when he heard Sora's words. He had no reason not to worry. This time he is important, the two five emperors, this is no joke. If Marine loses, then the following scenes are unimaginable, and the whole sea will be violent. By the way, what about Shichibukai? Sora looked at Sengoku suspiciously. All have been notified, and it should be here in just a few days. However, there are currently only six people left in Shichibukai. Also, I don't think Jinbei will agree. Sengoku frowned, then spoke in a deep voice. Marine has been paying attention to the whereabouts of Noel and others, and knows that they are in the Fishmen Island. Advertisement. The Fishmen Island hangs the flag of the Noel pirates, and Whitebeard is kind to the Fishmen Island. With Jinbei's temperament, Sengoku can already guess the result. Crocodile was defeated by Luffy and is still being held in Impel Down. Now there are only six people left in Shichibukai, and if Jinbei is added, there are only five people left. Moreover, these five people are all unruly people, it is impossible for them to work hard. Sengoku shook his head, then shook Garp, then winked at Sora. Seeing Sengoku's appearance, Sora shook his head slightly. He was very confident of Garp. At this time, at the Fishmen Island, Jinbei looked solemn, but looked at Noel bitterly. Aside, Neptune and others didn't speak. They didn't expect that such a big thing would happen. Noel, it seems you knew all this would happen. Jinbei exhaled deeply and looked at Noel with a wry smile. He didn't expect that what Noel said at the beginning would come true so soon, and the Whitebeard pirates would go to war with Marine. Fate, it's so wonderful. Noel smiled and looked at Jinbei. Because of his appearance, many things have been changed, but there are still some things that cannot be changed. If the old man can survive this time, the old man will join. Jinbei looked at Neptune and the others, then slowly stood up. Hearing Jinbei's words, Enel and the others looked at each other with a smile on their faces. They all know Jinbei's strength, and with the addition of another strong man, their strength has become stronger again. Neptune and the others were taken aback for a moment, and they looked at each other, and they were all relieved. This is the best result. Jinbei joins the Noel Pirates, which is good for everyone. Advertisement. Captain, shall we prepare? I can't wait, I'm going to make a big noise. Those marines dare to publicly execute your brother. Enel stood up and looked at Noel excitedly. Younger brother. As soon as Enel finished speaking, Jinbei and the others were stunned, staring at Noel with wide-eyed eyes. Jinbei, I forgot to tell you, Huaquan Ace is the captain's younger brother, Luo smiled and looked at Jinbei. This, Jinbei looked at Noel incredulously. The next moment, the corners of his mouth twitched, and he felt as if he had been cheated. However, Ace is actually Noel's younger brother, and Noel has long known that such a thing will happen, why not stop it? Looking at Jinbei's expression, Noel couldn't help but smile, and then whispered softly, many times, things are not as simple as you think. For example, Marine knew about my situation with Ace, but still dared to execute Ace publicly. Hearing Noel's words, Jinbei's eyes couldn't help but shrink. Hope, five elders will not let me down this time. Patting Jinbei's shoulder, the corner of Noel's mouth curled up. He is very curious now, because of his appearance, what changes will happen to the top of the war. Resist the two five emperors, what is it that makes Sengoku so emboldened? For this, Noel is also very curious about the background of world government. He also wanted to take this opportunity to look at the hidden strength of the world government. Chapter 70 Start War, Break Out. Previous Chapter Next chapter. Advertisement. One month passed in the blink of an eye, and today is the time for Ace's public execution. All over the world, everyone is looking at the big screen. Through the video phone worm, everyone saw naval headquarters. 
Sabayati Archipelago. Listening to Sengoku's voice, everyone's eyes widened. One Piece. Roger's son. The bloodline continues. Everyone felt incredible. They heard it. Sengoku said that Ace was Roger's son. Marshal Sengoku, the Gate of Justice has not received any instructions and opened automatically. I can't reach the power room either. And Ensign panicked, looking at Sengoku. What? Sengoku paused, his eyes widened. The whistle sounded loudly, and all the Marines looked at the ship that appeared in the distance in shock. The Whitebeard Pirate Group, the pirate group under his command, all appeared. And each is a famous big pirate in New World. Ace slowly raised his head and looked at the pirate ship getting tighter in the distance in shock. Slap, 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 slap. Seeing the bubbles constantly rising on the sea surface, Garp smiled bitterly, it seems that they came out of unexpected places. The layout is wrong. He stared at the boiling sea, frowning tightly. Advertisement. Boom, boom. In the shocking eyes of everyone, a huge ship rushed directly from the bottom of the sea, and then jumped up. Damn it, it was through coating. Looking at the Moby Dick landing on the sea, Sengoku couldn't help but twitch at the corner of his mouth. The line of defense was completely wrong, and Marine was laying out for a whole month. However, I never thought that Whitebeard would use this method to enter Marineford. Step on. The calm footsteps seemed to trample on everyone's hearts. Whitebeard walked out slowly, looked at Ace in the distance, and then looked at Sengoku coldly, long time no see, Sengoku. Whitebeard. Seeing Whitebeard walking out, Sengoku's eyes couldn't help but shrink. Are all the captains here? Smoka dangling his cigar, looking solemnly at Marco and the others on the boat. Pia, Whitebeard is the strongest in the world. Doflamingo laughed at Whitebeard. Daddy, Ace stared at Whitebeard and the others with eyes wide open. Ace, we're here to pick you up. I don't know who shouted, and in an instant, the Whitebeard pirates gave a strong cheer. Hearing the cheers, Ace's body trembled and his eyes widened. He is not a fool, and he knows that he is completely decoy. Marine's real purpose is Whitebeard. Because of this, Ace felt guilty. Tears dripped from the eye sockets unknowingly. Advertisement. Ace, wait for us, right now. Watching the momentum of the Whitebeard pirates surge, he also saw Marine's nervousness. Oh, it's really scary, all the captains are here, everyone is watching. Doflamingo laughed wanton, fearing that the world would not be chaotic. Shoo, the bright golden light shining on the sky. Watching Kazaru in midair, Whitebeard's eyes narrowed. Bakichong. Don't be too much, Kazaru. With a flash of blue light, Marco, who was covered with blue flames, appeared on top of Kazaru's head in an instant. Seeing Marco who appeared in front of him, Kazaru's movements couldn't help but lift it up with one hand. Fists and feet collided together, and an invisible wave of air swept out, and the two bodies paused and then separated. Kazaru landed on the seat and Marco landed on the deck. The two people looked at each other, wiping out a strong spark. Looking at the opposite Kazaru, Whitebeard sneered at the corner of his mouth. The next moment, his body suddenly shook and his fists blasted out. Taste. Click. The cracks are like mirrors, and there are cracks in the space. Sengoku, who has been paying attention to Whitebeard, saw his movements, his eyes condensed, and then he said in a deep voice, here, the ability to subvert the entire sea. Dot dot dot. Seeking flowers zero. Only those who have played against Whitebeard know how terrifying Whitebeard is. Shock Fruit's ability is simply destroying the world, the world's strongest, and that's how it came to it. In the shocking eyes of everyone, the calm sea horizon suddenly caused waves. Hey, this is a joke, right? Doflamingo looked at the waves rising in the distance in shock. Tsunami. Moonlight Moria said silently. Advertisement. It's really scary. Aokiji's eyes narrowed. The remnants of the old era. Akainu stared at Whitebeard, and today, he must kill this old guy. Boom. Boom. The calm sea boiled completely, and the waves swept up, one wave higher than the other, a real tsunami. Crescent Bay shook, and in all Marines' horrified eyes, the sea on both sides suddenly rose. Seeing the waves coming from both sides, many people yelled. Ice Age. Aokiji, who had been sitting still, suddenly flashed and appeared in the air for an instant. The waves on the left and right shot directly towards Aokiji. 
Aokiji stretched out his hands, and in the shocking eyes of everyone, the huge wave was directly frozen. The ice continued to spread. In an instant, a thick layer of ice formed on the entire sea surface, including Whitebeard's ship. Aokiji this kid, looking at the frozen sea water, Whitebeard let out a cold snort. Sure enough, it wasn't that simple. Marine 3 Admiral, everyone's abilities are very special, but they are all very scary. This is a good place to stay. Bista chuckled softly. Hearing what Bista said, Marco and others also smiled. Yes, although Aokiji this guy blocked the tsunami. However, this is not harmful to them either. The sea is frozen and they have a place to stay. Kill, rescue ace, Joe's made a leap, then let out a loud shout. Percent. Chapter 71 The war started, and it became white hot. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The members of Whitebeard's pirate group also landed one after another, rushing towards the execution platform. In an instant, the sound of guns and fighting resounded throughout the audience, blood stained the sky, and people fell down every moment. Via this scene, Doflamingo looked around excitedly. Hearing the sound of the guns and the fighting, the blood in his body felt boiling. Doflamingo looked at Hawkeye in surprise. Not only Doflamingo, but everyone else looked towards Hawkeye. I want to see how far it is from the best in the world. Hawkeye slowly pulled out the black knife behind his back, staring closely at Whitebeard. His body leapt and just dropped to the ground, and his right hand was lifted lightly. A green sword aura burst out, and the ice surface was cut, 547, and the sword light blasted in the direction of Whitebeard. Seeing Hawkeye's movements, everyone felt surprised, even Sengoku was no exception. Step on. Joe's looked at the sword energy that was blasting over, stepped on one foot, and his body was directly covered by masonry. Both hands stretched out, in everyone's shocked eyes. Joe's grabbed Jian Chi with both hands directly, and then threw it directly towards the sky. All of them are like monsters. Kazaru skimmed Joe's in the distance, then smiled and looked at Marco in front of him. Ace, I'm here. Kazaru's voice just fell, and a voice spread throughout the audience. Advertisement. Lou Luffy. Hearing this voice, Ace's body trembled and his eyes widened. Garp was also dumbfounded, staring at the figure running wild on the ice in the distance. Even if they were so far apart, he could see it, that was Luffy. Asshole, why are you here? Ace was struggling frantically, and then yelled. Panicked, he didn't expect that Luffy would also come. Because you are my brother. Luffy's laughter spread throughout the battlefield. The appearance of Straw Hat crew has attracted the attention of many people. Pluton Rayleigh. Sengoku stared at the white-haired old man behind Luffy, his fists clenched together. Rayleigh is here too. Garp also saw Rayleigh, his eyes narrowed. Pluton Rayleigh, is it because of Roger's son? Akainu stared at Rayleigh closely. Not only Garp, Sengoku, Whitebeard also discovered the existence of Rayleigh. Luffy, you guys be careful. Rayleigh skimmed Sengoku, single-footed, and shot directly in the direction of Whitebeard. Yeah, looking at Rayleigh's back, Luffy nodded, staring at Ace on the platform. The figure kept flashing, watching Rayleigh's movements, Marco and the others couldn't help being taken aback. Step on, Whitebeard, long time no see. Rayleigh held the bottle and smiled at Whitebeard. Why are you old guys here? Whitebeard twirled Rayleigh, his mouth curled up. The appearance of Rayleigh has a great influence on them, and it has added a top combat power. It's Roger's son after all, I can't just watch him being executed by Marine. Advertisement. Rayleigh opened the lid of the wine and looked at the fight in front of him indifferently. Whitebeard, things are not as simple as you think. Hearing Rayleigh's words, Whitebeard's brows couldn't help but frowned, and he looked at him suspiciously. Ace probably didn't tell you, who is his brother? Seeing Whitebeard's appearance, Rayleigh grinned at the corner of his mouth, and then smiled. Roger also has a son, the kid just now. Whitebeard was taken aback, then looked at Luffy in the court. Luffy is Ace's younger brother, and Ace's older brother is Noel. So, today, not only the game set against you Whitebeard, but the game set against Noel. Rayleigh skimmed Sengoku in the distance, and then spoke in a deep voice. Noel. Whitebeard's eyes shrunk, and he looked at Rayleigh, Noel in surprise, this man is no stranger to him. The kid is Ace's brother. 
And Roger's son, righteous. Rayleigh smiled and shook his head. After looking at Rayleigh, Whitebeard was lost in thought and involved a five emperor. Thinking of this, Whitebeard looked at Sengoku subconsciously. Looking at Sengoku in the distance, Whitebeard laughed. It was interesting. This time it was really interesting. Five elders, if there is nothing wrong, it should be those old guys behind the scenes. Compared to Whitebeard, Sengoku's face was dignified at this time. Rayleigh's appearance was beyond his expectation, which was not in the plan at all. Advertisement. An extra Rayleigh might affect the game, and he can't guess whether there is anyone else besides Rayleigh. Sengoku had a bad feeling, feeling that this war was no longer within his control. Boom. Boom. The fighting on the field did not stop. Cannonballs and bullets flew horizontally, blood dyed the ice red, and the battle became more and more fierce. The captain of the Whitebeard pirate group also successively shot. Really a terrifying defense, Aokiji looked at Joe's lazily. Joe's did not speak, but looked at Aokiji solemnly. He didn't dare to care about the marine admiral in front of him. The two looked at each other, and the next moment, they shot out directly. Shine clash. Two thorny spears on ice. This scene keeps repeating around 0.1, Joe's and Aokiji. Marco and Kazaru, and the other captains also have their own opponents. The number of people is almost endless. Zoro slashed down a marine, panting, and frowning. Chang Chang. A strong wind suddenly came from his ears, Zoro's eyes condensed, without hesitation, holding a pair of knives, he slashed directly towards the back. Sparks flew everywhere, Zoro's body shook, his body turned a few times in the air, and then fell to the ground. Marine Vice Admiral. Zoro clenched the long knife in his hand, looking solemnly at the tall figure on the opposite side. The war is getting fiercer and fiercer, and people fall every moment. However, the most critical combat power of the two sides has not been dispatched. Chapter 72 Rayleigh, Garp Shot. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. As in the original book, Oz appeared on the scene, but it only caused some minor troubles to Marine. In Ace's angry gaze, Heavenly Yaksha finally solved it. Seeing Shichibukai's movement in the court, Sengoku's fists could not help clenching. I know these guys are unreliable, but I didn't expect to be so messy. Regardless of enemy and friend, it is simply a crap on the court. He didn't expect that Hawkeye, who has always been arrogant, is actually the hardest worker this time. Although he didn't use his full strength, he entangled a captain under Whitebeard, and he was still a difficult figure like Bista. The Whitebeard pirate group, Luffy and others are constantly advancing. However, Marine is also madly blocking. As a result, the war has become intensified, and Luffy and others can't get close at all. The top combat power, the Marine side, is not worse than the Whitebeard pirate's side, it can even be said to be more. If it is Shichibukai, the yin and the yang will be violated, the result of the Whitebeard pirates will be even worse. It seems that the old man is going to be active. Rayleigh moved 23 to his shin and watched the battle in the field with a smile. He hadn't seen a battle on this scale for a long time. The next moment, with one foot on the deck, Rayleigh turned into an afterimage and shot out directly in the direction of Kazaru. This old guy, looking at Rayleigh's back, the corners of Whitebeard's mouth lifted slightly, making a curve. Advertisement. He also saw the situation on the court, and it was indeed very bad. Marine's combat power is generally stronger than that of the Whitebeard pirates. Sengoku has been paying attention to the situation on the battlefield, but he paid more attention to the mobile. Seeing Rayleigh's movements, Sengoku's eyes narrowed. Shu, Kazaru, who had just landed, his eyes condensed suddenly, and he stretched out his hands without hesitation. A golden long sword appeared in his hand, and then swung it directly to the left. Chang Chang. Sparks flew everywhere the ice exploded, and cracks spread like spider webs. It's you again, it's really troublesome, Kazaru's mouth twitched as he looked at Rayleigh in front of him. It seems that if you want to paddle, soy sauce is unrealistic. On the other side, looking at Rayleigh in the field, Marco couldn't help but stunt. However, Rayleigh's shot is more beneficial to them. If he and Rayleigh join forces, he can quickly solve Kazaru, and it may be able to reverse the situation. Kazaru will be blocked by me, you go to save Ace. Hearing Rayleigh's words, 
Marco's movement stagnated, he shook Kazaru, and then nodded. The body shook slightly, and the blue flame instantly covered his whole body. The wings formed by the flames spread out and agitated. Marco rose up into the sky, turned into a big light blue bird, and swept towards the execution platform. Seeing Marco's movements, Kazaru just smiled. Aren't you going to stop it? Rayleigh smiled and looked at Kazaru, his hand holding the long knife pressed forward. Feeling the power coming from the front, Kazaru's hands were also tight. Advertisement. Swords collided, sparks flew everywhere. Why stop it? Do you think Marco can save Ace? Kazaru looked at Rayleigh playfully, his left foot suddenly raised, and the dazzling golden light suddenly rose. Looking at Ace on the execution table, Rayleigh's eyes fell on Sengoku beside him. Really can't. Before the words were finished, Kazaru's left foot threw out fiercely with golden light. Boom. Boom. The ice surface on which the two stood directly sank, and a terrifying air wave swept out. The marine soldiers and pirates who approached were thrown off one after another. Everyone stared at the smoke place. The smoke slowly dissipated, and Rayleigh's left arm was covered by armament hockey. The arm is blocking the body, and Kazaru's left foot is kicking the arm. The two looked at each other, two bright lights flashed by, both of them tacitly raised the long sword in their hands, and then slashed them out. Leave quickly, don't get close to these two people. Seeing the bigger and more intense, there is also the ice layer that does not break open. Captain of the 10th Division, Coulier took a deep breath and then shouted. These two are monster level, if they are involved, it will be troublesome. Marine, the pirates all stayed away from these two dangerous figures. Marco, just pushed Aokiji back, Joes patted the ice off his arm and looked at Marco who was already near the execution platform with excitement. Pluton Rayleigh. Aokiji skimmed Marco, and then his eyes fell on Rayleigh who was fighting Kazaru fiercely. Advertisement. At this moment, everyone stopped their movements one after another. Everyone's eyes fell on Marco. Captain Marco, join and rescue Ace. Seeing Marco, who was approaching the execution platform, the members of the Whitebeard Pirate Group couldn't help but yell with excitement. It must be successful. Marco, the captains also clenched their fists at this time. Their purpose is to rescue Ace, as long as Ace is rescued, the war will be ended 547. Ace, looked at Ace who was in front of him, Marco's eyes were also condensed, but the next moment, his body suddenly trembled. A black shadow flashed past, and Marco was directly blown out in the shocking eyes of everyone. Marco, looked at Marco who was blown out, Ace trembled and then let out a roar. A figure fell in front of Ace, watching the visitor, Sengoku's brows couldn't help but frown. Garp, what are you doing here? Sengoku, you don't need to remind me, the old man knows that he is a marine, Garp sat directly in front of the trip platform with his fists clenched together. Hearing Garp's words and looking at his trembling body, Sengoku couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. If there is an empty word in your mind, even if you betray Marine, Garp will not betray Marine. For Garp, Sora knows and trusts very much. It's Garp Vice Admiral. Marine hero shot. Garp Vice Admiral. Looking at Garp on the execution stage, Marine was taken aback, and then he shouted in excitement. Yes, they still have this Marine hero. Chapter 73 Conspiracy. Attack. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Looking at Garp on the execution stage, all Marines roared in excitement. Garp's position in Marine can be said to be three times higher than Sengoku, and Admiral. He is the object of admiration for many Marines, the Marshal has not yet another successor, and Admiral is no exception. However, there is only one Marine hero in history. Grandpa. Looked at Garp, whose body was trembling, and Ace's fists were also clenched. As expected of Garp Vice Admiral, the sword is not old, Huo Shaoshan looked at Garp with a smile. What nonsense, Garp Vice Admiral, but Marine Hero. The mouse nodded with a smile. Old Garp, on the deck, looking at Garp on the execution platform, Whitebeard's brows were also frowned. He and Garp are both from the same era, so he knows exactly how terrifying the strength of this old guy is. Even if today's strength declines due to age, it is not comparable to ordinary people. Marco got up from the ground, shook his numb arm, and couldn't help but grin. This power is really terrifying. 
In an instant, Garp punched, he blocked the attack. However, the power was so terrifying, Marco slowly raised his head, looking at the two people on the execution stage, he couldn't help but sigh. A marine hero, a marine marshal, these two monsters are blocking. To rescue Ace, it is easier said than done. Grandpa. On the battlefield, dodging the bullet coming over, Luffy stared at Garp with wide eyes. Advertisement. Step on. At this moment, hearing the sound of footsteps coming from behind, Whitebeard was taken aback, then whispered. Skiato, what's the matter? The next day will be the Whitebeard pirate group, a captain under the devil. The Vortex Spider, in New World, is also a small well-known pirate. Whitebeard, who had not turned his head, did not notice at all, and Skiato lowered his head at this time. The right hand holding the hilt of the knife trembled lightly, and his eyes showed panic, anger and all kinds of responsible emotions. Daddy, Skiato slowly raised his head, gently pulled out the long knife from his waist, and stared at Whitebeard's back. Um, puff, puff, a bloody arrow spurted out, and time and space seemed to freeze. Whitebeard's body shook, his eyes widened, and he looked at the blade that penetrated Shang's mouth incredibly. The blood dripped on the ground, all this was so sudden. Daddy, on the ice, Lei Ching Makuge just saw this scene and then let out a silent voice. Hearing what Lei Ching Makuge said, everyone who was fighting all looked towards the mobile. When seeing the shocking scene, everyone's eyes widened. Asshole, what are you doing Skujardo? Marco made a face, then roared. Daddy. The other captains also clenched their fists, wishing to tear Skiato. Advertisement. Although I don't know what happened, Skiato made an unforgivable mistake. They didn't expect that Skiato would dare to attack the old man. Why? Skiato. Looking at the blood spilling from Shang's mouth, Whitebeard's body shook, and then asked softly. There is no anger, and the voice is very calm. Bang. Bang. Hearing Whitebeard's words, Skiato's body shook looked at Whitebeard's back, and then roared. Don't lie to me, you rescued Ace for you and sold us to Marine. Also, Ace is Roger's son. What? Hearing what Skiato said, everyone on the battlefield opened their eyes wide, looking in the direction of Whitebeard incredulously. It's really interesting, Marine's method. Doflamingo watched the interesting scene playfully, and then pointed Sengoku's direction. Skiato, you bastard, what are you talking about? Marco and others shouted angrily. Marco and others believed in Whitebeard, but someone under Whitebeard's command began to waver. Father, tell us if what Skiato said is true. Many pirates have a look of horror on their faces. Daddy, looking at the questioning voices around, Marco and the others turned pale. Damn, such a thing happened. Marco kicked his feet, the wings behind his back spread, and then quickly swept in the direction of Whitebeard. And Ace looked incredible in Whitebeard's direction, his body trembling constantly. Sengoku withdrew from Whitebeard, and his eyes fell on Akainu who had just returned to the battlefield. The plan was successful, he didn't expect it to be so easy. Advertisement. That's right, this is indeed Marine's plan to attack Whitebeard with Skiato's hand. The existence of Whitebeard poses too much of a threat to Marine. If it were to fight head on, Sengoku would not have the confidence to deal with Whitebeard. If other people want to plot against an emperor, it is estimated that it will be difficult, even if it is one's own. However, Sengoku is very aware of Whitebeard's character. He can doubt anyone, but he will not doubt his son. Step on. Whitebeard slowly turned his head and pressed with one hand, the long knife in Shang's mouth flew out directly. Because of the cutting of the blade, the blood sprayed out again. Seeing Whitebeard who turned his head, Skiato's body trembled, his eyes showing horror. For Whitebeard, he admired very much, but even more right was fear. Why, Li, Zhao, all this is what Akainu told me. Skiato's body kept receding, and then he said in a panic. Akainu, that's it. Hearing that it was the cause of Akainu, Whitebeard's eyes flashed with cold light, and then his eyes fell on Skiato again. In the eyes of everyone watching, Whitebeard's feet stepped out and his big hands suddenly opened. Seeing Whitebeard's movements, Skiato trembled and closed his eyes. Skiato, I know your grudge with Roger, but it doesn't change the involvement of Ace. You are my son just like Ace. Whitebeard held Skiato with one hand, 
His voice was extremely gentle, but the next moment, his face became gloomy. Marine, Akainu. After speaking, Whitebeard slowly turned his head and looked at Akainu in the distance coldly. Chapter 74 Mutation Thunder fell from the sky. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The terrifying killing intent on Whitebeard's body completely broke out, his eyes fixed on Akainu in the distance. The next moment, under everyone's gaze, Whitebeard suddenly jumped down. Both feet fell on the ground, the cloak behind the back was lifted, and the bottom of the feet shook, cracks appeared in the ice. Seeing Whitebeard's movements, Sengoku's eyes on the execution stage constricted. As expected of Whitebeard, it is so simple to resolve the danger. Although it is a pity, it is true that Whitebeard was hit hard. Here, a blow from the world's strongest man, Garp also slowly stood up, looking at Whitebeard solemnly. The angry Whitebeard is even more terrifying, and the horror of shock fruit is about to be fully revealed. Be careful, father is angry. Joes yelled at the people around him. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates group glanced at each other, and then quickly gathered together. Seeing the movements of the Whitebeard Pirates, Marine's people felt at a loss. Although I don't know what's going on, but I have a bad feeling in my heart. Boom, boom. Under everyone's gaze, Whitebeard clenched the big knife in his hand. 547A transparent mask enveloped the blade, and the big knife in his hand swung out. The whole air was swaying, the ice was splashing everywhere, and the ground was directly cut open. The terrifying arrival Chi shot out directly, very fast. The screams sounded, and Marine, who had not had time to dodge, was directly blown out. Advertisement. As the target execution stand, Sengoku's eyes narrowed as he watched the blast of sword energy. It was not over yet, after all this was done, the knife in Whitebeard's hand was thrust into the ice fiercely. Looking at the direction of the execution platform, his hand suddenly caught in midair. Ripples, ripples appeared in the space, two bright lights flashed through his eyes, and Whitebeard tugged with both hands. After the earthquake, it was tilted, and the whole ground was tilted. Damn it, what the hell is going on? The unsteady standing, the sudden scene shocked everyone. In an instant, screams and exclamations spread throughout the audience. It collapsed, the entire ice surface collapsed, and all the Whitebeard pirates that had been prepared for a long time also clung to the ice surface. Damn, Sengoku's body was shaking from side to side. What kind of ability is this? The people of Straw Hat crew were also lying on the ground, and Nami shouted in horror. And at this time, the terrifying sword aura directly blasted to the execution platform. Boom, boom. The execution platform exploded directly and smoke rose. Ace, looked at the exploded execution platform, Marco and others all looked up. The smoke slowly dissipated, and what appeared in front of everyone was that the execution platform had already collapsed. Sengoku fell on the ground, and Ace was lying on the ground, Garp blocking him. Go to hell, Whitebeard, the roar resounded throughout the battlefield. Magma Imp, looked at Akainu who appeared in front of him, and the magma arm that blasted over. Whitebeard's eyes flashed with cold light, and the sword in his hand was also raised high. Advertisement. Boom, boom. The magma splashed everywhere, and the magma fist collided with the big knife. Looking at Akainu who was blocking his attack, Whitebeard's mouth curled up with a sneer, clenched his fist, and then smashed it. Akainu's body trembled, and the whole person was directly blown out. Akainu Admiral. All this happened between the electric light and flint, Akainu and Whitebeard fought, just a moment of effort. Seeing the bombed Akainu, Marine and others all exclaimed. All strike, rescue ace. Looking at Akainu who was rising from the ground in the distance, Whitebeard let out a loud shout. C-dab kill, rescue ace, Whitebeard's voice just fell, and the pirates under his command raised their weapons high. Sheldon blocked them. Seeing the pirates rushing over frantically, Marine's general also yelled. Vice Admiral, the unmoving head giant who had been staying at the back, glanced at each other, and then strode out. Father, watching Whitebeard Shang's continuously spilling blood, Marco looked at him worriedly. Pulling off the cloak behind him, Whitebeard shook his head, I can't die. In the fierce collision, the Whitebeard pirates and Marine are all crazy. This scene is really crazy, Ming Zhe smiled and looked at everything in the field. Damn it, 
I can't get close to Ace at all. Luffy, who had just blasted off several marines, looked anxiously at Ace in the distance. The number of people was too much. No play, it was knocked down, and the surrounding marines came over again. Brew, brew, what? Advertisement. Damn teach, Sengoku, who just walked to Ace's side, looked at the phone worm in his hand in confusion. The next moment, the sound from the phone made his body tremble involuntarily. What's the matter? Garp's brow wrinkled as he looked at Sengoku. Damn, that guy teach is attacking Impel down, and it's fallen, and the whole Impel down has fallen. Sengoku clenched his fists tightly, his body trembling constantly. What? Garp's body also trembled, his eyes widened. Impel down, that was imprisoning heavy criminals. Inside, there were even pirates comparable to Roger. Occupied, if you let those guys run out, you can't imagine. It's messed up, it's going to be messed up. Garp can think of those guys escaping, what will happen to the sea, that is the real chaos. Boom, boom. At this moment, the sky suddenly roared. Hearing this voice, Garp and Sengoku both froze for a moment. The next moment, both raised their heads together. The terrifying thunder light suddenly fell from the sky, and then crashed down, directly burying the three of them. The entire battlefield was shaking, and the sudden scene made the pirates and marine on the battlefield stare. Marshal Sengoku, Garp Vice Admiral, Ace. Everyone stared at the smoke place closely, and a smile came up at the corner of Rayleigh's mouth. Shoo. Two figures suddenly flew out of the smoke. After Sengoku and Garp stabilized their bodies, both of them stared at the smoke. Chapter 75 Noel. Starting today, I will protect you. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The smoke slowly dissipated, and everyone looked at the group of people who appeared in the field, their eyes widened. That's, Vice Admiral, one of Marine's headquarters, looked at the people in the field incredibly. They are the captains of the Noel Pirates. In an instant, there were bursts of exclamation sounds on the court, and everyone looked at I, Nelu incredulously. First Division Captain Acedes, Second Division Captain Mardo Gill. Except for the captains of the Third and Fourth Divisions, the other captains are all here. Everyone at Marine looked at Acedes and others in horror. Damn, why would the Noel Pirates appear here? Ha ha ha, it's really lively, excited laughter suddenly came from above. Hearing this sound, everyone raised their heads and looked at the sound. What is this? Looking at the giant floating in the sky, everyone's eyes widened again. A dark, island-like thing was floating in the air. That's the Noel of the five emperors of New World. There are several other captains, the big pirates of the pirate group, who O Shaoshan looked at the headed Noel and others in shock. All are here, the Noro pirate group, and the various big pirates under his command. Damn. How could the Noel pirates appear here? Looking at Noel and others, Brother Ming couldn't help but narrow his eyes. Advertisement. He is in conflict with the Noel pirates, and now he thinks, don't run away. Otherwise, when you are followed by these lunatics, you will not be able to escape if you really want to. Noel, Ace, who was lifted up by Maldo Jill, looked at Noel with wide eyes. That's Luffy, and Ace's brother. Nami swallowed staring closely at the blonde man headed above. Sengoku, I didn't disappoint you, I'm here. Noel cast aside Whitebeard, his gaze fell on Sengoku. Laughter, clear laughter came out slowly, and laughter spread throughout the audience. Also, my unbelievable brother, thanks to your care. Noel's laughter spread throughout the battlefield. Brother, on the field, except for a few people, everyone looked at Noel with wide-eyed eyes. Step on. Noel jumped directly from the underworld beast and stood firmly on the ice. Looking at Ace with wide-eyed eyes, Noel couldn't help but smile, then press his right hand on his shoulder. From today, I will protect you. This is what I promised Rouge. Looking at Noel's confident smile, Ace lowered his head, then said solemnly, I'm sorry. If I didn't act arbitrarily, I wouldn't involve you. Tears fell from Ace's eyes. He is not a fool and he can see the situation on the court clearly. Knowing, the purpose of Marine is not that simple. Because of his own willfulness, involving his closest relatives, Ace was full of guilt at this time. Idiot, I'm your brother. Advertisement. Whitebeard can't protect you, brother protects you, Noel gently embraced Ace, putting his right hand on his head. 
The court was very quiet at this time. Although Noel's voice was not loud, many people heard it. Ace, is Noel's younger brother. Bramank looked at Noel incredulously. I haven't heard Ace say. Bista took a deep breath, his eyes gleaming. Everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates group was staring at them, and then they felt excited. Noel is Ace's elder brother, that is to say, he is from their side. The two five emperor forces, what did Marine resist? He didn't expect that Ace actually had another brother, and it was Noel. Daddy, Marco looked at Whitebeard. The little devil of the instrument, looking at Noel and Ace in the distance, Whitebeard snorted coldly, but there was a smile on his face. Ace was rescued, this is the best result, the goal has been achieved. Looking at Whitebeard's expression, Marco also smiled, and he couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he looked at Noel and others in the distance. Dot dot dot, seeking flowers zero. Knowing the relationship between Ace and Noel, the members of the Whitebeard Pirates were excited. However, Marine felt incredible and desperate. Firefist Ace is Roger's son, and Noel is the brother of Firefist Ace. That doesn't mean that Noroel is also Roger's son. Marine's people looked at Noel incredulously, and the person in front of him was one of the five emperors. Hearing the surrounding discussion, Sengoku let out a deep breath and stared at Noel tightly. Advertisement. Five emperors Noel is the righteous brother of Fire Fist Ace. Hearing Sengoku's words, everyone was taken aback. Brother Yi, that is to say, Noel is not Roger's son. Noel, Ace, through this gap. Luffy suddenly rushed over from a distance, looking at them excitedly. Luffy, Ace, who just unfastened his handcuffs, wiped the tears from his face, raised his head, and smiled at Luffy who rushed over. Noel, Ace, looking at the two people in front of him, Luffy burst into tears and hugged Ace tightly. Seeing Luffy's appearance, Noel shook his head, glanced sharply at the audience, and finally landed on Sengoku. Sengoku, show your whole cards. As soon as Noel's voice fell, Whitebeard in the distance was staring at Sengoku. The others were taken aback, and they all looked towards Sengoku. Shu, under everyone's gaze, a black shadow suddenly flew over from a distance, and then fell beside Sengoku. Looking at the burly man beside Sengoku, Whitebeard and Rayleigh were all taken aback. Kong, empty, if you only have him in the hole, then. Today, Marine will no longer exist. Noel looked at the sudden appearance of the sky, suddenly stepped on his feet, and then said in a deep voice. Boom, boom. Noel had just finished speaking, and a monstrous aura rose to the sky, a terrifying aura, as if to crush the sky. Chapter 76 It's been a long time, Whitebeard. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Throughout the battlefield, everyone looked at Noel incredible, even Whitebeard was no exception. With Noel as the center, Dense cracks appeared on the ice. This little, Whitebeard in the distance looked at Noel in shock. Haki. With a terrible sense of oppression, Sengoku and Sora both trembled and looked at Noel in shock. This sense of oppression was really terrifying. Seeing the cracked ice surface around Noel, everyone was even more shocked. This kid's use of hockey is really scary. Looking at the fallen marine nearby, the corners of his empty mouth couldn't help but twitch, and then he looked at Noel solemnly. Conquerors. Akainu's eyes flashed in the distance. This man, the female Emperor Han, May 47 inches cook looked at Noel, a strange light flashed in her eyes. This conqueror's hockey is definitely the strongest hockey she has ever seen. Goo la la la, this kid hockey reminds me of that red-haired bastard. He could feel the pressure of terror even if they were separated by a lot of distance. This made him think of red hair. The guy's use of hockey is also very scary. Everyone at Straw Hat Crew also looked at Noel, Conqueror's hockey in shock, and they heard the comments from everyone around them. It's hockey again, and it's Conqueror's hockey. Shoo. Several figures appeared behind Kong, a total of five people, all panting with black cloaks. Looking at the five cloaked men behind Kong, Noel's eyes narrowed slightly. Advertisement. Not only Noel. Everyone on the court looked at the five people behind Kong in surprise. Are you from the world government? Whitebeard stared at the five men in black. For some reason, he felt that these people were a little familiar, but he couldn't remember who it was for a while. Not only Whitebeard feels this way, but Rayleigh, Sengoku, 
Garp and others also feel this way. Even if there were cloaks covering most of their faces, Garp still felt that these people had a familiar feeling. Destroy Marine, kid, you really show up. Sora stepped out and stared at Noel coldly. Before he finished speaking, Kong's eyes condensed, armament hockey covered his fist, and then he blasted out. Boom, boom. The ice surface exploded directly, spider web like cracks spread, and terrifying air waves swept out. So fast. Sengoku looked at the burly man in front of Kong in shock. Looking at Sora, and the cracked ice under third Rakage's feet, Garp's eyes also narrowed. He just saw an electric current. Who are you? Sora looked at third Rakage solemnly. He had looked down on the information of the Noel pirate group ten times, but there was no such person in front of him. A nameless boy. Third Rakage looked at the sky lightly, but a terrifying aura broke out on his body. As soon as the voice fell, the two looked at each other, and their fists collided again. Heavy current storm. Kong. With their fists facing each other, a terrifying wave of air swept out, and their bodies sank. Looking at the two figures that are constantly fighting in the field, and the splashing ice. Advertisement. What kind of monster is this? Kazaru looked at third rakage in shock. Of course he knew Sora, but he didn't expect that such a character would emerge from the Noel Pirates. Anyone who popped up was able to draw a tie with Sora. Not only Kazaru, Whitebeard also looked at third rakage in shock. Looking at the two people in the field, Noel hit the ground with one foot, and then shot out towards Sengoku. Sengoku narrowed his eyes as he watched the bursting Noel, and then drank. Top of the Buddha, Sengoku's body swelled up, and it looked like it was plated with a layer of golden light, and his palm was shot directly. Boom. Boom. With a terrible roar, Noel couldn't help but smile as he watched Sengoku who blocked his slash. Hado no four white thunders. A thunderbolt shot out from the finger and shot directly at Sengoku. Seeing the thunder and lightning that blasted over, Sengoku kicked his left foot and jumped high. Shockwave. Avoiding the attack of thunder and lightning, Sengoku's palm was shot again. The entire ice surface was shocked, and an invisible force blasted towards Noel. Looking at the broken ice, Noel was on the ground with one foot, and his figure disappeared. Hado. 88 flying dragons strike thieves and shake the sky and thunder cannons. In an instant, Noel appeared on Sengoku's upper left, with his hands outstretched. A huge blue beam shot out. The ice was splashing in all directions, the whole ground was shaking, and the roar resounded. Everyone swallowed at the place where the smoke was seen. Advertisement. A bottomless pit appeared in the eyes of everyone. Sengoku was in the pit, with his hands crossed and panting. Shu. Sengoku jumped out of the pit, very embarrassed at this time, but looked at Noel solemnly. This little, saw Sengoku's appearance, and Garp couldn't help but twitch. He has forgotten how long it has been. It has been a long time since Sengoku was so embarrassed. Noel's strength is so terrifying. Goo la la la, little ones, it's our turn. Seeing Sengoku's appearance, Whitebeard couldn't help laughing. He grabbed the big knife next to him, and then yelled. As soon as Whitebeard's voice fell, Marco and the others burst out. 0.1. Because Enel and others are already fighting with Marine. Moreover, Ace has been rescued and has no worries. Looking at the backs of Marco and others, Whitebeard chuckled softly. The next moment, his eyes suddenly squinted, and the big knife in his hand suddenly slashed towards the right. Chang Chang. Sparks flew everywhere, and a man in black appeared in front of Whitebeard, holding a long sword in his hand. It's you. Looking at the true face under the cloak, Whitebeard's eyes couldn't help but he looked at the person in front of him in shock. Now he knew why, and he felt that this person was familiar, and he was really an old acquaintance. It's been a long time, Whitebeard. An icy voice came out slowly, and the man in black slowly raised his head and looked at Whitebeard faintly. Chapter 77 Shocked. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Whitebeard looked at the person in front of him stubbornly. No wonder he felt familiar. It turned out to be this old guy. Walby, I didn't expect you to be alive. Whitebeard sneered at the person in front of him. You are not dead. How could I die? Bold pulled off his cloak and looked at Whitebeard with a sneer. Hearing what Bulb said, Whitebeard sneered at the other three men in black on the court. 
They are all old friends, and world government really played a good hand. He knew all four of them, and they were all from the same age as him. These four guys are all big pirates of their time. People who were already dead are suddenly alive now. Whitebeard's face also became serious, and he felt chills in his heart. These people have all been published in the news. They were either arrested or killed. It now appears that it is the handwriting of the world government, playing a wave of routines. The person in front of him was a former big pirate, but the names of Roger, Whitebeard, Golden Lion and others were too loud, so that the others did not emit heat. Why uh, It seems that the world government has already made arrangements. Kazaru was also surprised to watch the changes in the field. Five elders. Garp's eyes narrowed as he looked at Bulb's face. Boom. Boom. There was a roar. Everyone followed the sound and saw a scene that made them feel shocked. Marshal Sengoku. Looking at Noel in midair, Sengoku, and Marine who were blasted out, all shouted. On the other side, the battle between Sora and Third Rakage has also entered a fever pitch. Advertisement. The battle between the two people is full of enthusiasm. There are no exaggerated, gorgeous skills, just pure physical skills collision, fists and fists. The two fists faced each other, and then they separated again. After Third Rakage stabilized his body, he pressed the opposite sky tightly. Very strong. No matter whether it is defense or attack, this person is not weaker than him. Sora also looked at Third Rakage solemnly, but was shocked in his heart. Where did this monster come from? The body was almost like steel, and the defenses couldn't be broken. Ultimate speed, strength, this is simply another Garp. Garp, Sora, Sengoku, and Bulb stood side by side. Sengoku, are you okay? Garp shook his numb arm before speaking in a deep voice. Although the words were addressed to Sengoku, Garp looked at Noel. He just shot, and had to do it, because Sengoku was completely suppressed when Sengoku met Noel. He was also shocked by Noel's strength. Sengoku didn't speak, but pressed Noel tightly, clenching his fists. Damn, I still underestimate Noel. I didn't expect it to be so terrifying, and how much power this guy has. Step on. Noel landed steadily, smiling at the gloomy Sengoku on the opposite side. Boy, what are your plans? After leaving the third rakage next to Noel, Whitebeard couldn't help but look at Noel. Advertisement. He was also surprised by Noel's strength, what kind of monster this is. The guy Sengoku was actually suppressed, and the combat power displayed by third rakage made him feel more frightened. This kid found such a strong man from there. When he was in the Fishmen Island, Noel's strength was good, but it was not so scary. Not only Noel, but even his crew. Looking at the big hole in Whitebeard Shang's mouth, Noel raised his brow and waved his right hand. Snapped. Whitebeard's gaze flickered, he skimmed the pill in his hand, and then looked at Noel. Eat. Don't die, Noel smiled and looked at Whitebeard. This pill was obtained by him in a lottery. It can regenerate muscles and vitalize bones. There are five pills in total. I don't know that it is a product of that world. Hearing Noel's words, Whitebeard's mouth curled up, and without hesitation, he threw the pill into his mouth. Although he doesn't know the effect of this pill, he believes that Noel must have his own intentions. At the entrance of the pill, the next moment, Whitebeard's eyes suddenly shrank, and he looked at his mouth in shock. How is it possible? The sky on the other side also made a silent voice. Garp. Sengoku were also stunned, looking at Whitebeard incredulously, to be precise, his wounds. Healed. That's right, the wound has healed. Whitebeard looked at the bloodline in Shang's mouth, and his eyes fell on Noel. Even though he was so knowledgeable, he was shocked now. Don't think too much. Injury is an injury after all. The effect of medicine is only to restore the wound. Advertisement. Seeing Whitebeard's expression, Noel chuckled softly. Little devil. The old man owes you a favor. Looking at Nor, Whitebeard's eyes flashed a little, then he said in a deep voice. Although Noel said lightly, only Whitebeard knew how terrifying this medicine was at the end of 550. Whitebeard knows how precious this medicine is to recover from an injury in an instant. He accepted this love. Don't owe me favors, just give me 100 or 8 billion baileys. Anyway, you have a lot of territory, this little money will hurt you by mistake. Hearing Whitebeard's words, Noel's mouth turned into a playful smile. 
As soon as the voice fell, Whitebeard's mouth twitched. Eight billion Baileys were still casual, and only this kid could say it. One billion Baileys is a huge number for any force. Sengoku and the old guy will leave it to you. The empty guy is left to third rakage. Old man leave it to me. Noel looked at the battle in the field, then smiled at Sengoku and the others, and then let out a loud shout. Shock the door open. A terrifying air wave swept out, and the ice surface sank directly. Noel was completely surrounded by blue oversized gas, and the blue veins on his forehead emerged. Boom. Boom. The next moment, in the shocking eyes of everyone, Noel kicked his feet and shot out like a blue cannonball. Chapter 78 The Person Watching Secretly Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Seeing Noel flying by, Garp couldn't help but grinned at the corner of his mouth. He kicked his feet and shot out. Touch, touch. The fists collided, the bodies of the two were tilted, and the ice under their feet exploded. Feeling the terrible power coming from his fist, Garp couldn't help but narrow his eyes. Not bad, old man. Noel smiled and looked at Garp. The next moment, his body suddenly moved, his left foot lifted, and he used it suddenly. Seeing Noel's movements, Garp also laughed. The action of the two is almost the ultimate, from the ice to midair. In an instant of effort, there were countless collisions, the sound of fists colliding. It makes people feel passionate. Armed gravity fist. Just hit the ground, Noel's body was bent, and then he burst out again. After images, in the blink of an eye, Noel appeared in front of Garp. The fist covered by the armed color smashed directly. Because the punch was too fast, there was a sonic boom. Fist bone hardened. Garp also let out a roar. Armament hockey covered his arm, and then went straight out. Boom, boom. Marine, the pirate who was fighting, at this moment, everyone felt the ground shake. Advertisement. Taste. Click. With the two as the center, countless cracks spread, collapsed, and the ice surface was directly lifted. Run away, it's collapsed. Looking at the rising ice, screams and exclamations spread throughout the battlefield. Grandpa, Noel, Luffy, not far away, looked at the two people in the field in shock. Monster, looking at the two people in the distance, Sanji couldn't help swallowing. Invisible, Usopp wiped his eyes, then collapsed on the ground. He couldn't see the shadow of the two at all, it was too fast, the speed of the two was really too fast. Only at the moment of collision can we see clearly. There are such monsters everywhere. Frankie looked around with solemn expression. There are battles everywhere, Marine 3 Admiral, Noel Pirates, Whitebeard Pirates, and the previous captains. These are all monsters, and the aftermath of the battle is terrifying. Noel touched his feet on the ground, panting, but looked at Garp with a smile. Little devil, I really don't know how to respect the old and love the young. Garp curled the fist marks on his shoulders and stared at Noel with wide eyes. However, I was also very shocked, Noel's strength was too terrifying. Physical skills and the use of hockey are very scary. Sengoku, Wolby, it's our turn. Seeing the two figures colliding in the field, Whitebeard grinned and his eyes fell on the two Sengoku. The injury has healed, Ace has been rescued, he can fight without fear. Advertisement. Moreover, the situation on the court is very favorable to them. The strength of the Noel pirate group made Whitebeard feel shocked, because the previous captains were all of the admiral level. Hearing Whitebeard's words, Sengoku frowned. Kong's expression on the side was also gloomy beyond imagination, and the strength of the Noel pirate group exceeded his imagination. The situation on the court was clear at a glance, and Marine did not take much advantage. Three Admiral were all stopped by the Noel pirates. Aokiji played against Aseeds. Kazaru vs. Enel. Akainu played against Maldogir and Yanos. Shichibukai was also stopped by the Whitebeard pirates and the big pirates under the Noel pirates. It's not good. As the staff of naval headquarters, Crane watched the battle in the field with a solemn expression at this time. Marine, is completely at a disadvantage, Ming brother has left long ago, and Yingyan and others are also willing to retreat. After all, they are not working hard for Marine and offending the two emperors of New World. It is not worthwhile to think about it. Blackbeard, who had just come out of Impel Down, was also in the midst of a war in secret. Damn it! How come the Noel pirates are here? Teach clenched his fists, 
his body trembling constantly. Noel's appearance is not in his script. Moreover, Teach also felt shocked by the strength displayed by the Noel pirates. Onlookers clear that the previous captains actually have the strength of three admiral, and who is that old man? Can actually fight against Kong. Captain, are you sure we can remove Whitebeard's head? Advertisement. Watching the battle in the distance, Lafitte looked at Blackbeard bitterly. Such a scene, such a battle, as far as his strength is concerned, it is estimated that he is going to get food. And Catalina Dippin, who was rescued by Blackbeard from Impel Down just now, did not speak. They were also shocked by the war before them. Teach, Marine is completely downwind. If this goes on, sooner or later, he will lose. Quote. Yes, I just came out of Impel Down, I don't want to die. This is completely different from what you said. Catalina. Dai Peng and others spoke one after another. Damn Noel. Teach looked at Noel in the field with a gloomy expression. Everything is calculated, but it is not calculated, the Noel pirates will actually appear here. According to his script, it should be copied like this. Whitebeard fought with Marine, and both lost and wounded, but after Li Li's, he finally came out and killed the seriously injured Whitebeard, and then borrowed the power of Dark Fruit to capture Whitebeard Shock Fruit. However, the appearance of the Noel pirates made all his plans ruined. What kills Whitebeard, seizes the ability of Shock Fruit, and then becomes the Five Emperors instead. All of this is lost. Even if he is on the court and standing on Marine's side, he may not be able to win. Moreover, most of the guys around him had just come out of Impel Down, so they couldn't talk about a single mind. Go. Teach's face was constantly changing, he glared at Noel, and then turned to leave. Looking at Teach's back, Catalina Daipung and others looked at each other, and they all smiled coldly. 11%. Chapter 79 Red Hair Comes on Stage, Whitebeard's Killing Intent. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. When Blackbeard waited and was about to leave, there was a sudden scream and exclamation from the court. Hearing the sound from the battlefield, Teach's body paused, then turned his head in confusion. When seeing the changes in the field, Teach's eyes flashed with excitement on his face. Red Hair, Captain, Red Hair Pirates. Lafitte looked at the Red Hair Pirates that suddenly appeared in the field in shock. Another five emperors have arrived, and they are Red Hair Pirates. What happened today, he thought Teach's plan was very successful. However, he did not expect that one, the Noel Pirates, suddenly appeared, breaking the original plan. I thought the plan was ruined, but I was already ready to leave. However, unexpectedly, a red hair pirate suddenly appeared. Could it be that things are still turning around? Teach was also excited looking at the red hair in the field, he decided not to leave. After looking at the situation, which side is the red-haired guy on? The appearance of red hair pirates made the atmosphere on the court dull. After Kazaru forced Enel back, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked at the red hair suspiciously. The others also stopped tacitly at 5.50. In an instant, everyone's eyes were fixed on red hair pirates. Boss. Being stared at by so many people, and there are many big people. Advertisement. Even as a cadre of red hair pirates, Lucky Lou felt nervous and looked at the red hair with a wry smile. The same is true for others, and Ben Beckman's forehead is also sweating. The appearance is indeed very popular, but is it too pretentious? In the field, the only two people who didn't stop were Noel and Garp. The two did not stop because of the arrival of the red hair, and they were still fighting frantically. It is also the only shining spot on the field. Luffy, your brother and your grandpa. Nami glanced at everyone on the court, and then looked worriedly at the two people blasting in midair. It's amazing. Grandpa was beaten by Noel. Compared to Nami's worries, Luffy is the two people far away excited. Looking at Luffy's expression, Nami and others looked at each other, Kakuzu's mouth twitched. They really can't, CDAB, understand what kind of brain circuit Luffy is. Being stared at by so many people, and no one spoke, the red hair also touched the back of his head awkwardly. Goo la 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 red hair, what do you kid want to do? Whitebeard held a big knife in his hand, panting heavily, and stared coldly at the red hair in the distance. This sentence asked everyone what they thought. Hearing Whitebeard's words, the redhead looked at Noel and Garp in the distance, and then took a deep breath. 
Stop it. This war should stop. As soon as the voice fell, everyone's body was a meal. Marco, who had just arrived behind Whitebeard, his eyes narrowed. Redhead, we do things, but you don't need to teach you. Enel sneered at the redhead. Advertisement. Moreover, our captain doesn't mean to stop. G. Tyson also sneered at the redhead. The situation on the field is very good for them, and Marine is clearly at a disadvantage. They can take this opportunity to join forces with Whitebeard and others to destroy Marine. Father, what should we do? Hearing what Enel and others said, Marco and others looked towards Whitebeard. Look at that kid's decision. Nowadays, the old man may want to be a thug for a while. Looking at Ace next to Marco, Whitebeard also showed a smile on his face, and then turned away Noel in the distance. Marco and others looked at each other and then nodded. Then fight. Akainu looked at Enel with a gloomy expression. Sakazuki. As soon as Akainu's words fell, Sengoku's body stopped and shouted subconsciously. Today, even if you fight the old man's life, you still have to leave the Noel pirates. Marine, you won't lose. Akainu stood up slowly, looking at Sengoku resolutely, but bursts of evil aura exuded from his body. Meeting Akainu's firm gaze, Sengoku couldn't help but froze, and then looked at Aokiji and others. I found that everyone had such an expression, and no one was afraid. Hehe, he, it seems that the old man is wrong. Sengoku exhaled deeply, his eyes became firm. He didn't want to continue, because if he continued to fight, Marine would lose. Now, he found that his thoughts were wrong. Advertisement. I have already told five elders, and the support should be back soon. With a red hair, he said in a cold voice. This time, it was the world government or five elders who underestimated the Noel pirates. I thought that when I had time, plus the four monsters, they could block the Noel pirates. Unexpectedly, everything was wrong. Through the gap of the red hair, Sora told five elders the matter. Thinking of the strength of the Noel pirates, five elders didn't hesitate, saying let Kong drag them. The strength of Noel and others has seriously threatened the world government, and today, it must be eliminated. Today's battle, five elders has also been staring, and was surprised by the strength of Noel and others. Because, they found that the comprehensive strength of Noel and others completely surpassed the Whitebeard pirate group. At least, those captain level, top combat power, surpass the Whitebeard pirates. Most of Marine's combat power is controlled by the Noel pirates. Hearing empty words, Sengoku's eyes flashed brightly. Kuzan. Understand. Aokiji nodded and looked at Enel and the others faintly. Hearing what Enel and others said, the red-haired brows couldn't help but frown, looked at Noel who had stopped in the distance, and then said in a deep voice. Noel, what about your decision? He patted the dust on his body and shook his numb arm. Noel curled his red hair, his body suddenly stopped, and his eyes suddenly looked far away. Seeing Noel's appearance, everyone present was taken aback, and then followed his gaze. Teach. When he saw the few people in the distance, Whitebeard's eyes suddenly condensed, and his gaze fell on the familiar figure. An angry, murderous voice resounded throughout the naval headquarters. 11%. Chapter 80 Anger the flames of war are ignited again. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hearing Whitebeard's angry roar, everyone was taken aback, and then they all reacted. Teach, it's you bastard. Marco's face also turned gloomy, staring at Blackbeard in the distance. Kill him, this bastard dare to appear here. Kill him and avenge Sachi. Looking at Blackbeard in the distance, the members of the Whitebeard pirate group were angry. If you want to say, the most hated person in the Whitebeard Pirates. That is undoubtedly the guy Teach. For a devil fruit, kill your companions. Finally defeated Ace and actually handed him over to Marine. Today, if it weren't for Noel and others appeared. Needless to say the result. Without this guy Teach, there would be no such thing, and there would be no war today. Those are, and everyone at Marine looked at everyone beside Teach in shock. The head guard who used to be impel down, Shiryu of Rain. And Katarina. Dai Peng, they. All of them are key criminals imprisoned in Impel Down, former big pirates. Damn it, teach bastard, unforgivable. Sengoku's fists were also clenched together as he looked at Katrina de Peng and others in prison uniforms. Marine was dumped by the guy teach, why exchange ace for Shichibukai? 
All this is bullshit. Teach this guy's purpose is actually to impel down. Thinking of the fall of impel down and those monsters escaping, Sengoku's head became bigger. Advertisement. In the sixth level of impel down, all the people imprisoned are monsters, and some Sengoku are afraid of it. Seeing everyone haunting him, especially the Whitebeard Pirates group and others want to strip him alive. Teach's body also trembled, but he walked out anyway. Captain, it seems that you are really hateful, Du Q looked at Whitebeard and the others solemnly. Ha ha ha, father, long time no see, I didn't expect you to be alive. Teach swings his arms and smiles at Whitebeard. All have been discovered, and he does not intend to hide it, but he is even more afraid of Noel. How terrible is this guy's observation hockey? Asshole, dare to taunt old man and kill him. Hearing that Teach dared to scold Whitebeard, everyone became even more angry. Whitebeard didn't speak, stepped out with one foot, and shot out instantly. Kill that bastard, avenge Sachi. Seeing that Whitebeard was doing it, Marco and the others looked at each other and then let out a loud shout. Originally, the war stopped briefly because of the appearance of red hair. Because of the appearance of Teach, it caused the anger of the Whitebeard pirates. Seeing Whitebeard rushing over, Teach's eyes couldn't help but shrink, and then looked at Sengoku in panic. Sengoku, this is a good opportunity. We joined forces and killed Whitebeard. For Whitebeard, he was still very afraid. After lurking on the boat for so long, no one knew Whitebeard's strength better than him. With him now, he can't be Whitebeard's opponent. Only if Marine is dragged on can there be hope. Sengoku's brows frowned upon hearing Teach's words. Advertisement. Marshal Sengoku. I think this is a good opportunity, Huo Shaoshan's eyes flashed with a cold light, and then he said in a deep voice. The others glanced at each other and nodded in agreement. This is indeed a good opportunity, compared to Teach, Whitebeard is even more threatening. Don't let any of them go, whether it's Whitebeard or Teach. The magma rolled in his hands, and Akainu walked out slowly. Die to me. At this time, Whitebeard had appeared in front of Teach, and the big knife in his hand swung out directly. With a blow of anger, the entire space is swayed. Looking at the big knife swinging over, Teach's eyes flashed with a panic, but he reacted quickly. Rolling on the ground without any image. The knife slashed on the ground, and the ice surface was directly cut open. Dark Hound. Two thorny spears on ice. Seeing Teach who had escaped the attack, Whitebeard's mouth curled up with a sneer, and he clenched his fist. Just as he was about to do it, he saw two Akainu appearing in two places. Dot dot dot. For flowers zero. Counting the ice giant spear, and the magma fist, one left and one right, blasted towards Whitebeard. Akainu, Aokiji, you two guys. Whitebeard's eyes condensed and he moved, his fist blasted directly at Aokiji. Taste. The fist blasted out, the ice spear was directly shattered, and all the Aokiji that had been prepared long ago were directly elementalized. Magma, kid, die for me. Ignoring Aokiji, Whitebeard's gaze suddenly turned and fell on Akainu who was right in front of him. Advertisement. The big knife in his hand slashed towards Akainu. It's you who are dead, Whitebeard, Akainu's face also turned ugly. Point zero. The magma rolled, and the fist blasted out directly. Boom. Boom. A terrifying roar resounded, lava splashed everywhere, Akainu's face changed, and his body sank. Die, daddy. Seeing Whitebeard in front of him, Teach's eyes flashed, and he wouldn't let this opportunity pass. In an instant, he appeared in front of Whitebeard, his fist was covered with black material, and then he blasted out. Teach. Fire punch. Seeing that his fist was about to fall on Whitebeard, Marco, Ace also arrived at this time. Boom, boom. In the shocking eyes of everyone, and in Teach's horrified eyes, Marco gave a kick and Ace punched. Teach was directly blown out. All of this happened between the electric light and Flint, and the fight between several people made everyone feel shocked. Especially the strength shown by Whitebeard is even more shocking. As Marine's highest combat power, Admiral, Aokiji and Akainu, were so easily pushed back by Whitebeard. Kill. On the field, Marine and Whitebeard pirates roared, and the war was ignited again. The red hair was completely dumbfounded, staring wide-eyed at the collision of the Whitebeard pirates and Marine. 1. Chapter 81 Bright Fireworks, Faith Collapsed. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. 
Advertisement. Looking at the melee in the field, the redhead was completely dumbfounded. He came to stop the war. However, it seems that because of his appearance, it has become more chaotic. Ben, am I doing something wrong? Should I be here today? With a helpless red hair on his face, Ben Beckman silently exhaled a puff of smoke. It has nothing to do with us, everything is because of Teach. Ace is rescued, the purpose of the Whitebeard Pirates has been achieved, there is no need to entangle with Marine. However, for unknown reasons, this guy Teach appeared on the battlefield again. For Teach, the culprit, the people of the Whitebeard Pirates could not let him go. In fact, Ben Beckman was wrong. The flames of war were ignited again, and it really had something to do with the appearance of red hair. If it weren't for the red hair suddenly appeared on the battlefield. Teach, who had thought that the plan was ruined and was about to leave, rekindled hope, and maybe the war really stopped. Ah, ah, ah. Kicked by Marco and burned by Ace's flames. Teach kept rolling on the ground, making screams. As soon as the flame went out, black smoke burst into his body. Akainu was pushed back by the terrifying power of Whitebeard. And Whitebeard also stepped back, shaking his hand, and the magma on the blade was shaken. Marco. Ace, you guys be careful. Looking at Aokiji who had just landed, Whitebeard sprinkled Teach in the distance, and then spoke in a deep voice. Advertisement. Yes, Daddy. Marco and Ace looked at each other, then nodded in unison. The two looked at Aokiji and Akainu warily, and then their eyes fell on Teach. Shoo. The remnants of the old age should not live. There is a blood of sin, let alone alive. Akainu looked at Whitebeard and Ace coldly, the gloomy light in his eyes kept flickering. Magma kid, I hope you have this ability. Hearing Akainu's words, Whitebeard also sneered coldly, but he didn't dare to be careless. Akainu and Aokiji are the top combat power of Marine, so it goes without saying that they are strong. Boom, boom. On the other side, fists banged together, Garp took a step back, skimming the melee on the court, and then said in a deep voice. Boy, it's time to stop. He knew that if the war was to stop, Noel had the final say. As long as he tells Enel and others to stop, then Whitebeard will stop too. Without the participation of the Noel pirates, Whitebeard could not be Marine's opponent. It's rare to be so lively, and Marine doesn't have the upper hand. Why stop, old man? Noel smiled and looked at Garp, his aura soaring. Hearing Noel's words, the corners of Garp's mouth twitched, and then he said coldly. Boy, don't you still want to destroy Marine? After speaking, Garp's fist shook and he threw his left foot directly towards Noel. Advertisement. Gravity 20 times. Watching Garp's movements, and feeling the terrifying power coming from his face, Noel's eyes raised slightly, and then he let out a loud shout. Due to gravity, Garp's body suddenly sank and his movements stagnated. Boom, boom. In an instant, Noel punched out and hit Garp directly. Garp was kicked out and landed on the ground, looking at Noel solemnly. Gravity, repulsion, various methods, this kid's ability is really hard to defend against. Moreover, Noel's physical skills are also very scary, speed, strength, there is no weakness. It was a freak, but after more than two years, his strength became so terrifying that he didn't know how to cultivate. Looking at the situation in the field, Noel skimmed Garp, kicked his feet, and soared into the sky. Shoo, Noel's left foot was in the air, and the whole person with an afterimage flew in the direction of Enel and others. Looking at Noel's back, Garp couldn't help but frown. What the hell is this kid planning to do? Soon, Noel fell beside Enel and others. Captain, looked at Noel, Enel and others nodded. Genos, give Marine a big gift. Noel nodded then smiled at Janos. Hearing Noel's words, Enel and Maldo. Jill glanced at each other, all smiles. Janos nodded, his feet burst out two fires, and then slowly floated up. Boy, what are you going to do? In the distance, Garp rushed over and looked at Noel angrily. He had a bad feeling in his heart when he saw the action. And Sengoku, who has been watching Noel's movements, has an ominous premonition in his heart when he sees Genos's movements. Advertisement. Seeing Garp rushing over in the distance, Noel couldn't help but smile, and a touch of playfulness conjured up the corner of his mouth. Shoo. With both hands stretched out, several barrels appeared in the palm of the hand. 
The flames of the barrel were condensing, and under the gaze of Garp and Sengoku, golden lights suddenly shot out from Yano's hands. Boom, boom, fires were blazing, and they kept falling all over the naval headquarters. The ear-shaking bombing sound spread throughout the battlefield, and in an instant, mushroom clouds rose up all over Marine. The whole Marine Ford was shaking, and everyone who was being killed was taken aback. Looking at the mushroom cloud rising in the distance, their eyes widened. Collapsed. Countless buildings collapsed in this fireball in an instant. How could it be? A Marine Rear Admiral stared wide-eyed, looking at the scene in front of him incredibly. Marin fan is more than 0.1 inches. Naval headquarters, completely destroyed. Seeing the constantly collapsing building and the rising mushroom cloud, everyone in Marine trembled and their expressions were a little trance. Noel. Sengoku's body shook, his expression froze completely. The next moment, Sengoku and Garp both let out an angry roar. They didn't expect that Noel would let Yanos destroy Marineford. Bright fireworks, Mardo Gill smiled and looked at the explosion in the distance and the mushroom cloud that rose. Marine's faith has completely collapsed this time. Really convenient ability. Withdrawing the red hair with wide-eyed eyes, Ben Beckman also took a deep breath and stared at Genos tightly. This ability was terrifying. Chapter 82 Noel. It's just the beginning. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Fireworks were raised all over Marineford, and they were very dazzling. But this bright firework, in the eyes of Marine, is a flame of destruction. Marineford, but the sustenance of Marine's faith, is now so easily destroyed. The headquarters of the building was turned into rubble, and all parts of the building were constantly collapsing. Everyone was stunned, their expressions were very sad, and many Ren did not kneel on the ground, covering their faces with their hands. Sengoku, Garp and others clenched their fists together. This little, Whitebeard also took a deep breath. Mechanical weirdo, you are looking for death. Looking at the headquarters building turned into ruins, Akainu's body trembled, his eyes fixed on Yanos floating in the air in the distance. With an angry roar, Sengoku couldn't help but kicked his feet and rose into the sky. Shoo! A golden light flashed, someone was faster than Sengoku, and Kazaru appeared in the air instantly. With a bright golden light on his left foot, he kicked directly towards Yanos at 23. The dazzling golden light made Genos's eyes narrowed and his hands blocked in front of him. Boom! Boom! Genos! Body shook, and was lifted off by this terrifying impact. As soon as he fell on the ground, he saw the ghost spider and vice admiral appearing in front of him. Chang Chang. Sparks flew everywhere. Watching Yanos leaping high, John Giant's fist clenched. The fist was instantly covered by armament hockey. Advertisement. Go to hell, mechanical weirdo. It's you who are dead. A cold voice rang in John Giant's ears. Be careful, John Giant. Hearing this sound, the ghost spider and others were all taken aback, and then roared. Hearing the sound in his ears, John Giant's body trembled and felt bad. The movement was stagnant, and the instinct of the body made him bend down directly. Boom, boom. The field was directly exploded, and ice was splashed everywhere. John. Giant only felt an unstoppable force surge. Taste. Click. With a click, John Giant's eyes widened, his right hand dropped, and then the whole person was blown out. As expected of Marine Vice Admiral, have you avoided the point? Looking at John Giant who was bombed out, Maldo Jill who had just landed had a sneer at the corner of his mouth. Thorn strangulation. Just when he fell to the ground, John Giant just wanted to get up from the ground when he saw thorns shooting out from all around. Numerous thorns directly surround John Giant. Ah, ah, ah. The thorns were directly shrouded by John Giant, and the screams resounded across the battlefield. Blood splattered and the entire ice surface was stained red with blood. The thorns loosened, and John Giant's body was stained red with blood, and his body fell to the ground, constantly twitching. At this time, the Vice Admiral of the Headquarters had wounds all over his body. It was pulled by the Thorns of Thorns. Advertisement. It's your turn. Maldo Gill turned his head slowly, smiling at the Ghost Spider and others. Janos walked slowly, leaving John Giant, who was not alive or dead, and his eyes fell on the Ghost Spider and others. Damn it. In the distance, Sengoku rushing over, 
because he was blocked by Enel, naturally saw this scene. Bloodshots came out of his eyes. Marine Admiral is the top combat power, but the headquarter vice admiral is Marine's support. Get out of me, Sengoku roared as he looked at Enel right in front of him. Ghost Spider and others, it is impossible to be Maldogir's opponent. Not to mention that there is still a Janos now. Thunder, looked at Sengoku's fist, Enel's eyes were also raised, and a thunder light appeared in his palm. Boom, boom, the fists and palms collided, and the thunder light exploded directly. Enel's body shook, and his feet plunged directly into the ice. Sengoku's body also took a while, and his eyes stared at Enel coldly. Yellow, looked at Kazaru in front of the ghost spider and others in the distance, and Sengoku couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Kazaru Admiral, not only Sengoku, the ghost spider and others saw Kazaru, and they were also relieved. With their words alone, it is impossible to be the opponent of these two captains. On the other hand, Kazaru looked at the two men solemnly, both of whom were monsters. I am responsible for blocking Maldo Gil. The mechanical weirdo will be handed over to you. As soon as the voice fell, Kazaru's figure flashed, and instantly appeared beside Maldo Gil. Advertisement. Chang Chang. Sparks flew everywhere, and Mardo Gil's fist blocked Kazaru's attack. The two looked at each other, and the next moment, the fighting power was fully deployed. Wherever they passed, the ice surface exploded directly, faster and faster. Looking at the two fighting fiercely, Ghost Spider and others looked at each other, their eyes fell on Janos. On the other side, Noel smiled and looked at the three people in front of him. Captain, they gave it to us. Aseeds walked out slowly, smiling at the three big pirates of the old age. 550G Tyson also walked out from behind and looked at the three with a sneer. Looking at Geitson and Aseeds, Noel smiled and nodded. These three people are big pirates in Roger's era. He just saw them. They are very strong, but, after all, they are old and their strength will definitely decline. Not everyone is the same as Garp, even if he is older, his strength has not declined much. Garp is simply a freak. People of the same age, Whitebeard and others all have a decline in strength due to their age, but he has not changed much. Noel had a deep understanding of his confrontation with Garp just now. The old man was like a personal tank. G. Tyson and Aseeds looked at each other, and then shot directly at the three of them. Looking at the two people who had shot over, the three big pirates of the old age glanced at each other, and then they also greeted them. Noel, it's time to stop. At this moment, Rayleigh suddenly walked to Noel's side, abandoning the five opponents in the field, and then spoke in a deep voice. Ace was rescued, there is no need to fight. Looking at Rayleigh on the side, Noel chuckled softly his eyes on Whitebeard's side. And, it should be said that it has just begun. Hearing Noel's words, the corners of Rayleigh's mouth twitched, his face showing helplessness. Chapter 83 Ultimate Conquerors, Collision. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Step on. The sound of steady footsteps suddenly came from behind. Hearing this sound, the corner of Noel's mouth curled up. Rayleigh turned his head slowly, smiling at the person who came, Shanks. His face was still very heavy with red hair, but when he saw Rayleigh, a smile appeared on his face. Deputy Captain. The red hair nodded to Rayleigh, his eyes flashing respectful. Even if he is now one of the five emperors, but for Rayleigh, he is very, very respected. After all, when he was on Roger's ship, he was still a trainee crew. And Rayleigh also taught him a lot of things, it can be said that he is half a teacher. Noel, it's time to stop. If you continue like this, you will lose lose after all. The red hair took a deep breath, looking at Noel solemnly. Noel couldn't help but smile when he heard the redhead. Sometimes, he really didn't understand the thoughts of these people. As a pirate, I worry about the balance on the sea, and worry about the chaos of the world. Both lose out, it's not necessarily true. In my opinion, Marine is at a disadvantage. Noel turned his head slowly smiling at the redhead. In fact, he is a little curious about what role red hair plays in this world. Remember, in the original book, a red-haired man stepped onto the holy ground. When I meet five elders alone, no one knows what the two parties are talking about. Advertisement. As one of the four emperors of New World, it is a little weird to be able to meet five elders. 
Does Redhead have other identities, or does Redhead have a means to make five elders afraid? Hearing Noel's words, the red hair couldn't help but narrowed his eyes, and then stared at the battle in the field closely. Once the marine is destroyed, the entire sea will fall into chaos. At that time, the souls will be wiped out. So, the sea can't live without marine. Single quote. The others didn't speak, they all listened to their conversation quietly. As the red-haired deputy captain, known as the smartest man, Ben Beckman glanced at Noel's back, and then shook his head gently. From the moment Noel went to sea, it became famous throughout the sea, and finally one of the five emperors called New World. Ben Beckman has been paying attention to this man. Domineering, acting unscrupulously, everything is free. Not only Noel himself, but also the captains of his clan. Can't there be no marine? Is the sea chaotic? What does this have to do with me? Noel looked at the red hair playfully, and the next moment, his eyes suddenly glared. Also, red hair, are you teaching me to do things? Boom, boom. Noel's words were just finished, and Conqueror's Haki, who merged with Reiatsu, swept out. The bodies of Rayleigh and others were shocked, and the red hair who was the first to bear the brunt, their eyes shrank. The next moment, another horrible aura broke out from the red hair. It materialized, one black and one red two strands of hockey collided together. Advertisement. Numerous cracks appeared on the ice under the feet of the two, and Rayleigh and the people from Red Hair Pirates all stepped back. The scene like Shura, the scene where the two hockey face each other, is really horrible. The white clouds in the sky were directly washed away, and Rayleigh looked at the two in shock. The two people used hockey at the highest level, and it was Noel that really shocked him. It's not just hockey. The red hair also stared at Noel closely, his face full of dignity. However, he also felt puzzled at this time. Not only hockey, but also other things. Hearing the words of the red hair, Noel smiled at the corner of Noel's mouth. It is indeed not only hockey, but also Reiatsu. The noise made by the two also attracted the attention of everyone on the court. In the distance, Yidao had just pushed back a kainu, and Whitebeard also looked towards the sound. When I saw Noel and the redheads, my brows frowned. Papa. Marco walked to Whitebeard's side. Noel. Ace looked worriedly in Noel's direction. For red hair, Ace still has a lot of favors. He didn't expect that Noel would have a conflict with red hair. Although he has a good impression of red hair, Ace must be on Noel's side in his heart. Red haired kid. Whitebeard's brows were tightly together. Red hair. Akainu also stared at the red hair closely. Noel collided with red hair. If that's the case, it will be of great benefit to us. Looking at the two people in the distance, Aokiji's eyes flashed with light. However, these two people are really scary, this hockey. Advertisement. Both hockey are very scary, and the strength is slightly weaker. In front of this hockey, even being able to stand is a problem. It can cause substantial harm. This is the first time he has seen him. All pirates should die. Akainu let out a cold snort when he heard Aokiji's words. Damn it, what happened? Sanji's body was trembling constantly, gritted his teeth tightly, and looked at the two Noel in the distance in horror. It's hell. Nami's expression was a little dazed, and his body kept shaking. After saying this, Nami fell directly to the ground. Usopp. Chopper and others have already fainted on the ground. Two monsters. Zoro clasped his hands tightly, shaking constantly. He also felt dizzy, and he was almost unable to hold on. He found that their appearance on the battlefield today was simply a wrong decision. In this, basically, Li Li is good, not many people are weaker than them, each of them is as strong as a monster. They are no different from cannon fodder. They can't stop them just by their momentum. I want the war to stop. Noel slowly pulled out the long knife from his waist, smiling at the red-haired attack. Defeat me and this war will stop. As soon as Noel's words fell, the red-haired body just took a while, met Noel's deep gaze, took a breath, and then slowly pulled out the saber around his waist. Noel, Shanks, seeing the movements of the two of them, Rayleigh's body couldn't help but shook, and then shouted out a voice. I can't help it, it seems that I must beat you. The red hair clasped the accessories in his hands and looked at Noel faintly. Beat me, I hope you have this strength. Red hair. Chapter 84 Noel's red hair, 
Who is stronger? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The two of them didn't have too much language. They looked at each other, and the next moment, they burst out by coincidence. Although I don't want to do anything with Noel, but now I want to stop the war, I can only defeat him. As for the strength of the red hair, Noel is also very curious. After all, in the original book, the redhead basically didn't do much. The swords collided in an instant, Star Hanabi splashed, and the bodies of both of them stunned. Taste. Click. The ice behind the two of them was lifted one after another, their red-haired eyes shrank, and his face solemnly looked at Noel. This power was a bit terrifying, and he felt a strange force coming in just an instant. To be precise, the moment the swords collided, the power suddenly became heavier. It's very strong. Noel also smiled and looked at the red hair. Chang Chang. The two kept waving the swords in their hands, faster and faster. These two guys, seeing the two colliding in the field, Rayleigh couldn't help but smile wryly. He didn't expect things to develop to this point. The battle between the two also attracted the attention of the audience. 553. This is the first time I have seen the collision of the two five emperors. One is the veteran emperor, and the other is the emperor who has just reached the top. Everyone is very curious as to who is stronger. Star cut. Advertisement. Noel's feet sank into the ice, and the sword in his hand suddenly lifted. Quick, ultimates fast, like a meteor, quickly slashed towards the red hair. Looking at the sword that looked like a shooting star, the red-haired eyes narrowed, and he made a quick sword. However, it is not unsolvable. A red sword gas burst out suddenly. A terrifying air wave swept out, and the two of them shook their bodies, and then backed away one after another. Shaking his numb arm, Noel looked at the red hair seriously. Pure swordsmanship, but he used abilities. The red hair also looked at Noel solemnly. Noel's strength was a bit beyond his expectation, and he did not expect that Noel's swordsmanship was so terrifying. Great swordsman, Noel has stepped into the great swordsman now, this is no doubt. Looking at Noel's young face, the corners of the red-haired mouth couldn't help but twitch, and it felt like he had lived on a dog these years. When he was Noel's age, he was a trainee crew on Roger's ship. The brief confrontation between the two makes it difficult to see. Looked at the broken ice and the sea water seeping out. Everyone took a deep breath. This is the overlord of Kun Pro New World, this strength, Robin in the distance looked at the two in shock. Sulong on the side did not speak, but clenched a long knife in his hand. Great swordsmen, both of them are great swordsmen, it is estimated that they are not much worse than that of Eagle Eye. Sanji swallowed, his right hand holding the cigarette trembling slightly. Stop it. The red hair took a deep breath and stepped out with one foot. Advertisement. That said, defeat me and the war will stop. The long sword in Noel's hand flicked with a cold light. Noel couldn't agree with the idea of red hair. Pirates can be said to be the source of chaos in the world. Pirates like Luffy and others are simply alien. The sea is not chaotic, it has nothing to do with him, do whatever you want, isn't it fragrant? Looking at Noel's appearance, the red hair sighed slightly, knowing that it was impossible to convince Noel. If this is the case, then we will fight all over, defeat Noel, and let the war stop. Thinking of this, the red-haired eyes became tough. Are you going to get serious? That's right, the warm-up is over. Seeing the change in the red hair's eyes, Noel couldn't help but smile, his body shook slightly, and then he let out a cold drink. The seventh gate CDAB open. With a cold drink, blue steam suddenly emerged from the body, enveloping Noel in an instant. This state, looking at the gas enveloped on Noel's body, the red hair's eyes constricted involuntarily. He just saw that when Noel was fighting Garp, his body was also enveloped by blue gas. Step on. The already broken ice surface underfoot broke open in an instant. The figure disappeared. Noel could not see it disappeared, and the red hair said silently, so fast. There was a violent wind in the ears, the red-haired body tightened, and the long knife in his hand suddenly blocked his head. Chang Chang. The red-haired body sank, his feet inserted into the ice, his head raised, his face looked shocked at Noel above his head. Not only the speed has become faster, but the power has become more terrifying, which is not comparable to just now. Nice response. Advertisement. 
Seeing the red hair easily block his attack, the corner of Noel's mouth curled up, and he was not surprised by the result. Observation hockey is not just Conqueror's horror. It can be said that the use of red hair in Conqueror's hockey is also one of the few. Gravity 20 times. The long sword in Noel's hand trembled, looking at the red hair, he let out a cold snort again. As soon as the voice fell, the red hair and eyes were like a mic, remembering the sudden gravity before. Although I was prepared for a long time, I still couldn't stop it. The body sank again, and the right hand holding the long knife trembled slightly. Looking at Noel with a smile on his head, the red-haired eyes flashed brightly, and the long-lost fighting spirit burst out from his body. His right hand suddenly shook, Noel's brow raised, and the next moment, his left foot stepped in the air, and the whole person rolled behind him for several weeks, and then fell to the ground. So strong. Looking at the two separated, the man from Red Hair Pirates looked at Noel in shock. No one knows the strength of the redheads better than them, but Noel actually did not fall behind. It can even be said that Noel has the upper hand in the confrontation just now. It's really strong. Ben Beckman nodded, and looked at Noel solemnly. However, there is no worry, the strength of the red hair is not as simple as the surface, no one knows how strong it is. Because the hiding is too deep, perhaps, I have never shown my full strength all the time. Even his deputy captain didn't know. Try your best, otherwise, you won't be able to beat me, redhead. With his arms active, Noel said in a deep voice. Chapter 85 Terrible terrifying third rakage. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. Boom. The confrontation between the two, the rest of the people did not dare to approach at all, the aftermath of the battle was very terrifying. Hado no 32 yellow fire flashes. Noel's feet have just landed, one foot is just a kick, and the whole person is again, burst out. Piles of flames shot directly at the red hair. Looking at the long sword that was slashed down, and the flame that shot over. The red-haired brow wrinkled involuntarily, and the long knife in his hand lifted, and then cut it out. A huge red sword aura suddenly cut out, and the entire ice surface was directly cut open. Hado number. 91 Senju Jiao Tian Tai Pao. Noel leapt high, looking at the red hair below with a sneer. Red rays of light suddenly shot out. Boom. Boom. The terrifying air waves swept out, the whole Marineford was shaking, Noel stared at the smoke place closely. Quickly go, Ben Beckman's eyes narrowed as he watched the spreading crack. As soon as the voice fell, the people of Red Hair Pirates quickly dispersed. As soon as Ben Beckman and others left where they were, a beam of red light fell on the ice. The smoke gradually dissipated, and Noel couldn't help smiling as he watched the red hair in the field. Even Hado's 91st Senju Jiao Tian Tai Pao can't help but how strong this guy is. Looking at Noel in midair, the red-haired brows were frowning tightly. Advertisement. What is this ability? The trick just now was terrifying, even he didn't dare to be careless. Moreover, Noel's current methods have made him feel his scalp numb. Gravity, repulsion, thunder and lightning, flames, everything. He has never seen anyone with so much ability. Although I have heard of it before, the real fight is another matter. Being able to use so many abilities, what kind of fruit is this? Sure enough, the physical collision is more interesting. Noel fell on the ground, looking at the red hair faintly. Compared with the swordsmanship competition, there is also the ability competition. What he hopes more is the competition of physical skills. Fighting with people like Garp is more interesting. Boom, boom. The roar resounded, and a figure suddenly fell beside Noel. It hurts me so much. Teach was covered with blood, rolling on the ground constantly. Seeing Teach rolling on the ground, Noel couldn't help but was taken aback. Then, a playful expression appeared on his face. The red hair not far away was also stunned, staring tightly at Teach rolling on the ground. As if feeling the awkwardness of the atmosphere, Teach slowly raised his head. When he saw Noel with red hair, his body trembled. Noel, red hair. Teach stared at the two people in front of him and behind him. Damn it, how come you appear in front of these two monsters? He was blown away by Whitebeard, but he unexpectedly fell between Noel and the redhead. This is very embarrassing, what to do? Teach, the redhead stepped on his feet and looked at Teach coldly. 
Advertisement. Without this guy, there wouldn't be so many things today. Seeing the red hair coming step by step, Teach's body trembled and his expression became serious. I was also swearing in my heart. I knew this a long time ago, so he just left right away. Now, if you want to escape, you can't escape, and the people of the Whitebeard Pirates will never let him go. And Noel looked at Teach playfully. Being stared at by the two big guys, Teach felt chills in his heart and his goose bumps were all up. Boom, boom. At this moment, a terrifying roar suddenly sounded in the distance. Hearing this sound, Noel turned his head slowly, and when he saw the figure that was blown out, his eyes narrowed. Marshal Kong, Sengoku who just landed on the ground, his eyes widened, and then roared. Hearing Sengoku's voice, all the marines present trembled, and a bad feeling emerged in his heart. Immediately, they all looked towards the roar. How can it be? What? Marine and others looked at the scene in front of them incredible. Sora was completely a blood man at this time, and the ice surface was dyed red with blood, especially on his shoulders, where a terrifying blood hole appeared. The entire shoulder was pierced. And third rakage, who was standing opposite him, was also a very wolf fox at this time, with his right arm hanging down and bloodline Madara Madara on his body. Dot dot dot. Seeking flowers zero. It's so strong. Kong held his shoulder with one hand, his body was shaking constantly, and his face solemnly looked at third rakage. It's a monster. What kind of body is that? Especially the fingers just now made him feel death. Advertisement. Hockey was smashed directly. Just like Tofu, the penetrating power was too terrifying. Third Rakage was also panting, but his eyes were staring at Sora, and Chakra was exhausted. Moreover, I have to admit that Kong's strength is terrifying. You are very strong. You are the strongest person I have ever met except the captain. Third Rakage took a deep breath, and then said in a deep voice. Hearing Third Rakage's words, the corners of his empty mouth couldn't help but twitch. Who the hell are you? staring at third rakage emptily. He didn't even know, when the Noel pirate group, such a monster appeared. With Marine, world government's intelligence, I didn't find out where it came from. Moreover, such a strong man would actually obey Noel's instructions. This is the most terrifying thing. On the other side, Whitebeard was also panting, his body was bruised. Garp, Whitebeard stared at Garp firmly. Damn it, if it weren't for Akainu and Aokiji's impediment, he just had a chance to kill Teach. Especially, this guy Garp actually made a move, which is even more troublesome. Sengoku's roar attracted everyone's attention. When seeing the miserable situation of Kong, Whitebeard's eyes also shrunk, looking at third rakage in the distance in shock. He knows the strength of Kong very well, but now he is like this with Noel as a crew member. Empty. Garp's body also trembled, his eyes widened. The Noel pirates also looked at Third Rakage in shock. Although I knew that Third Rakage was very strong, I didn't expect it to be so strong. The corners of Enel's mouth also twitched, and when he thought of the battle for the captain soon after, he felt darkness. If this continues, not only will the current position be unreliable, it may be necessary to lean back. 1. Chapter 86 Gather, The Final Battle Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this moment, third rakage's body suddenly stopped, and the next moment, his feet suddenly kicked. In an instant, it appeared 20 meters away. Boom, boom. Third rakage just stepped away and exploded right where he stood. Seeing the rising smoke, third rakage narrowed his eyes and stared at the smoke. He felt a cold, even evil breath. It seems that it is dangerous, the ultimate danger by some kind of feeling on the beast town. Are you here? Kong exhaled a suffocating breath, looked at the smoke place, his eyes flashed with a gleam of light. The smoke slowly dissipated, looking at the person in front of him, third rakage's body couldn't help but shake. What kind of eyes are these? He has long black hair with several scars on his face and forehead, giving people a, 557, feeling. However, the most impressive thing is those eyes. The yellow pupils are like snakes, without a trace of emotion. This person, third rakage's body tightened, staring at the middle-aged man in front of him. Unexpectedly, five elders actually sent you over. Kong slowly walked to the middle-aged man's side, slid third rakage, and then spoke softly. 
The identity of this person is only five elders, and some individuals know that Sora is one of them. Physique. The middle-aged man did not answer empty words. Well, like Garp, he is a strong physical skill, and he can use the power of thunder and lightning. Kong nodded, and his eyes fell on third Rakage's body. Advertisement. When covered by lightning, the speed and strength of the person in front of him became stronger. Especially at that speed, it is almost ultimate. The strength, the speed is very strong, and the defense is also terrifying. Thinking of the scene of fighting against third Rakage, Sora spoke again. The middle-aged man nodded, and the next moment, his body shook suddenly and disappeared into place in an instant. Looking at the middle-aged man who disappeared, third Rakage's eyes couldn't help but shrink, and the thunder light on his body skyrocketed. Shu, with the sound of breaking through the air, looking at the tail thrown from above, third Rakage's body trembled, and his arms folded in front of him. Boom, boom. The middle-aged man appeared in front of third Rakage, but a black, long tail appeared behind him. When the tail struck the arm, third Rakage's face changed drastically. An unstoppable force surged out, and the next moment, the whole person was directly blown out. The body was constantly rolling in midair, and his right hand was inserted into the ice surface to forcibly stabilize the body. Looking at the scorched traces of his arm, third Rakage's brows were tightly frowned, and his face solemnly looked at the middle-aged man in the distance. What a terrifying power, what a terrifying speed. Looking at the middle-aged man's retracted tail, third Rakage clenched his fists together. Is it demon fruit power, or a special race? The scene on the court also attracted the attention of many people. Is it someone from five elders? Sengoku in the distance looked at the middle-aged man in surprise. He knew that Kong had told five elders the news, and he also knew that the world government would send someone over. Advertisement. I just didn't expect to send someone over this time. Moreover, this person was so terrifying, and after a short confrontation, he directly flew third rakage. On the other side, Noel naturally found the middle-aged man who appeared suddenly. Seeing third rakage being sucked away, Noel's eyes condensed. He doesn't know who this person is, but he is certain. This person is definitely a member of the world government, and his status is not low. Kong obviously knows this person. Looking at the middle-aged man in the distance, the corner of Noel's mouth curled up, and he skimmed the underworld beast floating in midair without showing a trace. Taking advantage of this gap, Teach glanced at Noel and the two redheads, and then drove off quickly. Watching Teach run away, the red-haired brow furrowed, he hesitated, and finally he didn't chase him. Like Noel, his eyes fell on the middle-aged man in the distance. The situation became more and more complicated, and monsters appeared one after another. He could also guess what power the middle-aged man was. In the entire sea, the world government is definitely the strongest. There is no doubt about this. No one knows how much strength the world government has hidden for so long. Boom, boom. There was a roar, the entire ice shook, and a seeds walked out of the smoke. Next to him, the three great pirates had fallen on the ice. One Shang mouth was pierced by an ice spear, one abdomen was cut, and the other was covered with blood. Looking at Aseeds's back, the corners of G.I. Tyson's mouth couldn't help but twitch. If he hadn't reacted quickly just now, he might have been implicated in it. Advertisement. I won't stay with this crazy woman next time I'm killed. Is it solved? Kong looked at the three people who fell to the ground in the distance, took a halt, and looked at Aseeds in shock. He knew the strength of those three people, but he didn't expect that they would be solved so quickly. Looking at Aseeds in the distance, Noel couldn't help but smile, glanced at the red hair, and suddenly kicked his feet. Looking at Noel's back, his red-haired eyes raised, and then he shook his head gently. He knew he couldn't stop Noel at all. The war has entered a fierce heat, and now the top combat power over there is stronger. At the same time, Seeing Noel's movements, Aseed's mouth also evoked a smile, and then he shot out. At this time, the situation on the court is very clear, Maldo and Jill are also coming to an end. After John Giant, Marine dropped two Vice Admiral 0.1. Shichibukai, now there is only one person left in the field, and that is the Empress. However, the Empress did not take action, but stood on a high place, watching the battle in the field like a theater. 
There are corpses everywhere on the field. There are Whitebeard pirates, Noel pirates, but more are marine. The entire marine ford has been turned into a battlefield and has become a ruin. Noel and Aseeds just landed beside Third Rakage, and Whitebeard in the distance also walked slowly over. At the same time, Sengoku got rid of Enel and ramped up, and Garp was no exception. Everyone seemed to be the better, all gathered together in a tacit understanding. Chapter 87 Marines Scream, Withering. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The battlefield was still roaring, and in an instant, it became quiet. How about it, kid? Whitebeard held the big knife, turned aside Sengoku and others, and then set his eyes on Noel. Noel glanced at the red hair in the distance, then shook his head slightly. It is unrealistic to continue the fight, and the final result will be both sides. Besides, there is the red-haired shit-stirring stick here. Seeing Noel shaking his head, Marco and others looked at each other, and they all breathed a sigh of relief. They didn't expect to fight anymore, and there was no need for it. After all, their purpose is to rescue Ace. Now that Ace has been rescued, there is no need to continue fighting with Marine. Not only Marco and others think so, but Sengoku and others also think the same way. He didn't want to continue the fight either, the loss was too heavy. In today's war, Marine doesn't know the number of casualties, and Vice Admiral of the Headquarters has been killed several times. 23. Admiral were all injured, and Marineford was turned into ruins. Sengoku found out that he was completely cheated by the world government. If he knew that five elders just sent such support, he would never execute Ace publicly. If the scarred man had been dispatched early in the morning, Marine would not have suffered such a heavy loss. It is simply a big pit. See you new world. Looking at Sengoku and others, Noel chuckled softly, placed one foot on the ground, and swept directly in the direction of the underworld beast. Seeing Noel's movements, Enel and others looked at each other, and then left one after another. Looking at the underworld beast in the air, Whitebeard shook his head, then said in a deep voice. Advertisement. Yes, old, Marco and others looked at Sengoku and others warily, and then backed away. As time went on, the entire battlefield was left with Marine and others in an instant. Looking at the messy scene around, and the dead bodies everywhere. Sengoku's fist was clenched, and the next moment, it hit the ground directly. Shame. This day is the shame of Marine. The entire Marine Ford was destroyed, and the naval headquarters disappeared. Seeing Sengoku who kept hitting the ground with their fists, Aokiji and others' fists were also clenched. Casualties. I don't know how long it took. Sengoku slowly got up from the ground, looking at Aokiji and others with a tired face. Hearing Sengoku's words, the bodies of Aokiji and others trembled. Marshal Sengoku, ordinary soldiers lost 32,800 men. A lieutenant colonel marine clenched his fists and opened his eyes red. Hearing this number, Sengoku's body couldn't help but shook, and his face became pale. The corners of the mouths of Aokiji and others twitched, even if they were psychologically prepared. However, hearing this amazing number, everyone still felt heart trembling. More. Sengoku clenched his fists. Fifty generals lost. Vice Admiral loss. In the audience, no one spoke, everyone bowed their heads. Garp clenched his fists, his eyes widened. More than 30,000 people. What is this concept? Marine has never died so many people in history. Advertisement. This is the most casualty and the most disastrous for Marine in history. There are more than 30,000 Marine elites, generals, and eight vice admiral. Thinking of this, Sengoku feels dizzy. Marshal Sengoku, as well as Impel Down, also fell completely. Warden Magellan was seriously injured, and the entire Impel Down criminals were released by Teach. Sengoku turned pale when he heard Lieutenant Colonel Marine's words. To make matters worse, Impel Down, he almost forgot Impel Down. The faces of Aokiji and others were also darkened. There is nothing worse than this. Eternal hell is filled with incredible people, either death row prisoners or life imprisonment. Those guys are monster level figures who are too vicious and erased from history. Teach. Sengoku clenched his fists, the blue veins in his eyes rose, and then let out an angry roar. An angry roar resounded throughout Marineford. Compared to Noel and others, Sengoku hates Teach even more now. Everything is this guy, 
Without him, today's war would not have been triggered. Without today's war, there would not be so many things. This guy is completely using Marine, and the culprit is this guy. Seeing Sengoku's appearance, Aokiji and others looked at each other, all showing bitterness. Who is to blame for all this? They didn't expect that so many things happened today. World government is not reliable at all. If the people sent by the world government could stop a five emperor's force, the outcome would not be the case. Advertisement. After the matter is over, I will quit the position of Marine Marshal. Sengoku slowly climbed up from the ground, looking at everyone blankly. Sengoku. Marshal Sengoku. Hearing Sengoku's words, the bodies of Aokiji and others trembled, staring at him with wide eyes. You are crazy, Sengoku, it has nothing to do with you at all. Garp grabbed Sengoku by the collar and yelled. Sengoku shook his head slightly, killing more than 30,000 people, and the entire Marine Ford 557 was destroyed. He can already imagine that the news will spread all over the sea tomorrow. Marine will become a laughing stock, and Marine's prestige will plummet. Seeing Sengoku's appearance, Garp's movement stagnated, his hands were released, and his face also showed bitterness. Regardless of the reason, it is impossible for Sengoku to stay in this position for Marine to be like this today. Even if he does not resign, it is estimated that the five old guys will kick him off. The old man will retire with you. Garp let out a deep breath, then smiled. Garp Vice Admiral. Hearing Garp's words, everyone's bodies trembled and looked at him in shock. Sengoku resigns and Garp retires. This is equivalent to Marine losing two top combat powers at once. Especially Garp. His influence on Marine is extraordinary. The old man is a little tired, so it's good to stay at Marine to train recruits. Garp smiled and looked at everyone. Hearing Garp's words, the people breathed a sigh of relief, as long as they stay at Marine, otherwise, the consequences are really hard to imagine. The current Marine really can't stand the toss. P.S. Please subscribe, automatically, then it will enter the main plot and many plots will be added, and it will not develop according to the animation. Chapter 88 Ocean Storm, The Worst Time. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The next day, a piece of news ignited the entire sea, and a real ocean storm struck. Yesterday, Marine Ford was destroyed, and the worm that affected the phone call was also destroyed. Except for those who were on the scene, everyone else had no idea about the outcome. However, the news was published directly on the second day. Looking at the newspaper in their hands, everyone's bodies were shaking, and their eyes were full of fear. Sabayati Archipelago. Marine. Lost. Looking at Marine Ford in ruins in the newspaper, a reporter exclaimed. What time is this? A woman's body was trembling, and the panic in her eyes could not be concealed. Marine Ford, a symbol of justice and peace, was turned into a ruin. Everyone felt incredible. Marine was defeated, so who could protect them? The worst of times, an old man was holding a gun, his right hand trembling constantly. Hearing the old man's words, everyone around him did not speak, but his eyes were filled with fear and panic. Yes, this is indeed the worst era, and the whole world is going to run away. The newspaper also reported that Impel Down had fallen, and the vicious criminals in it had escaped. Thinking of those vicious pirates, no one does not feel fear, no one is not afraid. Panic spread instantly, thinking of the pirates' methods in the past. Everyone felt despair and darkness. They seemed to see that the whole world was dyed red with blood in the near future. The name of the Noel pirate group once again shook the entire sea. Advertisement. The strongest pirate group in New World is also the strongest force of the five emperors. I have to admit that one of the four Uranus of the Dark World, the president of the World Economic News Agency Morgans is powerful. Even if he himself is not on the battlefield, he is very aware of what happened on the battlefield yesterday. From the debut of the Noel Pirates to the final closing, they were all clearly written. Everyone knows what the Noel Pirates did yesterday. In Dressrosa's capital, in the room, Ming Zhe looked gloomy. Yesterday, although he was also at Marineford, but because he was afraid that Noel would make trouble for him, he drove away a long time ago. He did not participate in the subsequent wars at all, so he is not clear about the subsequent developments. However, when the news was published today, Ming Zhe felt fear, and Luo's figure appeared in his mind. 
the strongest pirate group, thinking of his grudge with Luo, Da Flamingo couldn't calm down. Young master, Toropal looked at Brother Ming worriedly. Although the other cadres did not speak, they all looked at Da Flamingo anxiously. However, there was one exception, and Violet was very shocked at this time. She never expected that the Noel pirate group would have such grudges with Brother Ming. Toropal, how about the research base? Da Flamingo's words suddenly changed. Everything is normal. Hearing Ming Ji's words, Toropal couldn't help but was taken aback, his brain couldn't turn a bit. I don't know why he suddenly mentioned the research base. Advertisement. You said, Noel pirates, will they be interested in artificial fruits? Da Flamingo turned his head slowly and fixedly looked at Toropal. But, we are talking to Guy. Toropal froze for a moment, and then spoke, but he was interrupted before he could finish. Who says you can't cooperate with other people, if this collaborator is stronger? Da Flamingo directly interrupted, his expression very excited. On the other side, IWC, Cake Island, the atmosphere at this time is also very dull. The most powerful force in the world. Charlotte Linlin stared at the newspaper in front of her closely. To her surprise, the demonstrated strength of the Noel pirate group shocked her. She didn't expect that at the beginning, that kid would actually become so terrifying. In just two years, he became the strongest existence among the five emperors. Kata Curry, I heard that Noel is still not married. Yes, mother, Kata Curry frowned, but nodded. Is it okay to marry him? Charlotte Linlin slowly raised her head and stared at Kata Curry. Yes, mother. Seeing Charlotte Linlin's excited expression, Kata Curry nodded, and then continued. But, I don't think it is that simple, Noel will not accept joint marriage easily. Advertisement. Of course he knew what B-I-G-M-O-M was thinking, and the shadow of Noel appeared in his mind. I don't care. Noel can't get married, then his subordinates. Before Katakori had finished speaking, Charlotte Linlin roared. Looking at the wild-looking B-I-G-M-O-M, everyone in the room looked all the same. Kata Curry frowned tightly, looked at B-I-G-M-O-M's expression, and finally sighed. The others glanced at each other, all showing bitterness. This is their mother. However, I also felt shocked in my heart. Many people had seen Noel in the presence. Who would have thought that the kid two years ago, in a short time, actually became one of the overlords of the New World, Li Li Zhao, and now the Noel pirate group has become the strongest pirate group. The limelight overwhelmed the Whitebeard pirates, but no one questioned it. The news is very clear, how terrifying the strength of the captains of the Noel pirate group. Enel and other previous captains all have the strength of Marine Admiral. Even as Marshal Marine, he was seriously injured by an unknown person in the Noel Pirates. On top of the war, each battle, the strength displayed, but everyone was surprised. The big reason why Marine was defeated this time was because of the Noel Pirates. On this day, the whole sea was boiling, everyone was discussing the war on the top, and everyone was discussing the Noel Pirates. Chapter 89 Competition, Pressure. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. On the mobile, they had already left naval headquarters in one day. Currently on the way to Sabayati Archipelago. Luffy and others were also on the boat. When they left, they also followed Whitebeard and others. Looking at Whitebeard not far away, Nami and others felt shocked. This is their close encounter with Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. This is the five emperors of New World, they don't even dare to think about it. Unexpectedly, he was on Whitebeard's boat now. Especially seeing Luffy and Ace hugging and laughing, and Zoro drinking with Marco and others. I feel a little trance, a little unreal. After going through the top war, the more I can understand how terrifying the five emperors are. It is simply destroying the world. Now, Chopper, Usopp, and Nami are shaking. Even if we know that Marco and others are not malicious, we can't keep calm. Putting down the newspaper in his hand, Whitebeard's eyes flashed with precision. The strongest in the world, Whitebeard, your title has been taken away. Rayleigh's mouth curled up and he looked at Whitebeard with a smile. He also left with Whitebeard and others because of the practice of 560 Luffy and others. Also, I haven't seen Whitebeard for a long time. As soon as Rayleigh's voice fell, he was drinking, and the bodies of Marco and others who were laughing were all having a meal. Just now, 
The boat was full of laughter, and in an instant, it became quiet. What happened? Advertisement. Feeling the atmosphere becoming dull, Nami swallowed and looked around suspiciously. The others were also confused, but they found that the faces of Marco and others were very complicated. The strongest in the world, no one knows what it means better than them. Once, this title was used to describe Whitebeard. But, why not describe the Whitebeard pirates? Now, it has become the Noel pirate group, even if the two sides are not in a hostile relationship. However, Marco and others could not calm down. Goo la la la, Noel kids, they are qualified to hold this title. Whitebeard put down the wine glass in his hand and laughed. Daddy, looking at Whitebeard who was laughing, Marco and others were all taken aback, with CDAB ashamed on their faces. If it is someone else, they can refute it. However, they could not refute the strength of the Noel pirates. Through the war on the top, they are very clear about the strength of Noel and others. Indeed, the comprehensive strength of others has surpassed them. The captains of Marco, Ace, Joes and Vista are not bad. Can withstand Marine Admiral, but, if you fight, the ultimate victory is definitely Akainu and others. However, if you change to the Noel Pirates, Enel and others will play against Marine Admiral, which can be completely undefeated. The top combat power, the Noel Pirate group, is indeed stronger than them. It is not only compared with the Noel Pirates, but also compared with several other emperors. Don't think too much, but if you want to protect your family, you have to become stronger. Advertisement. Looking at the expressions of Marco and others, Whitebeard's body was shaken, and then he laughed loudly. As soon as the voice fell, the bodies of Marco and others were shocked. Glancing at each other, his fists are clenched together. Yes, it's not to become stronger. It is to become stronger to protect the family. They don't want to experience a second time with a scene like war. Relying on others is not their style. Putting hope on others is not theirs. Seeing the expressions of Marco and others, Rayleigh couldn't help but smile, and then looked at Whitebeard playfully. This old guy really has a hand. The Whitebeard Pirates is actually very different. Although the strength of Ace and others is good, they are not top-notch. Thinking of this, Rayleigh shook his head slightly, and Noel appeared in his mind. On the other side, on the underworld beast, Enel and others are grinning. The strongest, this guy Morgans did a great job. Enel sat on the ground, biting an apple in his mouth, and said vaguely. Others also smiled on their faces, the strongest, they replaced Whitebeard and became the strongest. Next, New World is going to be messy, Maldo Gill looked at the newspaper lightly. Hearing what Maldo and Jill said, Janos nodded in agreement. Those who escaped from Impel Down must be unwilling to be lonely. Inside, there are monsters from the same period as Roger. Advertisement. It's just a group of losers. Aseeds let out a cold snort, his eyes flashing in disdain. I've always been imprisoned in Impel Down, and now, it's not bad to be able to play 50% of the combat power. G. Tyson shook his head slightly. Impel Down was terrible, he knew it. These people have been imprisoned in Impel Down and their combat power has declined very severely. Now, it is not bad to be able to play 50% of the strength, and it is not to be feared at all. This is best, I hope there are more guys who don't have long eyes. There was a smirk at the corner of Enel's mouth, and he was also very interested in the legendary big pirates. Noel shook his head slightly, and G.I. Tyson was right. Detained in Impel Down, the strength of those people has not recovered to the peak. However, there are a few people who are slightly noteworthy, Red Earl is one of them. This is really the legendary pirate, one person represents a pirate group. Two months later, the battle for the captain began. Noel slowly raised his head and looked at Enel and others faintly. The flat voice reverberated in the palace, Enel and the others were all taken aback, looked at each other, and the next moment, the aura on the body was skyrocketing. It's really been a long time since the battle for the captain. Rail breathed a deep breath, his expression becoming solemn. He felt the pressure, and there were more and more strong men on the ship, and the battle for the captain would become more intense. And a seed's gaze fell on third Rakage's body. If it is correct, this time the opponent is this old man. Thinking of the strength of third Rakage, a seed's also smiled at the corner of her mouth, and she was looking forward to it. 
Looking at Ace Daisy who was fighting intently, third rakage also smiled. And Luo and the others looked at each other and all nodded. They didn't want to fall behind in the battle for the captain. Chapter 90 It's Messed Up, Burnt Out. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The chaos is the first thing that messes up in the four big seas. The pirates who escaped from Impel Down killed people, plundered and recruited soldiers everywhere. It is the civilians everywhere who suffer, but it is Marine who has a headache. Originally because of the destruction of Marineford, it was suggested by Aokiji and others. It was finally decided to move naval headquarters to New World. However, the news from various places made Sengoku exhausted physically and mentally, almost impatient. A base in East Blue, currently, is temporarily under the naval headquarters. How is it? Sengoku looked at everyone with an ugly expression. Report, West Blue appeared in the original Shichibukai, Sand, Crocodile. And the subordinates of the original Crocodile, also gathered together. A major marine said with a serious look on his face. Just after speaking, Aokiji and others' brows heads frowned. Report, World Destroyer, Waldo, South Blue appeared, attacking marine bases. Another Captain Marine spoke, his fists clenched together. Damn it, Waldo bastard. Hearing this familiar name, Garp's eyes fired, and then he yelled. No one knows Waldo better than him. This guy is simply a lunatic. He wanted to destroy the entire world and overthrow the world government. Eventually, it was conspired by the World Government Spy Organization, C-H-I-P-A-R-P-O-L. The crew rebelled and attacked him, but he was also released unexpectedly. This is a dangerous guy, a capable person of Momo fruit. The size and speed of the objects in contact can be increased by hundreds of times. At the beginning, Garp and Sengoku did not deal with him less. Advertisement. Also, the big pirate who escaped from Impel Down is also making chaos everywhere. Except for East Blue, South Blue, North Blue, West Blue. At present, it has become a mess of porridge. Marine bases are also being attacked. As Major Marine reported one by one, the office fell into silence. These people, imprisoned in Impel Down, are full of resentment towards Marine. Now that I escaped, the first thing I thought of was revenge against Marine. Because the headquarters of New World is still under construction, Marine temporarily moved to East Blue. All the criminals who escaped, basically no one came to East Blue. Damn it, bastard teach. Hearing a bit worse news, Sengoku's body was trembling constantly. Fists clenched together, and now he can't wait to strip Teach alive. Although I was prepared, I still couldn't accept such news. It's just getting worse. Give me South Blue. Akainu stood up slowly, a cold light flashing in his eyes. Looking at Akainu, Aokiji also said softly, North Blue handed it to me. Then leave West Blue to me, Kazaru let out a deep breath. Looking at the three of Akainu, Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief, and then said, in addition to the three admiral, the other headquarters vice admiral are also dispatched. The first half of the Grand Line must be quickly stabilized. Yes, Marshal Sengoku, Ghost Spider and the others looked at each other, and then nodded in unison. Sengoku, there is another guy, you have to pay attention. Advertisement. He is much more dangerous than these guys. Garp frowned and looked at Sengoku solemnly. He thought of a dangerous person imprisoned by Impel Down who was even more terrifying than Waldo. Seeing Garp's expression, Sengoku also nodded, yes, there is also a dangerous person. Barloric Letterfield, Lonely and Red. Sengoku feels a headache when he thinks of Lonely Red. That's a big pirate who can confront Roger, and one person is a force. Back then, just by one person, he was on par with Roger and Whitebeard. Garp was taken to impel down level 6 due to his weakness and weakness after winning the empty heads up with the then Marshal Marine. If it is one to one, no one can help him, whether it is Garp or Sengoku. Sengoku took a deep breath, although the fellow Red Earl was worth noting. However, the character of that guy is an accident, because there is no fight or grab. What about Teach Guy? Is there any news about Teach Guy? Thinking of the culprit of impel down, Sengoku gritted his teeth. There is no news. Since the Battle of Marineford, it seems to have disappeared out of thin air. Major Marine hesitated for a while, then shook his head slightly. 
Dot dot dot. Seeking flowers zero. Check it out for me. You must find that bastard for me. Sengoku punched on the table, and then spoke in a cold voice. Yes, Marshal Sengoku. Looking at everyone present, Sengoku took a deep breath and calmed himself down. Everyone, everyone is plundered by pirates everywhere. If you want to stabilize the sea, everything depends on you. Yes, Marshal Sengoku, Akainu and others glanced at each other, nodding firmly. Advertisement. Marine, this time prestige has fallen to the bottom. This chaos must be resolved quickly. Sengoku is not worried about the pirates who were in chaos in the four seas. After all, these guys are all playing soy sauce. The really tricky ones, those who are really a bit heady, should all be staring at New World. Point zero. New World is the source of the real chaos, compared to those guys who will soon recruit troops and enter the New World. And the other side. When Sengoku and others were discussing solutions to the unrest, the world government was here. Five elders fell into silence, and they did not expect that this incident would have caused such a big noise. About this war, we are careless. An old man with a scar on his left cheek broke the dull atmosphere. The others nodded, indeed, they were careless this time, and they also underestimated the Noel pirates. I always thought that I looked up at the Noel pirates, but I didn't expect to look down on it. However, Sengoku must be held responsible for this marine's failure, the old man holding the demon sword and Guecho said in a cold voice. We will wait until the turmoil is resolved this time. What about Garp? Gar can't move, after all, his position in marine cannot be shaken for the time being. After kicking Garp, everyone else shook their heads. Garp is different from Sengoku. The current situation of Marine, if Garp is moved, Marine's people will not agree. That's it, let the people of CP0 keep an eye on the Noel pirates. In this way, Sengoku's fate was decided so easily. Five elders didn't mention that the criminals involved in the Impel Down were messing up everywhere. In their eyes, the criminal who escaped from Impel Down had no threat at all. 13%. Chapter 91 Gyuki Snake God, the group of demons dances wildly. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. With the passage of time and the passage of one month, the turmoil in the four large seas has basically been resolved. Akainu 3 Admiral shot, impelled down those criminals who escaped, it is basically difficult to resist for a long time. The arrest of the arrest, the death of death, Aokiji, Kazaru are better. However, when those guys met Akainu, there was basically no way to survive. Seeing the horror of Marine 3 Admiral, the remaining pirates also rushed towards the New World. Even if Marine loses to the Noel pirates and the Whitebeard pirates, they cannot resist. New World was in chaos, the criminal who escaped from Impel Down. No one can count how many there are. During this time, even the five emperors' turf suffered an impact. After all, the criminals imprisoned in Impel Down, but there are many, 560, monsters. As soon as they came out, their ambitions were completely revealed. People who want to step on the top of the five emperors are no longer in the minority. Of course, there are also many people who are self-aware, but joined the five emperors. There is another person who is very noteworthy, that is, Golden Lion, the big pirate who used to fight Roger, emerged unwillingly to be lonely. The name of Golden Lion can be said to be known to no one. In the past, it was as famous as Gore D. Roger and, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, and caused great riots. That was the one who dared to attack naval headquarters, and the only one who escaped from Impel Down. Seeing New World plunged into chaos, it also came out with a large fleet. Advertisement. In just two weeks, he won many sites. Vaguely, there is the title of the first person under the five emperors. Even if the Whitebeard Pirate Group's site was also attacked an island in New World, in the base of the Noel pirate group. Dropping the newspaper in his hand, Noel smiled and shook his head, all the Gyuki snake gods have appeared. A group of losers, and just the remnants of the last era. Hearing Noel's words, Maldo Gil also smiled and shook his head. Not only the Golden Lion, but also many old monsters hidden in the New World have emerged during this period. Before succumbing to the five emperors, with the appearance of the golden lion, chaos was completely ignited. Jinbei, how about the fishmen island? Noel looked at Jinbei who was sitting on the ground. 
There are a lot of conflicts, but those guys dare not make trouble in the Fishman Island. Hearing Noel's question, Jinbei looked at him gratefully. If you want to step into the New World, the Fishman Island is a must. Those people poured into New World one after another, and when they passed the Fishman Island, Neptune was very nervous. However, knowing that the Fishman Island is the site of the Noel Pirate Group, those guys dare not make trouble. Now, who doesn't know, Noel is the strongest force in the sea. Even if he is dying, he dare not offend Noel and others. Captain Golden Lion sent someone over. At this moment, Van Oka came slowly, nodded to Enel and others, and looked at Noel respectfully. Golden Lion, advertisement. Hearing Van Oka's words, Enel glanced at each other, all in a daze. It seems that this big pirate is really unwilling to be lonely, Noel smiled softly. Golden Lion is very clear about the ambition of this guy. But not just wanting to be the emperor, but wanting to be the overlord of the world. However, I just can't recognize the reality. Now, it's not Roger's time. At the cost of two feet, it escaped from Impel Down. Golden Lion can be said to be a tiger without teeth. However, he is still self-righteous. Captain, what? Van Oka looked at Noel suspiciously. Let him go. Noel waved his hand, and he knew the reason why Golden Lion sent someone to look for him. It must be an alliance with him and talk about shit fighting for hegemony in the world. At Noel's order, Van Oka nodded, and then left quickly. This guy teach, I don't know where it is hidden. Looking at Van Oka's back, the corner of Noel's mouth evokes a touch of playfulness. Because of his appearance, the plot changed, Whitebeard did not die, and Teach's conspiracy failed. He was also hated by Sengoku for releasing the criminals of Impel Down. At present, it has become a thorn in Marine's eye. People from Marine and Whitebeard pirates are looking for him. However, Teach this guy seemed to disappear out of thin air, and disappeared. It's really a mouse crossing the street, everyone shouts and beats. Looking at Noel's expression, Enel and others looked at each other, and then they all shook their heads together. Advertisement. Whenever the captain showed this expression, it meant that someone was going to suffer, but he didn't know who was so pitiful and he was stared at by the captain again. Captain, B-I-G-M-O-M's proposal, Asid suddenly raised his head and looked at Noel with a smile. As soon as the voice fell, Noel's body trembled and his face became stiff. Not only Noel, but Enel and others' expressions also froze, and the corners of their mouths were also twitching, but they looked at Noel from time to time. This scene is hard to see, they have never seen Noel suffer. A few days ago, Baron Danden came to the island and, on the order of B-I-G-M-O-M, sent an invitation, inviting IWC and Cake Island to get together. Especially when the marriage proposal was proposed, Noel felt a bitter cold, and Lola appeared in his mind. Looking at the expressions of Noel and others, the corners of Jinbei's mouth also curled up. Of course he knew this. For Lola, she also knows her, and that look is really unflattering. Enel, what do you think, or just let you marry Lola? Looking at the people laughing aside, Noel smiled suddenly and his eyes fell on Enel. Enel, who was snickering, was shocked and his eyes widened when he heard Noel's words. Captain, I think your proposal is good. Maldo Gill looked at Enel, then nodded in agreement. Agree, Enel is good. Wise decision, Captain. The others glanced at each other, all smiled knowingly, and then all agreed. Everyone agrees, so it's decided that Enel, on behalf of the Noel pirates, will marry the B-I-G-M-O-M pirates. Noel nodded, and then clapped directly. No, Captain. Enel turned pale, then shouted anxiously. Percent. Chapter 92 The Golden Lion Who Can Do Nothing. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the clear sky, a golden sun was embedded in the blue sky. In midair, there was a strange scene, an island floating like a dark monster. In the empty hall, all kinds of calls were constantly echoing. A middle-aged man was standing in the middle of the hall. At this time, he lowered his head and did not dare to speak at all. In other words, you didn't see Noel at all. A cold, angry voice suddenly sounded in the hall. Hearing this voice, the middle-aged man raised his head, looking at his captain's angry gaze, his body couldn't help but a look. Captain, Noel just asked someone to kick me out. There was no chance to see him at all. The middle-aged man, 
the subordinate of Golden Lion, wanted to see Noel before. He is currently the captain of the 6th Division of the Golden Lion Fleet and a famous pirate in New World. After the comeback of Golden Lion, 23 directly joined the large fleet, offering a bounty of 200 million heavy artillery dadu. But he was driven away by Noel, Van Oka. Safeguard. Click. Squeezing the handle beside him, Golden Lion slowly stood up, his golden hair rose without wind, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. Captain, what should we do now? Datu looked at Golden Lion suspiciously. Very well. What a five emperor. What a Noel. Golden Lion clenched his fists and wanted to join Noel. Unexpectedly, it was ignored. He sent someone over, and he didn't even see Noel himself, so he was sent out. Advertisement. The old man will kill that kid sooner or later, Golden Lion smiled coldly. Even Roger, the One Piece, did not dare to ignore him so much. Hearing Golden Lion's words, Datu's mouth twitched, and now he suddenly regretted it. He joined the Golden Lion fleet because of his fame. After all, anyway, Golden Lion is also the big pirate who used to be alongside Roger and Whitebeard. However, after joining, they found that Golden Lion was a bit abnormal and too arrogant. Killing Noel, this is a bit whimsical, that's the five emperors. The Noel pirate group is the strongest pirate group, and even Marine often loses in their hands. Although Golden Lion's strength is good, Dadu doesn't think he is Noel's opponent. Find Noel directly, isn't this a door-to-door -door gift? It is estimated that Noel does not need to make a move personally, just relying on the monsters under him to sling Golden Lion. However, he dared not say these words. Captain, now that we have offended Kaido, we can no longer offend the other five emperors. Dadu took a deep breath, then said in a deep voice. Kaido, hearing the words of Dadu, Golden Lion couldn't help but raise his brow, and then let out a cold snort. Seeing the look of Golden Lion, Dadu couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. He was really afraid of Golden Lion's impulse and ran to find Noel's trouble. Originally offended the five Emperor Kaido for robbing the site, but now he offends Noel, there will be no way to survive then. Golden Lion is not an idiot, he certainly knows the horror of Noel. Advertisement. But when I think of being rejected again and again, I feel aggrieved. Not only did he get people to find Noel, he also sent people to find Whitebeard. However, the result was the same, and the old fellow Whitebeard simply refused. The whole hall became quiet, and Golden Lion's brows were frowned together. Noel and Whitebeard both refused, so I found another alliance. Otherwise, relying on his personal power alone, he cannot be the opponent of Beast's pirates. Although I didn't want to admit it, but because I gave up my legs and escaped from Impel Down. His strength has declined very seriously, at most 60% of the peak level. If you want to fight Kaido, you must find powerful allies. There is no hope for the five emperors, red-haired, and B-I-G-M-O-M, two people can't alliance with him. What about Teach, is there any news about Teach? Golden Lion's eyes lit up suddenly, and he wanted another person. Teach, at the top of the war, the strength of this guy is not weak. Moreover, there are many strong people around Teach, all of them the big pirates who escaped from Impel Down. Everyone can tell that Teach's ambition is not small. The most important thing is that this guy is in a very bad situation now. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates are looking for him, Marine is looking for him, Sengoku, Whitebeard all want to strip him alive. Captain, Teach appeared in South Blue a few days ago. However, it was discovered by Admiral Akainu of Marine that the two broke out in a big fight. Akainu was injured, Teach and others escaped. Advertisement. Hearing the name Teach, Dadu couldn't help but was taken aback, but he still opened his mouth to explain. Akainu was defeated, too. Golden Lion's eyes flashed with light. Yes, a few days ago, Akainu, guarding South Blue, found the Teach group. Then a battle broke out between the two, but the final result was that Akainu was defeated. However, for such a result, all major forces feel normal. After all, Teach's strength is not weak, and 560 is surrounded by big pirates who escaped from Impel Down. With just one Akainu, it is impossible to be his opponent. Akainu was able to live because of Teach. This guy didn't want to offend Marine to his death. South Blue. Golden Lion nodded, 
tapping the handrail next to him lightly with his fingers. But, Captain, if you allied with Teach, it would be tantamount to offending Whitebeard. Datu looked at Golden Lion with a wry smile. Teach is a good choice, but he is now the enemy of the Whitebeard pirates. Teach this guy killed Sachi, and Whitebeard couldn't let him go. If you are in an alliance with him, you have to face the Whitebeard pirates. In order to ally with Teach and face Whitebeard, this is obviously not worthwhile, and the enemy will be the two five emperors. No matter how strong Teach is, it cannot be the opponent of the Whitebeard pirates. After listening to the map, Golden Lion's expression froze. Damn Whitebeard. The roar of anger echoed in the hall, and it was full of resentment towards Whitebeard and Golden Lion. If this guy was willing to ally with him, there would not be so many things. At that time, he can completely take Whitebeard's hand to eradicate Kaido, and then he will take advantage of the trend to reach the top of the five emperors. Chapter 93 Angry Kaido, Attack in Advance. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Touch, touch, touch. Golden Lion, the whole old guy, Lousy will kill him sooner or later. The sound of smashing echoed in the cave, accompanied by an angry roar. He looked at Kaido, who was holding a hip flask and drank with his head up, but was yelling at him. Several pirates standing on the side glanced at each other, cold sweat constantly erupting on their foreheads. If you want to step on me, you have to pay a price. Kaido smashed the hip flask in his hand, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. Boom, boom. The whole cave was shaking, countless cracks appeared on the walls, countless rubble fell to the ground continuously. Looking at the falling stone above his head, the pirate on the side glanced at each other, all swallowing. They are really afraid that this cave will collapse. It's not that this kind of thing has never happened. The temper of their captain can be described as moody. Once again, he picked up the jug placed in front of him. After Kaido took a sip of wine, his brows suddenly raised. He was very annoyed by Golden Lion's behavior. This old guy had just come back, and he came to him and snatched his turf. What's the situation with the clown? Kaido looked at the younger brothers in front of him coldly. Boss, it hasn't been delivered yet, the clown guy said it will be delayed this month. Watching Kaido look at them, a little brother swallowed and then spoke in panic. Advertisement. What? When the voice fell, Kaido's eyes went wide, and the next moment, his body suddenly leaned forward. The big mad face was tightly pressed against the talking pirate. Feeling the rich alcohol scent from Kaido, the bodies of the few people in front of me trembled. The person who was close felt his head dizzy, and immediately fainted to the ground. Trash, Kaido let out a cold snort looking at the little brother who had fainted on the ground. Tell me the clown that the number will be doubled next month. Otherwise Lousy will kill him. Kaido leaned against the wall and frowned. He and Ming Zhe have a cooperation, that is artificial fruit. Want to use artificial fruits to create a devil fruit army. However, the effect is not very satisfactory, and the number of mass production is too low. At this rate, the devil fruit core didn't know it would have to wait until the year of the monkey to succeed. Yes. Looking at Kaido, the other people smiled bitterly. How could it be possible to kill the clown? They all know that Kaido is just talking, and it is too late to protect the clown. Boss, Golden Lion seems to have found Noel. A little brother was taken aback for a moment, then remembered the news from his subordinates, and then spoke anxiously. Noel. The Golden Lion guy found Noel. Advertisement. As soon as the voice fell, Kaido's body was shocked, his eyes widened, and too hot air blasted out of his nose. In an instant, he guessed Golden Lion's thoughts and wanted to pull Noel up and fight him. If it's other people, he doesn't care, but if it's the other five emperors, Kaido can't care less. Especially Noel, who has shown strength on top of the war, surprised him. The overall strength has completely surpassed the other five emperors. Especially the strength of those captains is not something ordinary people can fight against. As far as Beast's Pirates is concerned, only the three plagues can be compared with Enel and others. However, if you really want to fight, the chance of losing is very high. Damn red hair, if it hadn't been blocked by him that day, Lousy might have killed the old man Whitebeard that day. And that kid Noel, Kaido clenched his fists, his eyes flashed with cold light, and his killing intent burst out of his body. 
He also wanted to participate in the war when he was on top, just to kill Whitebeard. However, before arriving at Marineford, he was stopped by the Red Hair. If there is no Red Hair, then Marine's strength will have a chance to kill Whitebeard. The red-haired guy is the one who hides the deepest. Although he wished to kill the red hair, Kaido showed fear on his face when he thought of his strength. I thought that among the five emperors, Noel was the weakest, and then the redhead. Unexpectedly, all of them were beyond his expectation, and the red-haired guy was hiding too deeply. Thinking of the battle that day, Kaido felt a pain in his abdomen. That sword was really terrifying. Looking at Kaido who fell silent, the younger brothers looked at each other, and then one of them suddenly spoke. Advertisement. Kaido boss, we can actually form an alliance with BIGMOM. The relationship between the boss and BIGMOM. Moreover, BIGMOM still has a conflict with Noel, she should not refuse. Hearing this little brother's words, Kaido raised his brows, his eyes lit up, and the next moment, he gently shook his head. He and BIGMOM do have other relationships, that is, they used to be pirates on the same ship. Not only BIGMOM, but Golden Lion and Whitebeard are also together. On a ship, three five emperors appeared, and there was also a great pirate, Golden Lion. Not many people knew about this news. If it spreads out, it is estimated that not many people will believe it. Who could have thought that a ship could gather so many big people? Thinking of BIGMOM's character, Kaido felt irritable, and immediately let out a loud roar. All our traitors, one by one betrayed the captain's will. Wong Li's, especially Whitebeard, if it weren't for him, there would be no marine and world government now. It is us who dominate the world now. The roar echoed in the cave. Looking at Kaido whose eyes were red, the others didn't speak. Rox, a legendary character, Kaido, the captain of Whitebeard. The people gathered on the ship are all monsters. The Kaido at the beginning was not named on the ship. Thinking of Whitebeard's behavior at the beginning, Kaido felt a fire, as did the guy at BIGMOM, and now he knows how to eat all day long. Let Jack come back, Lousy will kill the Golden Lion himself this time. He doesn't know if Noel has an alliance with Golden Lion, but Kaido has decided to attack Golden Lion first. Chapter 94 Meeting, Full of Gunpowder Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. East Blue, Marine's temporary headquarters. At this time, the office is full of gunpowder. The order of the world government came down. Regarding the war on the top, he directly threw the black nest to Sengoku. In fact, even if five elders is not lost, Sengoku is ready to resign. Then, Marshal Marine's position will be vacated. Now, the discussion is about Marshal Marine. There are only a few people who are qualified to compete for the position of Marshal. Marine 3 Admiral, and Marine Hero Garp. However, because of Garp's relationship with Ace and Noel, it is impossible for five elders to let him be Marine Marshal. Moreover, Garp didn't even think about this issue. Admiral didn't want to take up the position, let alone the position of Marshal. Garp gave up, and there were only three Admiral left. Kazaru's temperament is too lazy and he is not interested in the position of marshal. In the end, everyone's eyes fell on Akainu and Aokiji. Originally, Aokiji was not interested in the position of marshal. However, both Sengoku and Garp talked to him privately. Akainu's sex 560 son is too iron and blood, in order to achieve the goal, will do whatever it takes. If he were allowed to serve as marshal marine, he might drag marine into the abyss. I agree with Kuzan as marshal marine. Seeing the awkward atmosphere in the court, Garp curled his lips, then spoke softly. As soon as Garp's voice fell, everyone in the conference room was shaken, and they all looked at Garp. Seeing everyone's gazes, Garp shrugged, then said solemnly. I think Kuzan can better lead Marine. Advertisement. Hearing Garp's words, under the table, Akainu's fists clenched together. Garp's influence on Marine is too deep. If he supports Kuzan, most people will not support him. I also agree with Kuzan Admiral as Marine Marshal. The mouse looked at Garp, and then he also spoke. Agree. Agree Kuzan Admiral. Seconded. Sure enough, as Garp's voice fell, many Vice Admiral present all spoke up. 70% agreed with Aokiji as Marshal Marine. Only 20% support Akainu, and the remaining 10% are neutral. 
and Kazaru is one of the neutral members, whether it is Aokiji or Akainu. It doesn't have much to do with him. He clocks in and goes to work normally, just after get off work. With a salary, don't have to worry about so many things, isn't it fragrant? I won't give up. Akainu clenched his fists and stared at Aokiji coldly. In his mind, Aokiji's ideas were too naive, too lazy, and not suitable for the position of marshal. Sakazuki, your character is too extreme, first don't want Marine to be ruined in your hands. Marshal Marine, I will not give up. Aokiji looked at Akainu not to be outdone, with very firm eyes. Didi, Didi. As soon as Aokiji's voice fell, Akainu stood up suddenly, and the lava on his arm rolled. The magma dripped to the ground, and puffs of black smoke came out. Aokiji also stood up slowly, and there was a wave of cold on his body. Advertisement. The momentum of the two is facing each other, and they look at each other with cold eyes. Enough. Give me a seat. Seeing that both of them were about to do their hands, Sengoku slapped his palm on the table and then let out a loud shout. Is there still a look like Marine Admiral? In order to be a marshal, he almost fought, in what manner? Huh. Looking at the angry Sengoku, Akainu sneered at Aokiji, and then snorted coldly. Aokiji glanced at Akainu, and then sat down silently. Everyone at the scene glanced at each other, and then they all breathed a sigh of relief. CDAB, looking at the two competing, Sengoku felt irritated even though he thought that this would happen. Aokiji and Akainu didn't know if it was due to ability, so they didn't deal with it. Marshal Sengoku, I don't know that you support Kuzan. Or Sakazuki. Kazaru's eyes rolled suddenly, and then he looked at Sengoku with a smile. When the voice fell, everyone present was taken aback, and then they all looked towards Sengoku. Not bad, although Sengoku has now resigned as a marshal. However, he is still the marshal now, and his opinion is very crucial. A ray of light flashed through Akainu's eyes, and he stared at Sengoku closely. If Sengoku supports him, things will change. Hearing Kazaru's words, the corners of Sengoku's mouth couldn't help but glared at him. Although I support Aokiji in my heart, I don't want to say it in person. In this case, Akainu is here. However, Kazaru has already spoken out, and he can't escape. Seeing everyone's eyes fell on him. Advertisement. Sengoku took a deep breath, looked at Aokiji and Akainu, then said in a deep voice. I support Kuzan as a marshal. Before he finished speaking, Akainu's eyes shrank, and his fists clenched together. Taking a deep breath, Akainu glanced sharply at the crowd, and then said coldly. Again, I won't give up a marshal. If this is the case, then I can only contact five elders. After speaking, Akainu left with unwillingness and anger. Sengoku, Garp, and most of them support Aokiji. He continues to keep it here, and he is also insulting himself. There is no need to discuss it anymore. Although the support of everyone from Marine is important, the final decision is still world government, five elders. Looking at Akainu's back, the hawks glanced at each other, and then left one after another. Seeing such a scene, Sengoku rubbed his head and felt a headache. Waisha, it's really hemp. It seems that we can only wait for five elders to decide. Kazaru rubbed his ears, panted, and then shrugged. Porosalino, shut up. Sengoku, who was originally impatient, couldn't help but yell when he saw Kazaru still gloating. Marshal Sengoku, don't let the fire hit me. It has nothing to do with me. Ignoring Sengoku's anger, Kazaru stood up slowly and looked at him with a smile. After speaking, Kazaru disappeared in the same place as soon as the golden light flashed. Sengoku, he didn't persuade him. Kazaru Admiral is also true. Looking at the angry Sengoku, Vice Admiral who was present glanced at each other, Kakuzu's mouth twitched. Chapter 95 Unlucky Supernova. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Sengoku resigned and Aokiji competed with Akainu for the position of marshal, although Marine deliberately concealed it. However, there is no airtight wall in the world, this news spread all over the world in an instant. However, most people are watching the excitement in their hearts, and they are also very curious about who can finally serve as a marshal. The strength is strong, just like the five emperors, and indeed, they don't care. However, the weak pirate does not want Akainu to be a marshal. Who didn't know, 
Akainu was cruel, and there were countless pirates who died in his hands. Marine is interesting. I heard that most people support Aokiji. If it's not wrong, Akainu may have lost this time. G. Tyson smiled and looked at everyone. Aokiji and the Red Dog were fighting each other in Marine, and the newspaper was also published. Hearing what G. Tyson said, the others nodded. Sengoku, Garp, and most of the generals support, the position of Marshal Marine should be stable. That's not necessarily the case. Maldo Gill's eyes flashed a little, and then he shook his head gently. Yes, it must be Akainu who was in the position of Marshal. Aseeds glanced at Maldo Gill, and then also spoke. Akainu. G. Tyson and others looked at them in surprise. Aseeds is right. The next Marine Marshal is Akainu. Noel smiled and looked at everyone. He had read the original, and no one had more say than him. Looking at the expressions of G. Tyson and others, Noel just smiled without explaining. Because of the situation of the sea, Marine, needs an iron-blooded leader. Third Rakage, who hadn't spoken all the time, looked at the crowd, and then spoke in a deep voice. Advertisement. As soon as the voice fell, everyone had a meal, and then nodded suddenly. So that's it. Luo Shen exhaled. Indeed, the situation in the sea is so chaotic today. If you want to stabilize the situation in the sea, you really need iron-blooded means. At this point, Akainu is indeed more consistent. It has nothing to do with us, if Marine dares to provoke us, then destroy them. Enel curled his mouth, then spoke indifferently. Not bad. The others glanced at each other, and then all laughed. Boom, boom. At this moment, there was a sudden roar and noise in the distance. Hey, it looks like someone is coming to die. Hearing the roar from a distance, Enel sneered at the corner of his mouth. The others were also taken aback, showing incredible colors. Now, there are people who dare to trouble them. Let's go, go and see. Noel patted his clothes, then stood up slowly. I was also very curious about who came to the door. When everyone came to the beach, many people fell on the ground. In the field, there were constant screams, and people flew out from time to time. Hey! It's actually these two. Noel looked at the two familiar figures in the field in surprise. He knows these two people, like Luffy, two people who are known as Supernovae. Advertisement. The captain of the Radio Pirates, Arp, and the other is the magician Basil Hawkins. He didn't expect that these two people would step into the new world so soon. So it was them. Luo also looked at Apu and Apu in surprise. He had been to Sabayati Archipelago with Enel before, and he also knew about those supernovas. Touch, touch. Apu was bombarded, got up from the ground, and then yelled, Damn, who are these people? He didn't expect that he would meet people whenever he came to an island. Moreover, these guys on the island, without even speaking, attacked them directly. The most important thing is that everyone's strength is good. In such a short period of time, all his subordinates fell, leaving him and Hawkins alone. Seeing Hawkins who was struggling in the field, Arp took a deep breath. Just about to take a shot, the next moment, his body trembled, and he looked into the distance in shock. How can it be? Looking at the several figures in the distance, Apu's eyes showed shock and panic. Five Emperors Noel! Exclamation spread throughout the island. Hawkins, who was fighting hard, couldn't help but stop when he heard Arp's voice. Dot dot dot. Seeking flowers zero. Boy, go to hell. With a distraction, Hawkins was kicked out and fell in front of Arp. Supporting the ground with one hand, resisting the pain from his body, he climbed up from the ground embarrassedly, and Hawkins looked towards the other side. When I saw Noel and others, my eyes shrank and my body trembled. Advertisement. Five Emperors Noel, and the captains of the Noel pirate group. Noel, it is impossible for him not to know him. On the top of the war, all the reports are the names of the Noel pirates. Damn it, Hawkins, didn't you say it's okay to occupy it? Arp looked at Hawkins angrily. Point zero. It's okay. It's so amazing that I met the five emperors and the most unprovoked person. Moreover, there was a conflict with the Noel pirates, which is simply a death hunt. My life is over. Apu's face was full of bitterness. Although his strength is good, he will not be arrogant to think that he will be the opponent of the Noel pirates. As for escape, this is simply a delusion. Is it possible to escape from these monsters? Hearing Arp's words, 
Kings also let out a deep breath, instantly regaining his peace. Behaved very calmly, but very ambitious in my heart. I wonder if the divination made a mistake this time. I didn't expect that I just came to the new world and I met the five emperors. This luck is simply heaven defying. When I came to an island, I encountered the Noel pirates. Step on. Seeing Noel and others walking slowly, Arp and Hawkins' bodies were tight, and their bodies couldn't help but tremble. Boy, very nice, very courageous, Enel looked at the two with a sneer. Captain of the 4th Division of the Noel Pirates, Enel. Apu took a deep breath and looked at Enel in fear. He knew Enel. Sabayati Archipelago had even seen him fight Kazaru at the beginning, so he naturally knew his terrifying strength. Damn, it's dead now, I'm wrong about this guy Hawkins. Chapter 96 Depressed, Determined. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The next day, on the Underworld Beast. Looking at Enel and others in the distance, Apu couldn't help but breathe out a sigh of breath, and finally survived. Not only survived, but also joined the five emperors. Yesterday, Enel shot directly, Arp and Hawkins were not surprised. It won't last long at all, and it will be defeated directly. However, instead of letting Enel kill them, he invited them to join. For Noel's invitation, they had no reason to refuse, unless they didn't want to live anymore. What happened? Feeling the dignity of the atmosphere, Apu asked suspiciously. Boss of the ship, I heard that it was because of the captain's battle. A member of the broadcast pirate group whispered. Captain battle. Apu slowly turned his head, 560, looked at the little brother suspiciously. I also heard about it, specifically, and I don't know what's going on. The little brother shook his head with a wry smile. He just listened to the people of the Noel pirates and didn't know what was going on. As a newcomer, they dare not get close to those big guys. Step on. The sound of gentle footsteps came slowly, looking at the people who came, Arp and Hawkins were both taken aback. They met this person, and followed Noel yesterday. Kaikens narrowed his eyes and looked at Luo tightly. Advertisement. He knows the captains of the Noel pirates. The person in front of him is not the captain, but it can be clearly seen that this person is not low in the Noel pirates group. Tell you about the rules of the boat. Luo walked to the side of the two but his eyes were fixed on Enel and others. Hearing Luo's words, both Hawkins nodded and became serious. They just joined the Noel pirates, they also want to know the rules of this ship. There are no other rules, everything on board speaks with strength. Luo retracted his gaze, looked at the two Hawkins, and then continued. However, there is a special situation. Special circumstances. Kaijinsi's eyes flashed. Knowing the special situation Luo said, it should have something to do with the battle for the captain. The captain's position is not fixed. The captain has set a rule that every three years, there will be a battle for the captain. If you feel you have the strength, you can challenge the captains of various teams. Following Luo's explanation, both Hawkins understood what was going on. Is strength respected? Jinsi's eyes flashed with a gleam, and his eyes fell on several captains. He didn't expect that the Noel pirates actually had this rule. The position of the captain is not fixed, and it can be challenged. If you are right, you should challenge the position of captain, right? King slowly turned his head and looked at Luo faintly. Hearing Hawkins' words, Arp also recovered, and his eyes fell on Luo. Luo, it seems you are very confident. Advertisement. At this moment, a voice suddenly rang in their ears. Hearing this voice, Hawkins and the two of them had a halt, and then quickly looked back. Fan Oka, you are not the same. Luo smiled slightly, then spoke softly. Van Oka slowly walked to Luo's side, and then smiled. It's been more than three years, but I have been waiting for today. When he joined the Noel Pirates, he happened to run into the formation of various teams. Unfortunately, with insufficient strength, it is impossible to compete with Enel and others. Do you think you will be the opponent of Enel and others? Hearing Van Oka's words, Luo twitched the corner of his mouth, and then opened his mouth playfully. I'm not so arrogant. With my strength, it's not Enel's opponent for the time being. My goal is rail arsenic, if I guess right. R.O., your goal should be G.I. Tyson. You want to be the captain of the 5th Division. After speaking, Van Oka smiled suddenly turned his head and looked at Luo with a gleam in his eyes. 
As soon as the voice fell, both Hawkins and Arp's bodies trembled, and they looked at Luo in shock. The captain of the 5th Division, someone about the same age as them, has this strength. Although it is not easy to guess Luo, Hawkins still feels shocked. He knew G. Tyson, the captain of the 5th Division of the Noel Pirates. Once a great pirate of New World, he is a great swordsman. And Fan, Oka actually said that Luo wanted to challenge G. Tyson. Hearing Van Oka's words, Luo did not deny it, but pressed G. Tyson tightly. Advertisement. That's right, in this battle for the captain, he is going to challenge G. I. Tyson. For three years, not only Van Oka is waiting for this opportunity, he is also waiting for today. Therefore, in the past three years, he has been practicing desperately, and never dared to relax. Luo, I really envy you. I can actually let the captain guide you personally. Van Oka smiled softly, his eyes showed unabashed envy, even jealousy. The captain personally guide. Apu swallowed and looked at Luo in shock. Kaijin Si also raised his brows, and took a deep look at Luo. It seems that he still underestimated this person and was able to let Noel personally guide him. Even a fool can know how much Noel values Luo. Seeing Van Oka's expression, Luo couldn't help but shook his head slightly, but the hand holding the saber was tight. Of course he knows Fan. Oka respects the captain very much. Not only Van Oka, he is also the same. For Noel, Luo is very admired and deeply grateful. However, I won't lose 0.1. I will let the captain know that I am stronger than you. Van Oka looked at Noel's direction, and then spoke firmly. This time, the battle is different. If it is correct, the remaining captains who are vacant should also be decided. Luo Shen exhaled, then spoke in a deep voice. What about the other teams? Van Oka was taken aback, then nodded. However, this is also normal. After all, there are more and more people on board, and there are more and more strong players. It has long been necessary to set up other teams. Hearing the conversation between the two, Hawkins and Arp glanced at each other, and then they nodded firmly. Interesting. This ship, the Captain Battle. Chapter 97 Dark Horse, Counterattack. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The atmosphere on the court was extremely hot, and many people were discussing and cheering for their captain. Genos and others are all looking at their opponents. This time, the competition is getting fiercer. G. Tyson's face was very heavy. He had a hunch that this time the position is probably not guaranteed. Jinbei is one of them. He is also very clear about Jinbei's strength. If he really wants to fight, he is not necessarily the opponent. Step on. The sound of footsteps came slowly, and everyone was taken aback as they watched the people walking into the field. P. It seems that Luo, the kid, can't stand it anymore. Enel looked at Luo who came by playfully. The corner of Maldo Jill's mouth also evokes a curve. Only the people on board know how terrifying Luo's progress has been in the past three years. Luo, which captain do you want to challenge? Noel also smiled and looked at Luo. In an instant, everyone's eyes fell on Luo. Being watched by so many people, Luo Shen exhaled and then said solemnly. Captain, I want to challenge the captain of the 5th Division, G. Tyson 23 inches. As soon as the voice fell, the court instantly became noisy. The corner of G. Tyson's mouth twitched, and then he stood up slowly. Luo and G. Tyson. Jinbei pressed the two in the court tightly. He just joined the Noel Pirates for a short time. It didn't take long to learn that there was a battle for captains. Except for the captains such as Enel, he is not familiar with everyone else. I wanted to challenge G. I. Tyson, but I didn't expect Luo to get ahead of him. Advertisement. He also didn't want to let go of the position of captain. In this case, we can only see who wins in the end. As for the previous captains, Jinbei never thought about it. The strength of Enel and others is stronger than one. Here we go. Apu swallowed, and pressed tightly at the two people in the field. Even if he is not involved in it, he still feels how tense the atmosphere is. Although Hawkins didn't speak, there were some ripples in his heart. Unexpectedly, when I joined the Noel Pirates, I encountered such a major event. Shu. The two looked at each other, and the next moment, their bodies disappeared in place. Chang Chang. Sparks flew everywhere, and when everyone found out, the two had collided. 
The swords collided, wiping out a strong spark, and countless cracks appeared on the floor where the two were standing. An invisible wave of air swept out. The two looked at each other, and the next moment, the action turned into afterimages. The sound of collision continued to be heard in the field. Sword Chi shot out from the hands of the two from time to time. So strong. Apu looked at the two people in the court in shock. He didn't expect that the man who just stood beside him was so terrifying in strength. Actually, I was able to fight with Ji Tyson, and it was still not in the wind. The movements of the two were too fast, and he only saw two afterimages. Dickinson's fist was also squeezed, and he felt shocked in his heart. Advertisement. He was wondering how many people like Luo are there. Pia, I didn't expect Luo this guy to become so strong. Seeing the battle in the field, Enel spoke in surprise. Master Luo, Master G. Tyson is amazing. Shirahoshi's eyes widened and he looked at the two people in the court excitedly. Looking at Shirahoshi who was so excited, Noel couldn't help but smile. Boom, boom. There was a roar, and the floor was lifted. Room scan. Looking at the raised floor, Luo blinked, then let out a loud shout. A transparent mask instantly expands. The raised floor floated in the air, and the next moment, it shot directly at G. Tyson. What is this ability? Hawkins, who was watching the battle, looked at Luo in surprise. Yes, Luo is a paramesh op op fruit capable person. You can freely divide and combine any object in the hemispherical, global specific space that you created by yourself. Fan, Oka smiled at Hawkins, then smiled and nodded. Op op fruit. Hearing Van Oka's words, Hawkins couldn't help being taken aback. Swinging a knife, the floor shot over was shredded one after another. In an instant, G. Tyson swung dozens of knives. Shoo! With a strong wind blowing, Geitzen couldn't help but shrink his eyes when he looked at Luo who appeared in front of him. The long knife in his hand was raised, and cold light flashed. Boom! Boom! Advertisement. The entire ground was shocked, smoke rose, and the bodies of the two of them shocked. Seeing the sparks passing by, the two of them glanced at each other, and their fighting spirit broke out completely. As time went by, two hours passed slowly. There are chasms everywhere on the field. It seems that Luo is going to win, Maldo Gill looked at the two people in the field with a smile. It's really unexpected, Luo this guy. Enel pressed Luo tightly, but he didn't expect that the weakest guy on the boat at the beginning would actually become so strong now. Usually there is no mountain or dew, but it suddenly broke out. It's a blockbuster. As soon as Enel's voice fell, there was a roar on the field, and immediately at 560, everyone saw a figure flying out of the smoke, and then smashed to the ground. Boss G.I. Tyson. When he saw the appearance of the person who flew out, there was a burst of exclamation on the court. The smoke slowly dissipated, and Luo stood in the field holding Guikui, several wounds appeared everywhere on his body, especially in front of Shang, there was a scary sword mark. G. Tyson supported the ground with one hand and climbed up from the ground with difficulty. Looking at Luo in the distance, his face showed bitterness. I lost. I didn't expect to really lose. Luo, the little devil, has changed so much in strength. I thought that this time the opponent was only Jinbei, but I didn't expect it to be defeated by Luo. G. I. Tyson has lost, and it seems that my position can't be kept either. Seeing the two people in the field, Rail shook his head with a wry smile. If they played against each other, he could not be G.I. Tyson's opponent. Now that this guy has lost, he will definitely challenge him when the time comes. Everyone is injured. What should I do if someone challenges him next? Hawkins looked at Luo's injuries, and then looked at Fan and Oka suspiciously. As long as the captain is not dead, the captain can do it. The captain's greatness is not something a newcomer like you can understand. Fan. Oka was taken aback, then smiled and looked at Hawkins. 4%. Chapter 98 The Strength of the Captains, Restraint. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. G. Tyson will lose to Luo, except for Noel and others, it is something unexpected. In other words, he will become one of the captains. Apu looked at Luo with scars in shock. Unexpectedly, the person who just talked to them actually defeated G. Tyson. Kings did not speak, he could already think of it, with such pressure. 
It is impossible for these captains to relax, because once they relax, the captain's position will be lost next time. Compared with three years ago, you all have made great progress. Noel smiled and nodded as he watched the two approaching people. In fact, G. Tyson's strength has also improved a lot, much stronger than when he first joined. However, sometimes, talent really limits too many things. Looking at the injuries of the two, Noel suddenly stretched out one hand. The next moment, a green light suddenly condensed in the palm of the hand, and it suddenly fell on the two of them. The green light fell on the two of them, and both of Luo's bodies were eaten together. The pale face turned blush in an instant. The wound with blood still healed with naked eyes. Every time I see the captain's abilities, I feel amazing. Looking at the slowly healing wounds between the two, Third Rakage smiled and looked at Noel. Hearing Third Rakage's words, the others also nodded. This, Hawkins in the distance looked at Noel in shock. This is one of the captain's abilities and the greatness of the captain. Seeing Hawkins shock, Van Oka couldn't help but smile. Looking at the wound that the two had healed, Noel took a deep breath. Advertisement. This is the ability he has acquired in the past three years. Healing Jutsu. Regardless of internal injuries and external injuries, Chikora can be reliably released to achieve an amazing recovery speed. Unfortunately, I didn't get a character card from the medical department. Noel shook his head slightly. In the past three years, he has also conducted a lot of lottery draws. However, a lot of ability and other things have been gained. The luck was not so good, and I didn't get the character stone summoning card. Thank you Captain. G. Tyson and Luo looked at Noel respectfully. Step on. A figure suddenly walked out from behind Noel. A seeds. The eyes of Enel and others condensed, and a seeds's back was pressed tightly. Captain of the First Division. Jin Si looked at Aseeds in surprise. He knew that this woman was the captain of the Noel Pirates, what did that mean now? Master, fight with me. Presumably, you have been waiting for today. Ace Daisy slowly turned his head, his body exuded bursts of cold, and his eyes fell on Third Rakage's body. As soon as the voice fell, Enel and others looked at each other, and then all smiled. Under everyone's gaze, Third Rakage's figure flashed and appeared in the field in an instant. The eyes of the two were facing each other, and the atmosphere on the field seemed to freeze. Looking at the burly body of Third Rakage, Aseeds' fighting spirit soared, and a gleam of light flashed in his eyes. Of course she knew how strong this old man was. See, see, see. The arc of thunder was flickering, and the thunder and lightning instantly covered the whole body, and the hair suddenly stiffened. There was a puff of smoke underneath his feet, and Third Rakage's feet kicked. Advertisement. The next moment, the whole person disappeared directly in place. Between the lightning and flint, instantly appeared in front of a seeds. Heavy current storm. Looking at a seeds who was in front of him, third rakage let out a cold drink, and his fist blasted out. Boom, boom. The entire space was shocked, the ground split instantly, and a terrifying air wave swept out. The smoke slowly dissipated. Looking at the field in front of you, everyone swallowed. The fist and the knight sword collided together. However, everyone noticed the traces under Aseed's feet. This power. Aseed's right hand holding the long sword trembles lightly, looking at third rakage in shock. Although I have seen the strength of this old man, I know that his strength is very strong. However, when you really face it, you can know how terrifying it is. With one foot on the ground, Aseed's body suddenly jumped. Looking at third rakage below, he suddenly waved his left hand. Ice spears appeared and condensed in the air, and in the next moment, they burst out one after another. The speed of the ice spear is very fast, and the speed is right in front of the eyes. Boom, boom, boom. In the shocking eyes of everyone, Third Rakage suddenly raised his hands and turned into an afterimage. The ice shattered everywhere, and the ice spears that had been shot down were severed one after another. This monster. Looking at the shattered ice spear, Enel's mouth couldn't help but twitched, his face solemnly looking at Third Rakage. So strong, Jinbei also looked at Third Rakage in shock. There was no extra action, just a simple punch, which easily smashed the ice spear. Advertisement. This is pure strength, and it is also a simple physical exercise. Boom, boom, boom. Third Rakage's eyes suddenly narrowed, 
his left foot kicked on the ground, and his body jumped. Just after leaving, the next moment, several ice guns were shot from the ground. Seeing the movements of third rakage, the corners of Asides's mouth, who had just landed, evoked an arc. Icicles suddenly rise to the ground. Can't you hide, then? Looking at the icicles constantly blasting from the ground, third rakage's eyes flashed with an electric light, and then he let out a cold drink. Lateral bolt of pain. Chop. This. Seeing the icicles shattered like tofu and the flashing electric lights in the field, Apu's eyes widened. What kind of monster is this? Today, Asides is going to lose. Li Wanghao, seeing the two confronting each other in the field, Noral gently shook his head. Defense, strength, in this respect, Asides can't compare to third rakage. Without the power of ultimate, it would be impossible to break the strongest escape of third rakage. Picking the wrong opponent, third rakage, to a large extent, restrains Asides' ability. If you change to someone else, if third rakage wants to win, it won't be that simple. Hearing Noel's words, Enel and others were taken aback, and then they nodded. Even if a seed still has a whole card, Mokobotomo, which can freeze time and space for a short time, it can't help but third rakage. It seems that the captain of the first team is about to be announced. Rail smiled and shook his head. Even a seeds is not an opponent, so let alone others. As soon as the voice fell, Maldo Jill's face showed playfulness, and he skimmed Janos without showing a trace. Grave. Chapter 99 Metamorphosis, Funeral of Ice. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Look at the icicles that continue to crumble, and the ice shattered from the sky. Except for a few captains, everyone else felt shocked. This scene is so spectacular, a seeds just summoned a huge hockey puck. However, he was slammed by third rakage's hell, and smashed to pieces. The hell thrust of, the strongest spear, Shibin Kano and the lightning shield of, the strongest shield. These two moves completely represent attack, defense, and ultimate terrible. Slowly falling to the ground, Asides panted heavily, his eyes unusually bright. Looking at the burly figure opposite, the chill radiating from his body became more and more terrifying. Taste. Click. A burst of cold air radiated from the body, and a layer of thin ice formed on the ground in an instant. Then it spread quickly. In an instant, the entire site, including the walls, was covered by a thin layer of ice. Numerous cones of ice appeared on the wall, and the sharp points exuded a wave of cold light. It's chilling. Looking at the ice cone, Apu's body couldn't help but tremble. This 563 is simply an all-round attack. If he is in the field, it is estimated that there is no chance of escape. It's useless, a seeds, third rakage skimmed the surrounding ice cones, stepped on one foot, and then spoke in a cold voice. Only by such an attack, you can't break my lightning shield. Hearing third rakage's words, a seeds chuckled softly. I know, advertisement. After speaking, the ice cone on the wall shot directly out. Third rakage raised his brows and cast a stay away. The next moment, the toes were a little on the ground, and the body rotated directly. Both hands form the shape of a hand knife. Taste. Click. The cone of ice that was shot over collided with the hand knife and was directly shattered. A gleam of light flashed across a seed's eyes as he watched the splashing ice. Freeze. The sound fell, and in the shocking eyes of everyone, the splashing ice was stagnant in the air. Noel looked at a seeds in surprise, then chuckled softly. It solidified, and the scattered ice, CDAB, around it gathered together. Do you want to live with the old man? Third rakage's eyes condensed, and then he shook his head. Not to trap you, but to freeze you. Hearing third rakage's words, a seeds chuckled softly and suddenly raised his hands. Fog, the field was enveloped by fog in an instant. The surrounding temperature dropped and everyone felt cold, bitterly cold. This temperature, Maldo Jill looked at a seeds in shock. It's not just Maldo. Jill, Enel and others also looked at her back in shock. So far apart, they also felt how terrifying the chill was. They never knew that the ice of a seeds was so terrifying. The ice is freezing, and there are countless ice particles in the air in the entire venue. But third rakage, who was in the center, trembled, and finally couldn't keep calm. Advertisement. Being in the center, 
he can better understand how terrifying this cold air is, and how cold it is to the bones. The funeral of ice. The corner of Ace Des's mouth curled up, and he smiled and looked at third rakage. As funeral of ice is very strong. Noel narrowed his eyes, and a strange light flashed. Bing's ultimate, he didn't expect a seeds to hide such a trick. This is no longer the temperature that ordinary ice can have, it has deteriorated. It was frozen, and under everyone's gaze, it spread from the feet to the upper body in an instant. Third rakage quickly turned into an ice statue. Too horrible. What a terrible ability. Enel and others looked at a seeds in shock, this woman actually hid such a hand. Monsters, these captains are all monsters, Apu shivered, looking at a seeds in horror. At a distance of hundreds of meters, he felt that the blood in his body seemed to be solidified. It was bitingly cold, he couldn't imagine the feeling of third rakage as his gaze. It's more terrifying than Mokobottom, Enel frowned. He was wondering if he could block this move if it was him. Although it can be elemental, a seeds and Mokobottomo can freeze time and space for a short time. A strange light flashed in his eyes, and he looked at a seeds with a smile. It seems that not only he has the whole cards, each captain has his own means. It really became interesting now, these guys, really can't be underestimated. Has it ended? Did Captain Aseeds win? Advertisement. In the distance, people watching the game made waves of discussion. Did Sister Aseeds win? Master Noel. Shirahoshi looked at the ice sculptures in the arena, then looked at Noel curiously. Seeing Shirahoshi's appearance, Noel was taken aback for a moment, then smiled and asked, Shirahoshi, can't you feel the cold? No. Shirahoshi shook his head slightly. Hearing Shirahoshi's words, Noel's eyes flashed and he felt cold, but Shirahoshi didn't feel it. The power of Poseidon. In an instant, Noel thought of Shirahoshi's identity. It seemed that ancient weapon was more than just superficial. Ancient weapon, as far as the original works, doesn't show much, and Shirahoshi once inadvertently summoned sea kings. Noel is not sure if there are any other abilities. However, as far as it seems now, it is not as simple as imagined. Looking at the ice sculptures in the arena, Aseeds wiped the sweat from his forehead and smiled on his face. In three years, she has never relaxed, and after unremitting efforts, she is finally the master who has done this trick. The deterioration of the ice, the cold of ultimate, however, this trick consumes very scary, and it instantly empties the stored energy for nearly a month. The physical strength and mental strength are also very exhausted. Now, she feels tired, especially mentally. Pincha. Click. At this moment, a strange voice suddenly spread to everyone's ears. Hearing this voice, a seed's body couldn't help but tremble, and then he looked towards third rakage's place. Cracks. Cracks appeared on the ice sculpture, and then slowly began to spread. This monster. Chapter 100 Enel's Changes. Strength. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Seeing the dense cracks on the ice sculpture, everyone took a breath. Boom. Boom. The next moment, the sky was full of ice flowers, and the burly figure of third rakage appeared in front of everyone. It's really dangerous, a seeds. Third rakage let out a deep breath and looked at a seeds on the opposite side with fear. The ice is too horrible, and the temperature is too horrible. At that moment, not only the blood froze, but even the spirit became paralyzed. Ultimate horror, if not lightning style chakra mode. If you activate your body with thunder and lightning, it's probably a real hit just now. However, even so, he now feels numb in his body. I lost. Aseeds shook his head with a wry smile. For whatever reason, if you lose, you lose. She won't find any reason to win or lose. But I will win next time. Immediately, a seed's eyes suddenly became firm. This time she lost and she lost. That can only mean that she is not strong enough. The master knows the deterioration and temperature of the ice. It seems that the next practice will be developed in this direction. Looking at Ace Day firm gaze, third rakage smiled and nodded. Wow. Hearing a seed surrendered automatically, everyone around watching the game exclaimed. Has the captain of the first division also changed? The competition is really fierce. Advertisement. Hawkins' body halted, and his eyes puffed up slightly. As the captain of the first team, a seeds can lose, so there is no need for others to say. If you don't become strong, 
you won't be eligible to stay in the original position. Strength is respected. This is the rules of the Noel Pirates, and now he understands it. Jinbei also took a deep breath, looking at Enel and others. On the ship, all of these people were unfathomable. With his strength, if he wants to compete for the position of captain, it is probably the last few positions. Shu. A flash of thunder suddenly flashed, and the crackling sound spread throughout the audience. Jill, come on. Enel stood in the field and looked at Jill with a sneer. Master Enel, Master Jill, this battle is interesting. Van Oka looked at Enel with a smile, and then his eyes fell on Jill. He is considered a veteran on the ship, of course he knows. Enel was unwilling to lose in the battle for the captain last time. I have always wanted to defeat Genos and Jill. However, Janos is not too concerned about the position of the captain, if no one challenges him, he will not take the initiative at all. Step on. Looking at Enel with a provocative face, Jill couldn't help but smile, and then walked out slowly. This person, looked at Jill's figure, Hawkins couldn't help but was taken aback, and then let out a surprised sound. He always feels that this person is a bit different from the other captains. However, I can't tell where the difference is. Look, Lord Jill is very strong. Maybe, they are better than a seed Sama. Advertisement. Van Oka slowly turned his head and looked at Pekings with a smile. He also heard Noel say by chance once. Once, out of curiosity, Shirahoshi asked Noel a question about who was better on the ship. And he happened to be passing by and accidentally heard it. Originally, he thought the captain would say a seeds, or third rakage. Unexpectedly, in the end Noel was talking about Jill. The captain will not talk nonsense, and with his love for Shirahoshi, it is impossible to lie. In this way, it can only show that Jill did not show the strongest strength in the last battle for captain. This time, I won't lose. Lightning arcs circled around him, and Enel stared at Jill closely. Third rakage, ace daisy two monsters, he is not an opponent. But today, Jill must be defeated. Enel wants a pill. Noel looked at Enel helplessly. It was a good thing to have confidence, but this time he picked the wrong opponent. It seems that the improvement in strength has given you a lot of confidence. Jill patted his clothes gracefully and looked at Enel with a smile. No. Enel took a deep breath, then said in a deep voice. Um. Dot dot dot. Seeking flowers zero. Lousy. The most annoying thing is your face. Shoo. As soon as the voice fell, the thunder flashed, and Enel appeared on top of Jill's head. Let me want to punch every time. After speaking, his fist was covered by hockey, and he blasted out with a terrifying thunder light. Advertisement. Jill smiled softly as he watched the fist blasting over, and the next moment, the fist also blasted out. Boom. Boom. The entire underworld beast rang out, the ground shook, and the air waves swept out. The fists collided, Jill's body sank, and the mud under his feet lifted. Brontosaurus. Watching Jill block his fist, Enel's face became sullen, and then he let out a loud shout. In Apu's shocked and horrified eyes, a dragon formed by thunder and lightning suddenly appeared behind Enel. He opened his teeth and danced his claws, growing his mouth and biting towards Jill. This guy Enel, Thunder Fruit's ability, is getting more and more skilled. Noel raised his brows and looked at the thunder dragon in surprise. This hand was also a bit unexpected. When in Sky Island, I also use Taiko drums and perform various moves. However, under his suggestion, Taiko was abandoned and gradually began to adapt. Now, I am completely proficient, and I have fully utilized Thunder Fruit's abilities. Genos, this should be your credit. Aseed slowly turned his head and smiled and looked at the expressionless Janos beside him. Genos didn't answer, but looked at the two people in the court lightly. Looking at Genos, Aseeds and Third Rakage and others looked at each other, and they all shook their heads together. Never mind that Enel usually doesn't deal with Janos, but the two have the best relationship on the ship. Especially Genos, who is considered half of Enel's teacher, hockey is all taught by him, and fighting skills are no exception. For Genos, many people on the ship are very respectful. After all, the characters summoned are not capable of hockey. Boom, boom. Rubble was splashing everywhere. Thunder Dragon opened his mouth, and came to Jill in an instant. In an instant, smoke rose. 